Chapter 641 Please Be a Human Being Xian Xian Wang Tao looked at Xian Xian, who was sitting on the exclusive chair not far away, and called out, Come here. Daddy? Xuan Xuan's beautiful big eyes suddenly lit up. She immediately slid down from the dining chair and ran towards the kitchen, like a young swallow returning to its nest. What do you want me to do? Dad. Eh? It smells so good? Dad? What is this? It can't be garlic-flavored spare ribs. Xian Xian tiptoed and grabbed the back kitchen baffle with both hands. Yes. Wang Tao nodded and smiled at her lovingly. Dad just fried it. It's delicious. I don't believe it. Unless. Xuan Xuan's eyes rolled around. And a plan came to her mind. She immediately said with curved eyebrows. Unless. Dad. You let me eat a whole plate. Wang Tao was a little amused when he heard these words. This little girl has learned to use tactics to eat more. Of course. It is impossible to let her eat a whole plate. Probably in this life. Wang Tao took one third of the garlic ribs from the plate and put them in a bowl. And said to Xian Xian softly, Baby, this garlic ribs is fried. Eating too much will easily cause internal heat. So don't eat too much. Okay. Xian Xian pouted her lips. Feeling a little unhappy, but nodded obediently. Wang Tao handed the bowl to Xian Xian and reminded her, Baby, be careful. And remember to share it with Grandpa and Grandma. Dad, I know it's spicy. Xian Xian won't eat it alone. Xian Xian walked back carefully with a small bowl in her hand. Meow. When Nimi saw it, she immediately rushed towards Xian Xian excitedly. But she stumbled and fell hard in front of Xian Xian. Ah! Xian Xian squatted down quickly, her eyes full of concern, and asked softly, Mimi, are you okay? Mimi meow 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 rubbing her head hard on Xuan Xuan's little hand, and tried to lick Xuan Xuan's little hand with her tongue, turning into a licking cat in seconds. Don't make trouble. It's so itchy. I can't hold the bowl anymore. Xian Xian giggled and dodged, and naturally understood why Mimi was so intimate with her suddenly. He was greedy for the garlic ribs in her bowl. Ah! Since Mimi was her good friend, Xian Xian naturally couldn't bear to let it keep greedy. So, she once again threw her father's advice behind her, and secretly fed Mimi a piece of garlic ribs. As soon as the garlic ribs were in hand, Mimi enjoyed them happily and stopped licking Xian Xian. Xian Xian, who knew Mimi's bad behavior of having good food but no cat nature, was no longer annoyed or entangled. She carefully came to the exclusive dining table with a bowl and called out to Huang Ida and his wife sweetly, Grandpa, Grandma, let's eat garlic ribs. Oh, okay. My eldest granddaughter is so good. Song Tsilian happily reached out to take the bowl from Xuan Xuan's hand and took a piece of garlic ribs from the bowl and handed it to Xian Xian. Eat it. Thank you, Grandma. Xian Xian happily ate the ribs and smiled with curved eyebrows. It's delicious. Song Tsilian saw that Xuan Xuan's paws and mouth were covered with oil stains. So she wiped them with the tissue. Wang Ida, who was sitting on a dining chair chatting with his friends, immediately took out his phone and took a short video, and posted it on WeChat Moments. My little Tao heard that I like to eat garlic ribs. So he cooked some for me, and asked his granddaughter to bring them to me. I have to say, that the taste of these garlic ribs is really great. I have never eaten such delicious garlic ribs. Soon, there were many comments and likes under this dynamic. All of them praised Huang Ida for being so lucky, to have such a filial son, and such a well-behaved granddaughter. Huang Ida took a piece of garlic ribs, and enjoyed it happily while reading the comments. To be honest, this rib is really delicious. The outside is crispy and crunchy. The meat is tender, salty and delicious. And the garlic flavor is particularly strong. If you taste it carefully, there is a hint of spicy taste inside. In addition, Wang Tao fried it thoroughly. And the meat is more tender and boneless. Just a light bite can separate the meat from the ribs. It is soft, tender and mellow. Suitable for all ages delicious. And the sour comments of the old brothers in the comment area also made his originally happy mood even happier. My stinky boy. From childhood to adulthood. Let alone cooking for me. He didn't even pour me a cup of hot water. Old Huang. You are still lucky. You gave birth to such a filial and capable son. Not only bought you a car, but also cooked according to your preferences to satisfy your cravings. The granddaughter is so old. But she is still obedient and sensible. Unlike me, I don't even have a daughter-in-law. You are still good. Old Huang. It's really enviable. 
Wang Yida's heart was bubbling with excitement at the comments of his old colleague Lin Jinwei. And the corners of his mouth were almost gritting to his ears. They had a good relationship. But they had also been fighting overtly and covertly for several years, whether at work or in private life. Because Lin Jinwei's children both worked in large companies and earned 20,000 yuan a month. While his son Xiao Dao, because of family changes, stayed at home to take care of the children and did odd jobs. Lin Jinwei often said a few words to him in front of him because of this. Full of superiority. Now, Wang Yida's son has stood up again and has a promising future. So Wang Yida naturally became proud. Humph! What's wrong with your children? My son is better than your children. Boss Huang, we are here. Just when Huang Yida and his friends were enjoying the garlic-flavored sparrows happily, the rich second generation walked in. Jian Chihong, the leader, walked and talked to the audience fans in the live broadcast room. But when he smelled the special fragrance in the store, his eyes lit up and he quickly left the audience fans in the live broadcast room and asked Huang Tao eagerly, Hey, Mr. Huang, you are not going to make new dishes again? Since he met him, Huang Tao smiled and invited, You came at the right time. I just tried to make some garlic ribs. You can try it too. As he said, he put the remaining garlic ribs on the plate on the partition table in the back kitchen and let them take it by themselves. Then we won't be polite. Jiang Chihong and other rich second generations grabbed a piece and tasted it. Family, Mr. Huang's garlic ribs are really crispy. If you don't believe me, I'll take a bite and you can listen. It's really crispy. While talking, he brought the ribs in his hand close to the camera opened his mouth, and took a light bite. The crisp sound was heard clearly by the audience in the live broadcast room through the screen. And they couldn't help swallowing their saliva. This is not over yet. In order to show these audiences and fans how deep Huang Tao's garlic ribs were fried, he pulled out the bone inside and tore the meat on the ribs, wanting the audience in the live broadcast room to see how tender the meat inside was. This appearance that deserved a beating made the audience in the live broadcast room feel itchy and also made their current arms faintly flare up. They wanted to beat up Jiang Chihong, the rich second generation, through the screen. You are such a bad boy. Hello. Is this 110? I have a poisonous anchor here. Brother Hang, please behave yourself. You will be easily beaten like this. He looked at the barrage, smiled and said, if you want to eat, just come to your new store, Mr. Wang. Otherwise, just watch me eat. Even the rich second generation good friends beside him couldn't stand it anymore and reminded him, Chi Hong, can't you behave yourself? Jiang Chi Hong laughed and stuffed the piece of meat into his mouth. I just want to promote Mr. Huang. Oh, by the way, Mr. Huang, will this dish be served at noon in the store? Yes, it will definitely be served at noon. Many people like to eat this dish. Huang Tao responded. The only fried food in the store is the dry fried ring, which is very popular with customers. Now with this garlic-flavored sparrows. It should also be very popular. Chapter 642, I will never post it on WeChat moments. Around 10 o'clock, Lin Jin Yuan drove to his girlfriend's building to wait for her. They had agreed last night that he would pick her up at 10 o'clock. However, based on his understanding of his girlfriend, she would not be able to come downstairs so soon. Don't ask why. The reason is that she takes a lot of time to put on makeup. She said 5 minutes but it could drag on to 10 minutes, or even 15 minutes or longer. Moreover, she often gets confused and forgets things before going out, so she needs to run back to get things. In short, she will not show up in less than half an hour, and you can't rush her. Rushing her will not only have no effect, but will make her unhappy. Then you have to bother to coax her. Therefore, he was happy to wait. Anyway, he deliberately moved up the time for the appointment. Waiting was a bit boring. He just checked his phone. At about 10.20, Lin Jin Yuan finally saw his girlfriend walk out of the building where she lived and waved and shouted, Lin Lin, I'm here. I'm coming. Lin Lin saw her boyfriend waving at her and immediately came over, hugged his waist, and apologized coquettishly. Sorry. Dear, I kept you waiting again. It's okay. It's still early. Let's go first. It's just in time to. Lin Jin Yuan stretched out his hand and pinched her delicate little nose, said something intimate to her, and opened the passenger door for her, let her get in the car, and then went around to the driver's seat to get in the car and set off. On the road, Lin Lin talked about what happened when she went out. Dear, do you know? 
I had actually put on my makeup at 10 o'clock. When I went out, I was waiting for the elevator to go up. And I felt that the gas in the kitchen at home seemed to be not turned off. So I ran back home to check it again. After it was okay, I took the elevator down to the second floor and found that my mobile phone was left at home. So I went back to get the phone, which delayed it until now. You, you are such a little confused. Lin Jinyuan's mood became particularly good when he thought that he could go to the Zinhachi restaurant to eat now. When he heard his girlfriend's words, he politely said, the next time when you go out, I will call you and remind you. How about that? He loves Lin Lin's little confusion. As for why he didn't go upstairs to wait for his girlfriend just now, it was because she lived with her parents. And he hadn't officially met Lin Lin's parents yet. In addition, Lin Lin didn't invite him to wait at her house. So he couldn't go to her house abruptly. Okay. Lin Lin heard that her boyfriend didn't complain about her being late, but said such thoughtful words, which made her feel happy. She decided to forgive him for not accompanying her to eat her favorite steak, but to take her to a newly opened restaurant for dinner. You know, when she heard that he didn't go to eat steak, but went to eat food at a newly opened restaurant last night, she was full of question marks. The boyfriend repeatedly assured that the food and drinks in this restaurant, Jun Haochi, were super delicious. He also said that he and his colleagues had eaten there and all thought the food was super delicious. He also said that as long as she went there, she would definitely fall in love with the food in this restaurant. She still believed her boyfriend's words. But she felt that what he said was a bit exaggerated. In essence, she didn't want to eat the food in this restaurant. She wanted to eat steak more from the bottom of her heart. But it was between lovers. Lin Jin Yuan was willing to wait for her patiently and tolerate her every time he went out. She felt that it was her duty to accompany him to eat what he wanted to eat. However, she would never post it on WeChat moments. She had already told her girlfriends that she was going to a western restaurant with her boyfriend for steak at noon. If her girlfriends knew that she was going to eat something else to accommodate her boyfriend, they would definitely laugh for a long time. A young couple, each with their own thoughts, arrived at Xionghua Road, and Lin Jin Yuan parked the car in a nearby parking lot. After getting off the car, they walked a little forward 50 meters and saw the bright plaque and powerful flower baskets of Xinhao Restaurant. This is it. Lin Jin Yuan saw that there were already many customers dining in the restaurant. So he walked into the restaurant with his girlfriend, found a seat by the window, and skillfully scanned the code to order. Wow, you're so fast. There are actually two new dishes today. Lin Lin, do you want sweet and sour pork ribs or garlic pork ribs? He tilted the phone slightly towards his girlfriend, wanting her to order together. Lin Lin smiled gently. I can order any of them. You can choose. In fact, she didn't know which dish was delicious and was afraid of making a mistake. Okay, I'll choose. Lin Jin Yuan finally took care of everything. He smiled and said, Then let's order a portion of garlic-flavored sparibs, a portion of longjing shrimp, braised prawns, squirrel mandarin fish, two small portions of dongpa pork, and two drinks of coconut milk bobo smoothie. Okay. Lin Lin felt relieved when she saw that the store was bright and the environment was good. And the air conditioner was turned on enough and it was not cold. After a while, Li Qingzhan came with two cups of coconut milk bobo smoothie, a portion of garlic-flavored sparibs, and two small portions of dongpa pork, and placed them on their table one by one, and said with a smile, Please enjoy. Lin Lin could no longer care about anything else and was attracted by the super high-value coconut milk bobo smoothie in front of her. The milk and coconut milk in the transparent cup are pure white like snow, and the coconut meat can be vaguely seen. There is a small circle of bobo at the bottom. The overall color combination is clear and cold, showing a sense of luxury for no reason. The mint on the top of the cup is particularly fresh. Lin Jin Yuan was attracted by this plate of garlic ribs at first sight. The ribs are golden in appearance and crispy at first glance. A small section of celery leaves is decorated in it, which makes people look particularly appetizing. As a meat lover, what is even more rare is that this garlic ribs is quite large. He originally wanted to eat a piece first, but when he saw his girlfriend taking pictures of her drink, he immediately resisted and didn't start eating first. Countless dating experiences in the past told him that if his girlfriend wanted to take pictures of the dishes later and found that he had already started eating, she would definitely be unhappy and criticize him. Beautiful and exquisite drinks can always make people happy. Lin Lin is in a very beautiful mood now. She took a few beautiful photos of the drinks with her mobile phone. 
Then she looked at the dishes on the table and saw that they were all arranged very delicately. So she started taking photos. Lin Jinyuan resisted the urge to eat and waited patiently for his girlfriend to finish taking photos. The voice of Take It and Eat It was like the sound of nature. He couldn't wait to pick up the chopsticks and pick up a piece of garlic ribs. He opened his mouth and took a bite. It was really crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. After being coated with cornstarch, the gravy was locked inside. Take a bite. Oh my! It's delicious. Lin Lin also ate very happily. She drank a mouthful of coconut milk Bobo's smoothie first. It was very milky, and the coconut milk tasted very refreshing. She could bite the coconut meat with another mouthful. It was soft, glutinous, and refreshing. The bouncy Bobo also slipped into her mouth. She could easily swallow it after chewing it once or twice just for the appearance and taste. The blend of milk and coconut milk is particularly fresh and elegant. She thinks this cup of coconut milk bobo smoothie can definitely enter the top three of the delicious drinks she has drunk in recent years. Lin Lin took a few sips before reluctantly putting down the coconut milk bobo smoothie, picked up a piece of garlic ribs with chopsticks and started eating. It is crispy on the outside and tender on the inside, with a strong garlic flavor. It is a little spicy but does not cover the freshness of the ribs because it is marinated. The saltiness is just right. And it is so delicious that you can't help but mix it with rice. The remaining pieces of meat on the ribs can be seen with distinct layers of tender meat, which looks very fresh. And it is fragrant but not greasy. The more you eat, the more delicious it is. Lin Lin couldn't help but say, the ingredients in this restaurant are very fresh. Lin Jinyuan smiled and said while eating and enjoying the food, the ingredients in this restaurant are very fresh. And the drinks are also very particular. I heard that the milk used is all pure milk from Mayer. No wonder. It seems that I misunderstood before. Nodding and sighing. Who would have thought that the food and drinks sold in a restaurant are so particular? Those dishes are not inferior to those in hotels outside. And the drinks are also made with special care. The young couple had a very happy meal. Lin Lin originally wanted to take a photo with the ticket stub when she watched a movie. And then grouped the photos together to post on WeChat moments. But now she couldn't help it. She completely lost the idea that she was afraid that her girlfriends would see her eating restaurant food instead of Western food. And she directly posted eight pictures and even added the copy, Weekend Pleasure. Not long after the WeChat moments were posted, many people liked it. Her girlfriends all commented and praised the drink and the dishes. They looked delicious and tasty. And they made people hungry even through the screen. Lin Lin was in a very good mood after seeing this and she also recommended them to come to the Zinhachi restaurant on Zhonghua Road for dinner. Chapter 643 Still Sharp Hey! Let's go! Let's go! Old Chin, dressed in a tang suit, gently waved his folding fan, and came to the Zinhachi restaurant leisurely, with Old Lu, who came from the old street in the west of the city. But Old Chin, who was sharp-eyed and had a nose sharper than a dog, smelled a different fragrance drifting from the store, at the door of the store. He was surprised and excited, and hurriedly urged Old Lou. Old Lou, who didn't understand, said speechlessly, We are already at the door of the store. Why are you in such a hurry? Old Lou, let me tell you. Mr. Huang has a new dish at noon today. This smell is different from the sweet and sour sparibs last night. It smells like garlic sparibs. Old Chin said while pulling Old Lou and hurried into the store. As soon as I entered the store. I saw many customers chewing on the garlic ribs and heard other diners praising Huang Tao's cooking skills. Delicious. These garlic ribs are amazing. Delicious. These garlic ribs are really delicious. So delicious that you can lick your fingers. Delicious. Fried garlic ribs can be used as snacks or dishes. The garlic flavor is particularly strong. Plus a little bit of spiciness. It makes people have endless aftertaste. Delicious. I will pack some to take home later and I can use it as a snack to satisfy my cravings while watching TV series. Gulp! Gulp! Lao Qin and Lao Lu were so greedy that they couldn't help swallowing their saliva. Lao Lu was surprised. Oh, it's true. Everyone is eating garlic ribs. I came at the right time today. At the end, he did not forget to praise his old friend, Lao Qin. You are still sharp as a knife. Your nose is sharper than a dog's. The phrase still sharp as a knife made Lao Qin burst into laughter. But the second half of the sentence made the smile on Lao Qin's face freeze in midair. Ugh. A dog's nose. Is there anyone who praises people like you? 
Lao Qin gave Lao Lu a look that said, Are you doing this on purpose? And said in a tone of regret, Hey, Lao Lu, you are so old. How come you can't spit out ivory from a dog's mouth? Lao Lu, hey, you, Lao Qin, why are you scolding people? You are the only one who can't spit out ivory from a dog's mouth. Your whole family can't spit out ivory from a dog's mouth. Lao Lu retorted, I think you are the one who is biting Lu Dongbin. And you don't know the kindness of a good person. Lao Lu, tell me clearly, who is the dog and who is Lu Dongbin? Lao Qin's Kieran arm was faintly acting up. Okay, these two old fools are arguing again. Speaking of, are they both reincarnated as arguing people? Otherwise, how come they would start fighting as soon as they met? When Jiang Qihong and other rich second generation saw this, they were a little amused and worried that the verbal dispute between the two would make other new customers laugh and would make those customers feel that the dining environment in the store is not good, thus affecting the business of Huang Tao's store. So, they hurriedly spoke up to divert their attention. Uncle Qin, Uncle Lu, you came at the right time. I tell you, you must try the garlic-flavored sparrows and sweet and sour sparrows that were newly served at noon. The taste is so delicious. Hearing this, Lao Qin and Lao Lu stopped arguing. Lao Qin waved his folding fan and said with a smile, Nothing made by Boss Wang is bad. I tried the sweet and sour sparrows last night. They are so authentic. I will try the garlic sparrows later. Boss Wang's food must taste good. You guys eat first. I will order some to try later. Lao Lu smiled kindly. And then said belatedly to Huang Tao, who was not far away, Congratulations. Boss Huang, please serve more new dishes in the future. Lao Qin also urged Huang Tao to serve more new dishes in the future. Thank you. Uncle Lu, I think the last sentence is what you really want to say. Right? Huang Tao teased with a smile. When he looked at Lao Lu, he was a little surprised. You didn't come here from the old street in the west of the city on purpose. Did you? Lao Lu smiled helplessly and said, It's true. Lao Qin started to ask me out the day before yesterday. But I didn't come yesterday because I didn't have time. Today I happened to be free. So I came here to eat with him. The old man wanted to have a meal together. And he happened to be free today. So he made an appointment to come and satisfy his cravings and join in the fun. Okay. Find a place to sit quickly. I'm sorry for not treating you well, Huang Tao said with a smile. After talking to the two of them for a few words, he continued to cook. Lao Qin and Lao Lu also sat down at a table nearby as if nothing had happened. When ordering, the two discussed with each other what to order. It was as if the quarrel just now had never happened. After ordering, the two chatted and laughed while waiting for the dishes to be served. A moment later, the garlic flavored sparrows were first served to the table by Li Qingzhan, Uncle Qin. Uncle Lu, this is the garlic flavored sparrows you ordered. Please enjoy. Thank you. Lao Qin and Lao Lu thanked them. And their mouths watered when they saw the pieces of tempting golden garlic ribs on the white porcelain plate. They both started to eat. Lao Qin picked up a piece of garlic ribs and put it into his mouth. After taking a bite, his eyes widened unconsciously. Smell? Half of the crispy and tender ribs. The strong meaty aroma rushed into the mouth with heat. As they chewed, the starch coat broke in the mouth. And the strong garlic aroma filled the whole mouth. After tasting it carefully, the meat still had a hint of spiciness and sweetness. But there was no trace of meaty smell. Nor a strong seasoning taste. Only the right garlic aroma and spiciness. Lao Lu took a bite. And the soft and crispy ribs fell into his mouth without bones. As his lips and teeth chewed, layers of fragrance burst out in his mouth. Bringing the ultimate taste enjoyment. Both of them wanted to chew the bones into pieces and swallow them into their stomachs. It's just a pity. Neither of them had such good teeth so they could only regretfully put down the bones they had licked clean. Having eaten so much, Lao Qin felt that it would be a waste not to eat the bones. This garlic-flavored sparrows is really good, with a slightly burnt aroma, a slightly crispy skin, and a strong garlic flavor. It is not bitter at all, and there is not much garlic flavor. It is only garlic flavor, and the seasoning is also perfect. Just right. Anyway, it will never appear that the meat will lose its taste when you bite it into your mouth. Lao Qin couldn't help but comment. Lao Lu kept moving his mouth, but just nodded in agreement. You silly boy. Such delicious garlic-flavored sparrows. Don't eat them while they are hot. And you still have time to comment? With this time to comment, why not eat a few pieces of garlic ribs? Isn't it delicious? 
after Lao Lu finished eating. He stretched out his chopsticks and picked up two pieces of garlic ribs at once. Lao Qin saw this and became anxious. He couldn't help but criticize him, Lao Lu. Are you still a human being? While I was talking, you almost finished half a plate of garlic ribs by yourself. And now you pick up two pieces at a time? Am I not good at hand skills? Take it back. The two of them are almost 150 years old in total. And they are here to grab the garlic ribs. It smells so good. Although this plate of garlic ribs is quite large and there are many pieces. One piece is only enough for two bites. Just when they were eating enthusiastically, they found that they had eaten it all. Looking at the empty plate and the pile of rib bones in front of them, they silently told them that this plate of garlic ribs was finished. They wanted to have another plate. But for their own health, they still held back. After all, your body is your capital. As long as you have your body, you won't have to worry about not having food to eat. Chapter 644 Some are happy. Some are sad. Throughout the whole afternoon, from the opening of the New Zinchichi store at around 10.30, people started lining up in front of the store. The people lining up in front of the store never stopped. Without hesitation, they lined up in an orderly manner outside the store. When it was their turn, they went directly into the store to find a seat and took their mobile phones to scan the QR code on the table to order the newly released garlic flavored spare ribs and sweet and sour spare ribs at noon today are undoubtedly one of the most popular dishes it is good news for fans of fried food and sweet and sour flavors most new and old customers with an attitude of trying something new will also choose these two new dishes first for a time garlic flavored spare ribs and sweet and sour spare ribs became the hot selling dishes in the store they sold very well. After these two new dishes were sold out, the customers who came later had to give up and choose other dishes. They were all the dishes that were once popular on Weibo, as well as the three new dishes that were released yesterday. These old customers in the city have been craving for the dishes in Zenhachi for a long time. But because the neighbors in the old street in the west of the city are too fierce, it is difficult for them to eat the food in Zenhachi every time. Now, a branch of Zenhachi has opened near their home so they can eat as they wish. So there is no disappointment or loss of feeling of settling for second best. After all, in their impression, the dishes of Zenhachi are all famous for their deliciousness. There is no phenomenon of bad taste. And there is no phenomenon of stepping on thunder. So, just rest assured. In addition, many of the dishes in the store now are not even available at the headquarters of Zenhachi, with various meanings attached to them. These dishes have different meanings and sell very well. As for drinks, most people go for the green bean milk and coconut milk bobo smoothie. These two drinks are very high-end and fresh just by looking at the names. Many customers who came to Jinhaochi today after hearing the news had tried to get the green bean milk and coconut milk bobo smoothie in the store on the old street in the west of the city, but failed. This obsession originated from the gap of not being able to drink the green bean milk and coconut milk bobo smoothie of Jinhaochi. So now that these two white moonlights are about to be embraced, no one can resist. So, many customers also ordered two cups directly. After all, good things can always be finished. Even if they can't finish them in a short time, they can take them shopping or watching movies later. When they are tired and thirsty, they can take a few sips to quench their thirst. The queue at the door of the store naturally aroused the curiosity of people who came here to visit the mall today. Why is this newly opened store so popular? There are so many people queuing outside the store. By the way, are these people in line attracted by the food in the store? Or are they attracted by the promotion activities in the store? I feel that the latter is more likely. Curiously, I looked up and looked at the sign above the door of the store. When the three words really delicious came into their eyes, some people always felt that these three words were familiar. After searching and filtering in my mind, I realized that there was a restaurant called Really Delicious at the Downtown Food Festival last year but that store seemed to be on the old street in the west of the city. So here comes the question. What is the connection between these two stores? Is it the same store? Or just the same name? I think the possibility of the former is a little bit higher. Don't ask why. It's just the damn sixth sense and the beautiful expectation deep in my heart. Ever since they tasted the various braised food and roast duck and other delicious snacks in Zinhachi at the food festival, they have been thinking about it. But due to various reasons, they had no time and no chance to go. So it was shelved. It's okay not to think about it. When they saw the name of this store, 
They couldn't help but recall the deliciousness of the braised food and other delicacies at that time. And the aroma wafting from the store made them salivate. Then, those who were interested asked a little. And the moment they heard the result, they said in their hearts that it was as expected. They really guessed it. The result is conceivable. And they all joined the queue. When the pedestrians who were just curious learned that the food in this store was delicious, they were too lazy to compare which one was better and stayed to try it. At this point, they were fascinated by the food in the store. In this way, some were happy and some were sad. Those shops were happy thinking that these two days were worthy of being weekends. And the flow of people was good. As a result, there were a lot more people on this street. But they didn't look at their own shops or go into their own shops. Among these people, 9 out of 10 went straight to the newly opened restaurant. Originally, they thought that the new store opened and held promotions to attract customers. And it would be fine after the opening day. After all, customers like to join in the fun. Once the excitement is over, they will regain their rationality and compare the food in each store. So they will carefully choose the place to eat. Then, their spring is back. But who would have thought? Today, the second day of business of this new store, there are still many customers. This is beyond their expectations. At this moment, the owners of the same restaurants are nervous. When they learn that this really delicious restaurant is the branch of the only restaurant selected in the food festival last year. When they learn that this really delicious restaurant is the branch ranked first in the food section of the Morning Post New Year Food Tourism Guide. They were surprised. I thought it was a coincidence of the store name. But it turned out to be a branch. They have heard a little about the legend of this store. It is simply the existence of a fairy store. Not only is the food delicious, but it also makes the depressed old street in the west of the city prosperous with the power of this store. And the housing prices and shops in the old street have also increased a lot. Even the merchants in the old street that are about to go bankrupt have benefited from it. And their business has improved a lot. How can such a magical shop be compared with those shops with ordinary qualifications? They can only be crushed. On second thought, that shop can now bring traffic to Zhonghua Road. And there will always be people willing to come to their place to eat, which can be regarded as a help to a certain extent. The cake is so big, even if you don't say you can get a piece of it, you can still taste some sweetness. Wang Tao didn't know what his colleagues on Zhonghua Road thought. He was busy cooking in the kitchen. It was not until 2 o'clock in the afternoon that the busyness was over. The clerk was cleaning up the dishes. And the second business of the urban branch was also a win. You don't even need to look at the specific collection accounts in the background. Just from the fact that there was a huge flow of people at noon and customers kept coming. All the specially prepared ingredients were sold out. You can know that the business at noon was also very good. When he was resting, he checked Weibo. In real time, there were enthusiastic sharings from customers in the city. Pictures speak louder than words. The golden and crispy garlic ribs tempted the appetite. And the sweet and sour ribs were beautiful in a casual shot making people want to eat and post on WeChat moments. In every Weibo post sharing delicious food, there were envy and wailing from people all over the world. The two new dishes for lunch were released on the official Weibo account at 10.30. And the pictures were even more tempting than those shared by netizens. At that time, Huang Tao was busy with the store after posting. Now, when he has time, he will read the comments section. I live like a queen without you, ah. Ah. It's too much. I hate myself. I can't eat it. But I have to squat every day to watch it. After watching it, I am still the one who suffers and dies of greed. Sweet and sour pork ribs are really my favorite. I want to eat it. I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Desires bewitch people asterisk. These garlic ribs and sweet and sour pork ribs look very tempting. I guess they taste very good. Help. What's the point of saying so much if I can't eat it? Look up and smile. As bright as a sunflower. Woo 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 I really want to eat garlic ribs and sweet and sour pork ribs. There is a Jinchi restaurant in Qingxi Old Street. Why can't they have new ones now? Everyone is happy if they are released at the same time. Isn't it good? Huang Tao smiled. This may be the legend. If I could have it easily before. I would never accept the days of waiting for her. The customers on Qingxi Old Street are like this. In the past, all the Jinhaochi lovers in the country were madly envious of the neighbors in the Old Street. Who could eat Jinhaochi? and new dishes at any time. After all, there was only one Jinhaochi restaurant. Right here. At that time, it was difficult for them to understand the envy and jealousy of the customers, who could not buy it, and the netizens from other places, 
who saw their various food shows. But who would have thought that one day, Jin Haochi suddenly opened a branch in the city, and some of the original dishes were temporarily unavailable due to the departure of Mr. Huang, not to mention the new dishes. Now, I was browsing Weibo, and finally felt the envy and anxious emotions. Moreover, compared with the wailing of netizens from other places, who were just habitually joining in the fun, they liked it but knew that they could not eat it at all at present. So the wailing of customers in the old street of the West City was a little more expectant. Maybe this is the difference between knowing that you can't have it, but still like it versus liking it even though you may have it, but don't know when you can have it. Everyone knows the difference in mood between the two. In fact, Wang Tao has handed over the production and experience of various dishes to Su Hao and Jiang Chao. As long as they practice well and meet his requirements, they can be listed for sale again in the main store. Chapter 645 Learning to Play the Piano Baby, isn't it boring here? Daddy doesn't have time to play with you. Wang Tao hugged Xian Xian in his arms and asked with some guilt in his heart. He also wanted to play with Xian Xian all the time. Spend every day happily with her and take her to the outside world and travel around the world. But such a beautiful idea cannot be realized for a while and it needs a realistic foundation to support it. He has to make more and more money, pay off the debts he owes first and realize debt-free first and then save some money. He also needs to wait for the assistant chef in the store to grow up. In this way, he doesn't need to stay in the store and can be a hands-off boss. So he has more free time to accompany Xian Xian and take her to travel around. Xian Xian put her chin on Huang Tao's shoulder. She shook her head gently and said sweetly, With daddy here, I won't be bored. Besides, there are grandpa, grandma and Mimi to accompany me. Mimi, who was lying at the feet of the two of them, immediately raised her cat head and called Meow to the father and daughter. Wang Tao smiled. Xian Xian raised her head, blinking her beautiful big eyes, and asked Dad, Are you going to prepare the vegetables to sell in the evening? Wang Tao nodded, Yes. Dad will go to prepare with Uncle Qian and others in a while. Xian Xian tilted her head and asked, Then, when you are free, can you help me install the electronic learning piano? Grandpa doesn't know how to install it. Wang Tao was stunned for a moment, not understanding why the little guy suddenly wanted to install the electronic learning piano. But he quickly reacted. Although the little girl said that she was not bored with her grandparents and Mimi. In fact, deep in her heart, she still longed to be close to him and play together, asking him to help install the electronic learning piano and saying that grandpa could not install it was probably just an excuse for the little girl. However, this guest did not make Huang Tao feel relieved but felt a burst of sadness. Because he was busy with work, his daily care and companionship for Xian Xian was more or less inconsiderate. Wang Tao answered without thinking, I am free now. Dad will install the electronic learning piano for you now. Okay? Xuan Xuan's eyes sparkled. Now? Yes. Now. Wang Tao smiled. Just look at Dad. I will install it for you in a while. He asked Xian Xian to sit on a chair beside him and then took out the electronic learning piano from the partition room, unpacked, picked up the installation drawing, and took a look, installed according to the drawing. After a while, it was done easily. Installation completed. Ding ding ding. Wang Tao, like a child, playfully showed off the newly installed electronic learning piano in front of Xian Xian. Dad has installed it for you. Wow. Xian Xian's eyes sparkled, and she slid down from the chair and came over. Eager to look at Huang Tao's work, let me see. Let me see. Ah, it's so beautiful. There's a drum stand on it. Xian Xian smiled and praised, Dad, you are great. Of course. Huang Tao touched her little face and said, Baby, Dad is so great. Tell me, how should you reward Dad? As he said that, he turned his face towards her. This glaring hint was naturally understood by the cute little Xian Xian. She understood it pouted her pink lips without hesitation, and kissed Huang Tao on the face. Huang Tao chuckled, Okay. He turned on the electronic piano, and in an instant, the music sounded, and the bright and cool flashing lights also flashed continuously. Very cool. It immediately attracted Xuan Chuan's eyes and ears. She immediately sat on the small plastic stool attached to the electronic piano, sitting very straight, with her waist straight, and stretched out her hand to carefully press a key. The piano sounded suddenly. Ding. Xian Xian was stunned by the sudden sound. 
Wang Tao smiled and said. This is the sound of the piano keys. It's okay. You can play it casually. Look at daddy's. He squatted down beside Xian Xian, raised his hand, and quickly swept across the white piano keys, skillfully playing a series of dense notes. In fact, Wang Tao is still a little bit good at musical instruments, especially on the guitar. He is quite good at it. It was mainly when he was in school. In order to show his talent, he practiced hard and studied hard for a period of time. Well, it was mainly to attract the attention of girls. As for playing the piano, it is only the simplest. There is no problem to play with Xian Xian as a hobby. Xian Xian felt very interesting. And with Huang Tao's demonstration, she also imitated her father and let her fingertips casually pass across the keys to knock out fragmented notes. Did Usumami? She giggled happily. Baby. He smiled and asked. Do you want to learn to play the piano? Dad can teach you. Yeah. Xian Xian nodded like pounding garlic. Wang Tao adjusted Xuan Xuan's hand shape for learning to play the piano. This is actually very important. After all, children have strong learning ability. If you don't master the correct learning method from the beginning, then correcting it later will often be twice the result with half the effort. It is difficult to adjust back. And the same is true for playing the piano. Once you develop a bad habit, you may never change it in your life. Xian Xian followed Huang Tao's instructions very well and learned to use the correct hand shape for playing the piano and the method of touching the keys. Then with Huang Tao's hand in hand help, she stretched out her hand and played a very simple little song. Dajo, Suosu, Lala Su, Fafa, Mimi. Xian Xian was very interested. Her eyebrows were curved. And she was very happy. Baby, do we want to sing it again? Yes. Okay. Then let's sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star together. Okay. Okay. Then let's start. Twinkle. Twinkle. Little stars all over the sky. Hanging in the sky. Shining. Like thousands of little eyes. The father and daughter played with both hands and played a complete section of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Song Tsailian and her husband and other employees all smiled and applauded them. Wang Tao kissed her on the side of her cheek. Baby is great. You sing well and play well. Xian Xian was very happy to be praised. And her heart was full of pride. The joy was about to overflow. At this time, Mimi, who was suffering from laziness, changed her previous laziness and jumped onto the keys of the electronic learning piano. Her little paws stepped on the keys and stepped out messy notes. Ah! Mimi! Don't be naughty. Don't you see I'm learning to play the piano? Meow. Mimi. If you don't continue to make trouble and go down now, I will play with you later. Meow. Everyone couldn't help laughing when Xian Xian explained the facts to the troublesome Mimi. Seeing that Mimi was disobedient and still walking on the keys, Xian Xian continued helplessly, Mimi. If you are naughty and disobedient again, I won't let you eat the dishes made by my father in the evening. This trick really works. Mimi seemed to understand, jumped down from the learning piano, and laid down at her feet obediently, no longer making trouble. Xian Xian smiled with satisfaction. Dad, let's continue playing. Okay. Then the store was filled with the joyful sound of the piano again, as well as the chorus of Wang Tao and Xian Xian. Twinkle. Twinkle little star. The sky is full of little stars. Chapter 646. Just treat it as an indulgence once a month. At night. The night view of the city center is full of joy. The lights on the road are shining. And the neon lights on the high-rise buildings are colorful. Illuminating the entire city like daylight. The vehicles on the road stop and go. And the horns sound continuously. Forming a pleasant symphony. Jiang Linwei is a very self-disciplined fitness expert. Every weekend or holiday. For ordinary people. The best way to relax is to eat and drink. And for Jiang Linwei. The best way to spend the weekend or holiday is to exercise. So, when he is not working, he goes to the gym to date with various fitness equipment, sweating and exercising his body. In his words, fitness not only allows him to keep a good figure, but also is a good way to vent stress. This has become an indispensable and important activity in his life. It is basically the kind that cannot be shaken. In addition, he also has a hobby on weekdays, which is running especially likes to jog a few kilometers along the road at night. Watching the busy streets and the endless flow of cars would allow him to relax for a moment and release the stress of the whole day. Of course, he didn't always jog alone. Occasionally, he would respond to the organization in the running group 
and go to the park or along the riverside track with other running enthusiasts who have the same hobby to run for a few kilometers. Tonight, no one in the running group organized to run there. But he didn't slack off because of this. He just went out for a jog alone as usual. At this moment, he had already run about 7 kilometers, and his pace was maintained at 5 minutes and 11 seconds. This pace was quite good for an amateur running enthusiast. But he did not stop there, but continued to run forward. Until 15 minutes later, after a reminder sound of you have run 10 kilometers sounded in the running app on his mobile phone in the sports waste bag hanging on his waist. He slowed down his running speed, continued to run forward for more than 100 meters, and then walked at a normal speed. At this time, he did not sweat a drop because of the cold weather, but was sweating all over. At the same time, his five internal organs also sang the song of hunger, which forced him to take action to fill his five internal organs. But as a fitness expert, he naturally pays great attention to his own figure. Therefore, he is also very strict with himself in terms of diet. He basically does not touch heavy oil and salt, and indulges once a month at most. Of course, if you can avoid indulgence, try to restrain yourself from indulgence. With this in mind, he planned to find a nearby convenience store and buy a loaf of bread and a bottle of mineral water to comfort his protesting stomach. Thinking of this, when he was looking for a convenience store, he walked along Zhonghua Road and was suddenly attracted by one of the stores. It stands to reason that at 7.30 in the evening, it was almost past dinner time, and the business of various restaurants would also decline. But the store in front of him was still full of customers, and there were still people queuing at the door of the store. He looked into the store through the floor-to-ceiling glass window. The customers were eating all kinds of dishes. It seemed to be a small stir-fry restaurant. He walked forward and looked up at the sign above the store entrance really delicious. When these three words came into view, a familiar feeling came to his mind. Huh? This store name is so familiar? I seem to have seen it somewhere. He searched it in his mind. Suddenly he remembered that during the food festival last year, his circle of friends was flooded with food from the really delicious booth. And when he was browsing Weibo hot searches last year, he also saw news about this store on the hot search list one after another. Everyone says that the food in this store is delicious. Wait. Isn't this really delicious store on Qingxi Old Street? So, what is the connection between this really delicious store on Zhonghua Road in the city and the one on Qingxi Old Street? Is it the same store? It is obviously not important to him whether it is or not. When he was browsing moments before, he was greedy even through the screen. He also tried to restrain himself for the sake of his healthy life and didn't go there to eat. Besides, he had already planned what to eat in the evening, so he would not change his mind easily. In short, he just took a curious look and didn't plan to eat in this restaurant. But, the aroma wafting from this restaurant, coupled with the customers eating in the restaurant with relish, and the occasional praise from customers who had finished their meals, made him unable to move his legs. He stood at the door of the store like a stabilizing force, unwilling to leave. Seeing that the people in the queue in front of him entered the store after their turn, he also walked in as if possessed by a ghost. Forget it. Just treat it as an indulgence once a month. He found a seat and sat down. He found that the environment of this store was quite good. And the decoration style just met his aesthetic point. So his impression of this store was a little better. He picked up his mobile phone and scanned the code to order. However, many dishes could not be ordered at this time. The only ones that could be ordered were braised pork trotter rice and braised chicken leg rice. Then let's have a braised chicken leg rice. The calories of chicken legs are lower than those of pig trotters. A moment. Li Qingzhan came over with a braised chicken leg rice and put it on Jiang Lingwei's table. Your braised chicken leg rice. Please enjoy it slowly. Thank you. He thought the attitude of the waiter in this store was quite good. But before he had time to think about it, his attention was attracted by the braised chicken leg rice in front of him. Ah, what a delicious smell. He couldn't help but sniff it and immediately distinguished several flavors including the aroma of stewed food, the fragrance of green vegetables, and the purest aroma of rice. It was just a bowl of ordinary stewed chicken rice, but the layers of taste were so distinct. He took a bite and was immediately conquered. He quickly finished the bowl of stewed chicken rice, and he almost subconsciously shouted, Waiter, another bowl of stewed chicken rice. Li Qingzhan listened and responded with a smile, Please scan the code to order. But Jiang Lin Wei regretted it the moment he finished shouting. 
Although he had just finished exercising and his physical energy consumption was a bit high, he could still consciously control his desires in the past. But just now, he was not in a stable state of mind. And he could not restrain himself for a moment. And he actually had the urge to eat another bowl. This had never happened before. Or, just eat another bowl. At worst, I won't eat barbecue this month. Anyway, the taste of those barbecues is not as fragrant and delicious as this bowl of braised rice. After he made various mental constructions and found a reason to continue eating, the burden of overeating in his heart was also reduced a lot. He took his mobile phone and ordered another braised chicken leg rice. While waiting for the meal, he also carefully looked at the other dishes in the store, mainly Jujong cuisine. There are also some other cuisines. The dishes are quite mixed, and the pictures are quite tempting. So, the other dishes should also be delicious. Right? I must try them if I have a chance. He really didn't expect that such a new gourmet restaurant would open in the city. After looking at the store introduction again, he realized that this really delicious store was a branch of the really delicious store on the old street in the west of the city. At this moment, he suddenly felt that he had missed several hundred million yuan. And he didn't know whether to be nervous or happy. After all, such delicious food appeared in the city, making it difficult for him to control his mouth. At this time, the second bowl of braised chicken leg rice was brought up by Li Qingzhan, and he finished it quickly. After eating, he still felt a little unsatisfied, but in the end, he still resisted the urge to order another bowl. He wiped his mouth, and then left the store quickly with an attitude of as long as I walk fast enough. The desire to order another bowl will not catch up with me. He ran about 300 meters before he stopped and looked back at the Jinhaochi store. He couldn't help but sigh, and his tone was indescribably complicated. Hey, could it be that the healthy life I have maintained for almost five years will be ruthlessly broken by this door? Along the way, he was concerned about this door and sighed all the time. Chapter 647 Guilt A bright moon hangs in the dark blue sky, emitting a faint and clear light. Bright and clear. In a high-end residential area, bright lights are projected through the small glass windows on the eighth floor of the apartment, dimly reflecting the swaying figures inside. Hua la la. In the bathroom, the sound of running water is gurgling. The bathroom is full of hot air. And the mirror on the wall is also unconsciously heated into a white piece. Jian Linwei reached out and tested the water temperature. He felt it was just right. So he took off his sweaty sports suit, walked into the shower room shirtless, and took a shower. Your shallow smile is like black plum sauce. I tasted the mint flavor of your lipstick at the corner of your mouth. It is sweet love that is so sure because of your every shy reaction. The soft and comfortable towel, mixed with warm hot water, constantly rubbed the skin, and took away the foam of the shower gel on the body, and also took away the fatigue hidden deep in the body. He was in a particularly beautiful mood and hummed the latest popular songs. Although tonight, the nearly 20 kilometer jogging back and forth made him feel like he had just been pulled out of the water, all wet, and his sports shirt was completely soaked with sweat. The whole person was like being steamed in a sauna. Almost steaming hot. But he did not feel irritated because of this. But felt sincere joy. This joy is not that my own exercise tonight was successfully completed. But that I found a treasure shop and ate the best braised chicken leg rice in my life. No one else. It's a pity. Such delicious braised chicken drumstick rice. I had kept it in the legend before. And I didn't touch it. Otherwise, why did I taste such delicious food only now? But think about it. In fact, I didn't taste it before. Isn't it a kind of luck? Otherwise, his healthy life that he has maintained for many years would have been broken long ago. How could he persist until now? After all, such delicious food. As long as you eat it once. No one can resist such delicious food. I want to eat it again. He is no exception. He knows very well in his heart that he can't go back. Even if he tries hard to restrain himself from savoring and thinking about the delicious braised chicken drumstick rice tonight, it will still bubble up in his mind from time to time, disturbing his mind. Hey, I have maintained a healthy life for almost five years, and it was broken just like this. He sighed helplessly again, turning off the hot water valve. He wrung out the towel, wiped off the water droplets on his body, put on a set of clean pajamas, and left the spacious bathroom. He walked to the living room laid down on the sofa, and watched TV for a while. But his eyes were on the TV. But his heart was in Han. That's right. At this moment, 
his thoughts were far away, and he was struggling whether to go to that really delicious restaurant for dinner tomorrow. Buzz? The phone on the coffee table rang, pulling his thoughts back. He picked up the phone and took a look. Someone in the jogging group suddenly tagged him. He swiped the screen of the phone and clicked in to see the content. It turned out that someone in the group was organizing a night run in the park tomorrow night. And he specially tagged everyone in the group, wanting to call on everyone to actively participate in this event. Jian Linwei is naturally indispensable for such an activity. He tapped the screen of his mobile phone without hesitation and joined the group. However, as soon as he finished the group, he began to struggle again. He was struggling whether to wait until tomorrow night after jogging to go to the really delicious restaurant for a meal. The answer is of course yes. But, if I go there, I will definitely not be able to control my mouth. And I will eat too much if I am not careful. In this way, it is less than a month. And I will indulge myself for two consecutive days. This is not good. Thinking of this, the guilt in his heart extinguished half of the little flame of desire in his heart. But he was reluctant to give up such a delicious food. But he was full of guilt to continue to follow the rule of indulging himself for only one day a month. Oh! This is really torture. Suddenly, he seemed to have thought of something. His eyes lit up. And he quickly tapped the screen of his mobile phone again. Saying in the group, after running tomorrow, How about we all get together to eat something? As soon as this was said, the runners in the group were shocked. And their mouths opened wide. Enough to fit an egg. And there was an unbelievable look in their eyes. Am I chatting with a fake Jiang Lin Wei? Huh? Wei Gu. Your account. Is it stolen? Wei Gu. Are you possessed? Oh my god. Wei Gu. Are you trying to surprise me to death so that you can inherit my Hua Bei? Wei Gu. If you are kidnapped, just blink your eyes. Did I hear it right? Did I hear it right? Did I hear it right? Our Viagra actually said that he wanted to eat something after the activity. I have no objection. I'm fine with that. Anyway, running and eating are good at the same time. Why don't we go to eat skewers after running? After running, we sweat a lot, drink some beer, and eat some barbecue. Just thinking about it makes me feel good. Looking at the messages in the group, Jiang Lenwei didn't say anything. He just thought that after jogging tomorrow night, when he passed by the really delicious restaurant, he would take them all in. There was no need to tell these runners in advance so that they wouldn't make random statements and shout that they didn't want to eat at this restaurant, but would eat barbecue and beer, which would lead to disagreements. In the end, the decision had to be made by the majority, not to mention the trouble. If everyone finally supported eating barbecue and beer, wouldn't his wish be in vain? So, he didn't say anything now. Just wait and take them there. At that time, they would at most grumble a few words of dissatisfaction, but they would definitely thank him after eating. He still had this confidence. Besides, friends in the running group had a meal together after running, which was not called indulgence. Right? In this way, his guilt was also reduced a lot. However, if you go late at night, you can only eat braised rice. And you can't eat other stir-fried dishes at all. But he still wanted to taste other dishes. After thinking about it, he silently opened the fitness group and sent a message, Everyone, is there anyone who doesn't work tomorrow afternoon and wants to go to the gym to exercise? I'm going to take a rest at home tomorrow. But I'm going to sleep until I wake up naturally. Probably until noon. Wei Ji's appointment is in the afternoon. Not in the morning. So it doesn't prevent you from sleeping in in the morning. No problem. I can do it. Count me in. Seeing someone respond, Jiang Linwei quickly replied, Then let's meet at Zhonghua Road at 11.30 tomorrow. Huh? Why do we have to meet at Zhonghua Road? Fuck. Wei Gu, you didn't move. Did you? You didn't tell us that you moved. You're not kind. Wei Gu, moving is a happy event. You have to treat us. Jiang Linwei didn't explain much. Just responded lightly, it's getting late. I have to sleep first. Let's meet at Zhonghua Road at 11.30 tomorrow. Well, make an appointment with fitness friends to work out together. And then have lunch together before working out. This move. It makes sense. The guilt in his heart was alleviated a little. Chapter 648 Steamed Spare Ribs with Black Bean Sauce The next morning, the king asked me to patrol the mountains. I went around the world, beat my drums, and struck my gongs. Life is full of rhythm. The king asked me to patrol the mountains. I caught a month for dinner. The water in the mountain stream is extremely sweet. 
I don't envy the Mandarin ducks or the immortals. Cheerful singing voices drifted out from the golden sun kindergarten and echoed in the sky, urging the children who came to school to hurry into the kindergarten. Daddy, hurry up. We're going to be late. When I got up in the morning, I was still dawdling. Now I know I'm in a hurry. Wang Tao smiled and comforted her. Don't worry. There's still time. As he said that, he carried her down from the exclusive seat in the back seat, then took her school bag and water bottle, held her little hand, and walked quickly to the gate of the kindergarten. Xian Xian, Wang Tao. Suddenly, a familiar voice came into the ears of the father and daughter. The father and daughter immediately looked in the direction of the voice and saw Yiwen standing by the electric pole in front of them. Seeing Yiwen smiling and waving at the father and daughter, the cute little Xuan Xuan's eyes lit up immediately. She waved at Yiwen as if responding while walking, and called sweetly, Teacher Yi. Hey! Yiwen smiled gently, bent down slightly, reached out and touched Xuan Xuan's little face, and asked, Xian Xian, You are here. Do you want Teacher Yi to take you in together? Okay. Xian Xian readily agreed holding Yiwen's hand at once, then tilted her head and looked at Wang Tao. Daddy, you go back and do your work. I can go in with Teacher Yi. You don't have to send me over. Okay. Wang Tao squatted down, put the small school bag and teapot on Xuan Xuan's back, and said with a smile, then you go in with Teacher Yi. After school in the afternoon, don't walk around. Wait for Teacher Yi to get off work. And then you can come to the store with Teacher Yi. Dad is waiting for you in the store. Also, you must listen to the teacher in the kindergarten. Understand? Xian Xian agreed obediently. Well, don't worry. Dad, I will be good. Wang Tao touched her little face and nodded, expressing absolute trust. He stood up and said to Yiwen, Sorry to bother you. Yiwen, you're welcome. It's just a little effort. Yiwen lifted the hair by her ear and smiled. Then let's go in first. Dad, bye. See you in the afternoon. Xian Xian waved to her obediently. After watching Xian Xian and Yiwen enter the gate of the kindergarten, Wang Tao turned around and left, driving to the store. Good morning, boss. Good morning, everyone. Have breakfast first, and then get busy. Hearing this, all the employees put down their work, gathered together, picked up their own breakfast, and enjoyed it happily. Wang Tao asked with a smile, Old Xian. Have you bought the pointed cartilage and dried black beans that I asked you to buy yesterday? Old Qian replied with a smile, I have bought it, and it has been moved to the back kitchen. The quantity is also in accordance with your request. The dried black beans are also in accordance with your request, and have just been soaked in hot water. Boss, why did you suddenly remember to buy the cartilage and dried black beans of the ribs? Are you going to make a new dish again? Lin Zifeng's eyes lit up. Are you going to make steamed pork ribs with black bean sauce? Oh, are you the worm in my stomach? You guessed it. Yes, I'm going to try to make a dish of steamed spare ribs with black bean sauce. If it tastes good, I'll launch it at noon. Wang Tao smiled and nodded. After all, the two dishes of sweet and sour spare ribs and garlic spare ribs yesterday were very popular with new and old customers, especially female customers. They have a special liking for these two dishes. Girls, that's how it is. They dislike fried and sweet and sour foods, saying they are greasy and high in calories. But when they eat them, they are extremely enthusiastic. Besides, spare ribs are suitable for all ages no matter how they are cooked. So, he wants to strike while the iron is hot and launch the new dish of steamed spare ribs with black bean sauce. It will surely be liked by new and old customers. And the cartilage with meat that Lao Qianjin brought in is the main ingredient needed for the steamed spare ribs with black bean sauce that is to be made now. If these cartilages with meat are used, the taste will be better, and customers can experience the pleasure of eating ribs without spitting out bones, which can also save them trouble. Boss, what you make must taste good. Everyone looked expectant. Wang Tao smiled, changed into a chef's uniform, entered the back kitchen, washed his hands, looked at the dried black beans soaked in hot water, and left them alone because they were not soaked yet. Then he looked at the cartilages with meat. These cartilages with meat are not long, but the meat is great, with fat and lean. Not bad. He took a kitchen knife and chopped all the cartilage segments into small pieces of about 2 centimeters. This steamed pork ribs with black bean sauce is different from other dishes. It only takes about 15 minutes to steam and it can be served. Therefore, the cartilage segments should be chopped smaller. 
Otherwise, it is not easy to steam thoroughly. And there are also some requirements when steaming. These ribs cannot be stacked together, but should be evenly spread on the plate, so that the heat is evenly distributed and the meat is more delicious. After chopping, Wang Tao put these cartilage segments into clean water, washed off some blood on the surface, and then rubbed them with baking soda. After rubbing for a few minutes, Wang Tao cleaned these cartilage segments, squeezed out the water inside, and put them aside for later use. Then, he looked at the dried black beans and saw that they were already soaked. So he cut them into small pieces. The purpose is to allow the aroma of black beans to be better integrated into the ribs. After all the chopped, sprinkle these small pieces of dried black beans on the ribs in the basin. Then add chopped garlic, some ginger slices and scallion segments into the basin. Then pour some oyster sauce, light soy sauce, sugar, salt and other condiments into the basin. Use your hands to mix these ingredients and seasonings evenly. Finally, add a handful of cornstarch and continue to mix until the cornstarch completely wraps the ribs. The purpose is naturally to lock the moisture in the meat and prevent the moisture in the meat from being lost. After finishing, Wang Tao poured some cooked peanut oil into the basin. In this way, these cartilage meat segments will not stick together and they will taste smoother when they are done. He took the plastic wrap and sealed the basin then put it in the refrigerator for cold marination. The marinating time is about half an hour. Of course, he was not idle either, and continued to deal with other things. After waiting for about half an hour, Wang Tao took the basin out of the refrigerator and looked at the color of the marinade. The meat was already marinated. Wang Tao decided to start steaming it. However, steaming sparrows is also very particular. First of all, it is necessary to thicken the sauce twice. Unlike other steamed meat products, the steamed sparrows with black bean sauce must be thickened twice to make it delicious, so that the steamed sparrows can be more tender, smooth and refreshing, fragrant and not greasy. Before thickening, Wang Tao picked out all the scallion segments and ginger slices in the basin, then pour the starch water just prepared into the basin. Mix it evenly with your hands and let the meat be coated with starch water, then put it on the plate. It is best to steam this dish one plate at a time, so that it can be steamed more evenly. If you want to make it delicious, you have to prevent steam from dripping into the ribs. So you need to cover them with a layer of plastic wrap when steaming, so that the ribs are original, whether in color or taste. They will be more perfect. After covering them with plastic wrap, Wang Tao poked a few holes in the plastic wrap with a toothpick, so that there would be no danger of bursting. He put the plates of meat into the steamer and adjusted the steaming time. Chapter 649 Is there a radar installed on your nose? In a short while, a special aroma of fermented black beans mixed with a fragrant meat aroma quietly drifted out from the steamer and filled the entire kitchen, making people's appetites increase. Gurgle. Gurgle. The first group of kitchen staff who smelled it. The five internal organs that had just been filled. Suddenly started to clamor. It smells so good. My Haleda is about to drool. More than drooling. I'm hungry even after just eating. Yes. Yes. As long as our boss makes it, the whole house will be filled with fragrance. Just by smelling it, you can tell that this is the taste of steamed sparrows with fermented black beans. There's no mistake. Of course, when has our boss's dish ever tasted bad? That's right. When our boss makes it, it must be delicious. I think, once this steamed sparrows with fermented black beans is available, it will definitely be as popular as sweet and sour sparrows and garlic sparrows and will be well liked by new and old customers. For a moment, the voices of the five kitchen staff resounded throughout the kitchen, and Huang Tao couldn't help but smile brightly. Seeing that the time was almost up, he opened the door of the steamer. Instantly, the steam gathered and the steamer spread out as the door was opened. Under the mist, there were four plates of steamed sparrows with fermented black beans in white porcelain plates and bowls. This amount is a bit too much. But if you want to eat it, you have to eat it to your heart's content. Wang Tao also wanted the store employees to help evaluate the taste of this dish. If it's good, he would serve it at noon. After all, the recipe of this dish is quite simple and easy to operate. But the taste, it can also be slightly adjusted. For example, when steaming, you can sprinkle some chopped pepper or fresh pepper rings on it. In this way, the final product will have a spicy taste which is easier to eat with rice than the original taste. But in this way, you can't taste the freshness of the ribs 
and the fragrance of fermented black beans. So, he followed the best practice provided by the system and abandoned the step of adding chopped pepper or fresh pepper rings. He took cotton gloves and took out the four plates of steamed ribs with fermented black beans from the steamer one by one and placed them on the stove. He took a handful of chopped green onions and sprinkled them on the four plates. The tender green onions were scattered on the snow white and tender ribs. It has both color and fragrance. Wang Tao's Adam's apple couldn't help but roll slightly. It's just lacking in taste. He, who is not used to eating alone, smiled and said, Come on. The steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans are ready. Come and try it. As soon as the words fell, the employees, who had been greedy for a long time, hurriedly put down their work and walked to Wang Tao aside in two steps. In the white porcelain plate and bowl, the steamed spare ribs were placed in it. The black fermented black beans were mixed in it. The brown soup made of gravy and saw soaked the bottom of the porcelain plate and the top was dotted with green chopped green onions. At first glance, it was very fresh. But although it looked very fresh, along with this fresh appearance, there was also the indescribable garlic fragrance. The fragrance of spare ribs and fermented black beans. And the freshness had its own indescribable temptation. We could also see something from the satisfied expression on the boss face after he took the ribs and put them in his mouth. The taste must be quite wonderful. The employees swallowed their saliva dared not look anymore, and hurriedly took the chopsticks, raised the chopsticks, and couldn't wait to pick up the steamed ribs with black bean sauce. Tasted it. The ribs were very tender, and not greasy at all. After chewing it gently, a rich juice burst in the mouth. The freshness of the meat, and the aroma of black bean sauce also bloomed in the mouth. The ribs absorbed the aroma of black bean sauce, and the black bean sauce absorbed the meat aroma of the ribs. The two blended together, and tasted extremely delicious and because they were all cartilage. There was no need to consider spitting out the bones. You can just chew and eat with meat and bones. It's so delicious. Delicious. It's so wonderful. Wow. This taste is really amazing. Fuck. A simple steamed sparrows with fermented black beans can be made so tender and boneless. Crispy but not mushy. And chewed with cartilage. So exciting. That's right. When you put it in your mouth. The fresh fragrance of fermented black beans and the tenderness of the sparrows blend in your mouth. And chewing with cartilage makes a crunching sound, which is particularly chewy and delicious. It is really very satisfying and refreshing. Everyone praised and ate several pieces of sparrows in a row. It was really delicious. What's more rare is that even if you eat a few more pieces of sparrows, you won't feel greasy at all. Just at this time, Old Chin walked in shaking a folding fan, and said happily as he walked, Boss Wong, are you tinkering with new dishes again? Why do I smell the smell of fermented black beans? Hi. I have to say. Lao Qin has a really good nose. Wang Tao once suspected that Lao Qin was waiting at the door of his shop. Otherwise how could he come so timely? Wang Tao smiled and nodded. I did try to make some steamed sparrows with fermented black beans. Qin Lai. You came just in time. Help me taste it. I couldn't ask for more. I couldn't ask for more. Lao Qin folded his fan. And was as happy as an old child and immediately went to greet him. Li Qingzhan said jokingly with a smile, Uncle Qin, do you have a radar on your nose? Otherwise, how come you can always show up the first time we try a new dish? This is unscientific. It's indeed unscientific. You live a few hundred meters away from our store. Even if the aroma in the store is very tempting, it can't float that far. Besides, it's not even 9.30 now. Not even business hours yet. You come here so early, Aren't you too early? Or, Uncle Chin, have you been squatting near the entrance of our store? Old Chin, what nonsense are you talking about? Hey, because Huang Tao's new store doesn't serve breakfast. Old Chin hasn't been able to enjoy a breakfast that satisfies his appetite and makes him happy in recent days. Just like this morning, he bought two meat buns and a cup of soy milk at a nearby breakfast shop. But the taste was just average, not comparable to the pan-fried buns made by Huang Tao and even inferior to those made by Su Hao and his friends. Such a breakfast is like chewing wax for the picky Lao Qin. So, he wanted to come to Huang Tao's place, smell the aroma of the braised food in the shop, and finish the remaining bun. Unexpectedly, as soon as he came, he smelled a special fragrance wafting from the store. He immediately got it that Huang Tao was making new dishes in the store. He smiled awkwardly but politely and replied, 
What radar? Does my nose need radar? I just happened to be walking nearby and smell the fragrance wafting from the store. So I came in. I can only say that my luck is too good. Every time I come, I can eat new dishes. As he said, Lao Qing picked up a piece of ribs and could immediately feel the tenderness and freshness of the ribs from the chopsticks. Just one bite. The meat and cartilage are easy to separate. And the taste is smooth and not old. It won't be dry. The soup is wrapped in the meat. This bite is like biting through a soup dumpling. And the delicious soup bursts out instantly. Just like bubbles being popped. Leaving a lingering fragrance in the mouth. The soft and rotten spare ribs and the taste of black bean are not the strong taste of sweet and sour spare ribs or garlic spare ribs. But light and delicious. After eating a piece of spare ribs, Lao Chin still felt that the aftertaste was endless and couldn't help but pick up another piece and tasted it carefully. Looking at Lao Qin's expression, Wang Tao knew that this wave of new products must be stable. I can't find any fault with such delicious food. Lao Qin smiled and asked, Boss Wang, when will this steam spare ribs with black bean? Doesn't that mean that in about an hour, I can have another serving? Lao Qin didn't leave. He sat in the store, waiting for the moment when Huang Tao opened for lunch. Chapter 650 Boss Huang you have no moral principles. Boss Huang, we are here. At 10 o'clock, the idle rich second generation also pushed the door and walked into the store. As soon as they entered the store, they greeted Huang Tao from a distance. Huang Tao smiled and responded, Hello. Hey. Good. Ma Junwen rubbed his stomach and asked with a smile, Boss Huang, it's already 10 o'clock. You should open for business. Right. We haven't had breakfast yet. The other rich second generations also echoed, Yes. Yes. We are still hungry. Just waiting to eat your lunch. Since moving here, they have given up the habit of eating breakfast after learning that Huang Tao's new store does not serve breakfast. It's not that they don't want to eat breakfast, but they have been spoiled by Huang Tao. And they have no appetite for breakfast in other stores in the city. So much so that they would rather stay entangled with a quilt in the morning than go out to the nearby breakfast shop to buy breakfast. Of course. The breakfast made by Su Hao and his friends in the old street in the west of the city is still deeply influenced by Mr. Huang. And it suits their taste. But when they think about it, it takes too much time and energy to go back and forth. And they may not be able to buy it even if they drive there specially. Who let the neighbors in the old street be so lively and line up early. So it is difficult for them to buy it later. In addition, they don't want to go back and forth. So they have to wrong their stomachs and save the food made by Huang Tao for lunch. To be honest, it is also quite good to sleep until the sun is high and then come here for lunch. Uh, okay. They admit that this is just a helpless move. Facing the eager and expectant eyes of these rich second generations, Huang Tao coughed lightly and said, Sorry, you have to wait a little longer. I will try to let you eat before 11 o'clock. Huh? Lin Annan had a little expression of I am so helpless. We have to wait until 11 o'clock in the morning to open again. Ma Junwen was possessed by the spirit of drama for a second. Covering his chest and said, Boss Huang, my heart is not very good. What did you just say? Huang Tao. Just said, try to let you eat before 11 o'clock. Huang Tao helplessly spread his hands and said, the ingredients are not ready yet. Everyone's expression froze. And the dream they had imagined for a morning was broken. But soon, they spotted the chopped black beans on the chopping board with their sharp eyes. In an instant, their eyes, which had just lost their light, immediately burst into a fiery color. Ma Juwen pointed and asked, Boss Huang, what is this? Huang Tao politely replied, Fermented black beans. Ma Juwen asked curiously, What are you going to do with the chopped fermented black beans? Lin Annan's eyes lit up. Are you developing a new dish? What new dish is it? Wang Tao smiled and said, Steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans. That's great. When they thought about the new dish of garlic spare ribs that they had the honor of tasting yesterday, they felt that they came at the right time and would have the honor of tasting the deliciousness of steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans. The mood of Ma Junwen and other rich second generations also became better. That's great. I really like steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans. Boss Huang, let's try it for you later but they were only happy for a minute. And then, they were poured a bucket of cold water by Lao Qin, who was not far away, which made them feel cold and depressed. Tasting? It's already so late. And you're still thinking about tasting. Let me tell you. 
You're all a step too late. We just finished tasting Mr. Huang's steamed spare ribs with black bean sauce. What did you say? Tasting finished? Oh my god. No way. No way. No way. How come the tasting is finished? These rich second generations looked at Huang Tao with disbelief. And when they saw Huang Tao nod, their hearts broke like dumpling fillings. Boss Huang, you have no moral principles. You didn't even notify them of the tasting. Just when they were sad, Lao Qin sprinkled salt on their wounds. He gently waved his folding fan and said with a smile, Boss Huang just made steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans. The taste is amazing. Take a bite of the soft and rotten spare ribs. The spare ribs are full of soup. The sauce-colored soup is crystal clear. It smells good and tastes even better. The spare ribs are fat, and the fat is more flavorful. Every bite is full of juicy spare ribs. The fragrant fermented black beans are not overshadowed by the delicious black beans. It's so beautiful. Lao Qin is worthy of being a former five-star chef. He is good at cooking and describing. At least the rich second generations next to him are already drooling when they think of Huang Tao's cooking skills and feel even hungrier. Li Qingzhan and other employees who have eaten this dish also came over. This is good? They described the steamed sparrows with fermented black beans one after another, which made these rich second generation customers feel even hungrier. Please be a human being and stop talking. My stomach is like it's rebelling. It keeps growling. Ma Junwen said uncomfortably, holding his stomach. That's right. I'm so hungry that I'm almost having a stomachache. Stop talking. Lin Annan also condemned them and told them to stop talking. Then he looked at Li Qingzhan with a face full of resentment and said, And Brother Zhan, you are so mean. You didn't even inform us when the restaurant was tasting new dishes. We still call you brother. Is this how you take care of your brothers? Xiao Yuqiu also looked like he shared the same hatred with the enemy. That's right. You didn't share the new dishes when you tried them. That's too much. How can you treat your brother like this? Liang Liang couldn't help but make a complaint. Brother John. We clearly agreed to eat delicious food together. But you treated us like this. You ate alone. Doesn't your conscience hurt? Li Qing John. Originally. He wanted to show off in front of the brothers and make them envious and jealous. But he didn't expect that he would fail causing the brothers to complain to him. Alas, he underestimated the charm of his boss's craftsmanship. He even underestimated the brother's love for the boss's cooking. But, to be honest, he deliberately didn't inform the brothers. After all, the new dishes made by the boss were not very large in quantity. And the employees, like them, only ate two or three pieces to satisfy their cravings. If there were more people, the amount they would share would be even less. Adhering to the principle of not letting others suffer, he did not reveal the news of new product tasting in the brothers' group. Li Qingzhan said without blushing, I finished it as soon as I got busy. Ma Junwen and other rich second generations suspected that Li Qingzhan was lying. But unfortunately, they had no evidence. Chapter 651 I have never eaten delicious food in my life. So what? The sky was clear, and the bright sunshine was shining through the gaps between the dense ginkgo leaves, sprinkling all over the Zinhashi restaurant making the entire restaurant as bright as if it was coated with a layer of dazzling gold. When it was close to 11 o'clock, Li Qingzhan opened the door of the store, which also meant that Zinhashi Restaurant welcomed today's lunch. As soon as the door of the store opened, scattered customers began to come in one after another. Manager Yang, I tell you, this Zheng Hao restaurant is definitely a treasure. The owner's cooking skills are first class. Even the state banquet chefs can't compare. I guarantee that you will miss it every day after eating here and want to come here every day. What I said is all from my own experience. Not a bit of exaggeration. I brought my girlfriend here to eat yesterday. And she was attracted as soon as she ate here. And she also shouted that she would also come to this restaurant for a date next Sunday. You don't know that when she was dating before. She had to go to a western restaurant. A young man led three colleagues to the door of the Zheng Hao restaurant. That's right. The young man walking in front is Lin Jin Yuan. One of the other three colleagues is their manager. Yang Ziyang. Yang Ziyang's family is well off. And his ability to make money is also very good. He also has high requirements for food, clothing and housing. His concept is making money is for enjoyment. If you work hard to save money every day and live a simple life, then making money loses its meaning. Just like the Zinhachi restaurant that has been very popular these days. Just by hearing the name. It is directly positioned as a street restaurant, which seems a little lower in grade compared to sushi steak, pasta, etc. 
he didn't even know about it, and just passed it up. After all, small restaurants were not within his range of choice. So why bother to pay attention to them? He even thought that the group of people in his circle of friends had no taste. They just ate a braised rice and ordered a few side dishes. And then they were so excited that they posted it on their circle of friends to announce it. They even said it was so delicious that they cried. What if they had never eaten delicious food in their life? Or did they have some misunderstanding about the word delicious? He had high requirements for the quality of life. But in order to get closer to his subordinates, he was also flexible. He felt that he was respected and liked by his colleagues in the company. In addition to his good business ability, it was also related to his ability to get along with his colleagues, especially when it comes to eating. Even if he doesn't like this type of food, it is mainly based on the preferences of his colleagues. Just like just now, Lin Jin Yuan and other colleagues invited him to eat at a newly opened restaurant near the company after get off work. And he had to agree. Manager Yang, you don't know that the three-in-one braised rice and braised pork rice in this restaurant are so delicious that I almost bit my tongue off. I have been coming to this restaurant to eat braised rice this weekend. And I never get tired of it. And the other dishes are also very delicious. Yes, yes, the restaurant also has state-level dishes. But the price is beyond my affordability. I didn't order this boiled cabbage. But according to the feedback from other diners in the restaurant, this dish is very delicious and amazing. Moreover, the environment of this restaurant is also very clean and hygienic. And the ingredients selected are super fresh and of good quality. Manager, you don't have to worry about the taste. Yang Ziang found it funny. But the purpose of eating together was to build good relations with his subordinates. If they were willing to eat, he would just accompany them. He nodded and said, Okay, I believe you. While talking, they walked into the store. Li Chenzhan, who was not very busy at the moment, saw that it was an old customer who came to the door and greeted them with a smile. Hello, welcome to Zinhachi Restaurant. May I ask how many people are there? Are you together? Lin Jin Yuan nodded. Yes, we are all together. A total of four people. Okay. Li Qingzhan smiled and pointed to a four-person table by the window and said, Then please sit here. Yeah. Lin Jin Yuan nodded. And when he took a casual look, he found something strange. And his eyes lit up. Huh? The ribs they eat don't seem to be sweet and sour ribs and garlic ribs? The rich second-generation customers and Lao Qin have already eaten. Li Qingzhan responded with a smile. There is a new product at noon today. Steamed pork ribs with fermented black beans. Steamed pork ribs with fermented black beans? This fermented black beans tastes good. Are these fermented black beans pork ribs delicious? Lin Jin Yuan asked Ma Junwen and other rich second generations. The rich second generations chewed the ribs, looked up and nodded, and did not forget to give a thumbs up, and responded vaguely, Yeah, delicious. Looking at this posture, it should be quite delicious. Thinking that Huang Tao's braised rice and garlic ribs are also so delicious. His skill in making steamed pork ribs with fermented black beans must be good. Lin Jin Yuan asked other colleagues for their opinions. Then let's order a portion of steamed pork ribs with fermented black beans to try? I can choose any of them. You choose, Yang Ziang said with a smile. Others also had no objections. And then discussed and chose a few affordable dishes. Yang Ziang looked around and found that the environment in the store was much better than he had imagined. And his impression of the store was greatly changed. After all, he just thought that the restaurant was low-end. And it could not be said that it was against the Zenhachi fast food restaurant. People, it is always easy to interpret unknown things without understanding them and hold a fixed impression. But at this moment Yang Ziang did not dislike his good impression of this store. After Huang Tao received the order information, he asked Li Qingzhan to bring the steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans that had been steamed in advance. And he cooked other dishes himself. A few more people came in. As soon as they came in, they saw Li Qingzhan coming over with a tray. There was a plate of steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans on the tray. When they passed by them, the aroma of steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans wafted over. Take a sip. It smells so good. The people swallowed their saliva and asked with a smile, Oh, your store has a new flavor of spare ribs? Yes. Li Qingzhan smiled and nodded at them, and politely replied, Steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans. The people smiled and replied, Okay, then we will order one too. Li Qingzhan politely replied again, You can find a seat first. If you want to order, 
Just scan the QR code on the table. If you don't understand anything, you can always ask me. The people nodded. Scan the code to order. We know. You go ahead. Okay. Li Qingzhan nodded politely at them. Then brought the tray to Lin Jinyuan's table. And put the plate of steamed sparrows with fermented black beans on the tray on their table. This is the steamed sparrows with fermented black beans you ordered. Please enjoy. Okay. Thank you. Lin Jinyuan smiled and thanked him. And then greeted, everyone. Eat while it's hot. Yang Ziang's eyes fell on the steamed sparrows with fermented black beans that were served first. The evenly thick sparrows were wrapped in the soup and shimmered with light. They were fat and lean. The crispy bones in the middle were white. And the black fermented black beans were dotted in between. Some tender green chopped green onions fell on the sparrows. The black, white and green contrasted with each other, which was very pleasing to the eye. It smelled sweet. From the color and fragrance, you can tell that the sparrows were steamed at the right temperature, which was extremely tempting. He picked up a piece and tasted it. The steamed sparrows were very tender, absorbed the fermented black bean sauce, and had a rich aroma and delicious taste. The addition of cartilage enriched the taste. In short, it was crispy, soft and rotten, and the fermented black beans left a lingering fragrance. This taste and flavor made Yang Ziang unable to resist picking up a second piece of fermented black beans. To be honest, the rib dishes I ordered in other restaurants before were either sweet and sour ribs, or deep-fried small ribs, and other kinds of rib soups. There were few steamed ribs with black bean sauce, like the one in Zenhashi. But the taste was surprisingly good. The nourishing fish soup was served. And he also tasted it. The milky white soup made people hungry. The mouth was full of the fresh fish fragrance. When you open your mouth slightly, the smooth fish meat slipped into your mouth. The chopped green onion fragrance mixed with a light saltiness was much better than expected. Yang Ziang's heart was conquered silently. And it was known from the speed at which he ate. He said happily, Let's come to this restaurant to eat after get off work tomorrow at noon. Hearing this, Lin Jingyuan and the other three were surprised. Ah, manager, you are going to come to Zenhashi to eat here tomorrow. Everyone understood immediately. The manager was impressed by the food in Zenhashi. That's right. Once you have eaten it, no one can resist the deliciousness of the food at Zenhashi restaurant. Chapter 652 It's your turn. So just eat something. Time passed by little by little. And it was half past eleven in a blink of an eye. After Jiang Linwei finished the project at hand, he hurried to Zhonghua Road with a gym bag on his back, and then stood on the street, waiting for the arrival of several other fitness friends. He is in sales. Their work and commuting time is relatively free. At three o'clock in the afternoon, he made an appointment with a customer to discuss cooperation. So, he had planned it all, taking advantage of this time. He planned to have lunch with those fitness friends first, and then go to the gym together, work out for about an hour, and then meet the customers at the agreed place. He waited on the street for about four or five minutes. He saw two flat-headed men walking quickly not far away, looking left and right, as if they were looking for something. When the two of them got closer, he saw clearly that the two people walking quickly towards this side were the two fitness friends who had agreed to work out together in the afternoon in the WeChat group last night. He smiled and waved at them. Lin Bo. Yang Ming. Over here. Hey. Wei Gu. The moment Lin Bo and Yang Ming saw Jiang Lin Wei clearly, they quickened their pace. When they walked in front of Jiang Lin Wei, they said apologetically, Wei Gu. I'm sorry. There was a traffic jam on the road, which delayed us for a while. Have you been waiting for a long time? Not for a long time. Jiang Linwei waved his hand and responded with a smile. I just got here a while ago. Hearing this, Lin Bo and the others felt a little less sorry. And they smiled and said, Then let's go. Okay, let's go this way. Jiang Linwei walked towards the Zenhachi restaurant. This move. It puzzled Lin Bo and Yang Ming. But they didn't think much about it. He just subconsciously reminded the other party. And pointed in another direction while saying, Brother Wei, the gym is not in this direction. It's in that direction. You're going the wrong way. Oh, I know. Jian Lin Wei turned his head and said with a smile, I haven't had lunch yet. Have you two eaten? No. I got up late in the morning. And when I got up and cleaned up, I found that it was almost 11 o'clock. So I went out directly to meet you. Lin Bo scratched his head and said a little embarrassedly, I didn't even have breakfast. I haven't eaten yet. 
Yang Ming echoed. I haven't eaten either. I originally planned to meet up with you, and then go to the gym downstairs to eat something. Jiang Liwei smiled and suggested. I see there are quite a few restaurants here. Let's just eat something here first, and then go to the gym after eating. It can help digestion on the way. Lin Bo and Yang Ming, who thought his words made sense, nodded in agreement. Okay, as long as you can fill your stomach. It doesn't matter where you eat. Jiang Linwei walked in front and continued to head towards the Zinhachi restaurant. There is a new restaurant here. Let's go to this one. That restaurant looks pretty good. And it seems that there are people queuing at the door of the store. Jiang Linwei raised his hand and pointed to a store in front, which was Huang Tao's Zinhachi restaurant. There were already seven or eight people sitting on the bench under the eaves outside the store, waiting in line. Lin Bo and Yang Ming saw it and showed a touch of surprise on their faces. Yang Ming couldn't help but say, A new store. And there's still a queue. Come on. Let's go and take a look. Lin Bo, who likes to join in the fun, suddenly became interested and urged the two of them to hurry over. When the three of them arrived outside the store, the people in line moved forward a little. The three of them sat down on the bench and waited in line. As soon as they sat down, people started to line up behind them and they could even be heard talking. I checked the official Weibo account before leaving get off work. And when I saw the news of the new dishes, I was almost so happy that I didn't even have the heart to go to work. So, I ran here as soon as I got off work. I should be able to buy this new product. Steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans. It's likely that it's possible. Although Mr. Huang used to prepare a small amount of new dishes every time, since he opened a branch in the city, the portion of the new dishes is much larger than that in the old street. There are a lot more. Generally, you can still buy new dishes and other best-selling dishes within an hour of the opening. That's good. I'm relieved. I came here for the new steamed pork ribs with fermented black beans at noon today. If they are sold out, I will cry. The food is really delicious. But it's too hard to get. Especially the new ones. Just like the garlic pork ribs and sweet and sour pork ribs that were released yesterday. You have to come early to buy them. When Jiang Liwei heard that there were new dishes at noon, he felt that he came at the right time. He looked at the front and the number of people dining in the restaurant and felt that he still had a good chance of eating. Yang Ming frowned. Steamed pork ribs with fermented black beans? It doesn't sound like I want to eat it. What other dishes does this restaurant have besides this dish? Jiang Linwei pointed to a sign at the entrance of the store and said, There's a menu over there. You can take a look. Brother Wei. You have good eyesight. I didn't see it. Who made me have good eyesight? The main dishes, such as braised rice, crab fried cake, yellow croaker noodles, and steamed pork ribs with lotus leaf and glutinous rice, look very ordinary. The other dishes, except for the soup, seem to be quite oily. Brother Wei, why don't we go to other stores to eat? I still want sushi. We should eat something lighter. As they were talking, it was their turn. Jiang Linwei breathed a sigh of relief and said, It's our turn. Let's stop struggling and go in and try it. Forget it. It's our turn. Let's just eat whatever we want. Yang Ming and the others thought it was their turn. So they had to give up and followed them in. Jiang Linwei found an empty seat and sat down. Then picked up his phone to scan the code to order food. Saying as he ordered, I ordered a braised chicken leg rice. Steamed sparrows with black bean sauce. Don't for pork and nourishing fish soup. What do you want to eat? Damn. Wei Gu. You actually ordered so much? Wei Gu. Don't you always dislike heavy tasting braised food and greasy food? Why did you order braised rice and don't but pork? I ate it yesterday. The braised rice here is very fragrant and not heavy. Ah. You have eaten it. The eyes of Yang Ming and Lin Bo changed. Jiang Lin Wei explained, No. I mean, I ate braised chicken leg rice last night and thought it tasted pretty good. Not heavy at all. Yang Ming and Lin Bo looked at him suspiciously, and said nothing. Then, they each ordered a bowl of yellow croaker noodles. After a while, Jiang Lingwei's braised chicken leg rice, dompa pork, and steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans were brought over by Li Qingzhan. As soon as these three dishes were served, Yang Ming and Lin Bo were attracted. Each dish can be described as having good color, aroma and taste. Just looking at it makes people's appetites grow. And the aroma is fragrant. And the dishes are not greasy at all. Instead, they feel very fragrant and tempting. Yang Ming couldn't help but say, 
it looks delicious. But it's a pity that I ordered yellow croaker noodles. Lin Bo nodded in agreement. The food in this restaurant looks really good. Yeah. Jian Lin Wei was very frugal with words. And just nodded yeah and stopped talking. He was afraid that he would let the cat out of the bag again. He first picked up a piece of steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans and tasted it. After taking a bite, the salty aroma of fermented black beans hits you in the face, blending with the delicious juice of the ribs, as if releasing endless flavors in your mouth. The aroma of fermented black beans and the meaty aroma of the ribs permeate each other, bringing his taste buds an unprecedented enjoyment. Hmm. Delicious. Take another bite of the tempting dongpa pork that trembles slightly like jelly. Take a bite and feel the fat melt in your mouth. The unique taste of dongpa pork instantly awakens your taste buds. Salty and sweet. The rich aroma of wine and meat seems to explode from your mouth. The more you chew, the more indescribable the taste is. It is fat but not greasy. Damn. What kind of delicacy is this? Lin Bo and Yang Ming looked at Jiang Lin Wei and ate at a terrifying speed. Which shows how delicious it is. It made them drool. But they were too embarrassed to ask for one or two to try. Fortunately, their yellow croaker noodles arrived at this time. They thought it was no different from the yellow croaker noodles in other stores and could not arouse their appetite. As a result, the moment the aroma of noodles penetrated into their noses, their appetite doubled. Oh my god, this yellow croaker noodles are so delicious. Yeah, yeah, it's really delicious. How did this store make it? They made the yellow croaker noodles so delicious. The three of them swept away the food in front of them as quickly as possible. Then they looked at the empty plates on the table and looked at each other. The yellow croaker noodles in the store were quite large. And they were almost full after eating them. But Yang Ming and Lin Bo felt unsatisfied. Yang Ming spoke first. Well, I feel like I... I haven't eaten enough yet. Do you two feel the same way? Lin Bo nodded. I think so too. Jiang Lin Wei, who was already a little full, suggested with a sense of unsatisfied desire. How about ordering some more? As soon as this suggestion came out, it was highly recognized by the two friends. So, the three of them picked up their phones and ordered again. Jiang Lin Wei ordered another serving of garlic pork ribs, wanting to eat more. Even if he couldn't finish it later, he could take it away and take it out whenever he wanted to eat. Wei Ming and Lin Bo also ordered fish ball soup and braised pork rice. Thinking that I was too anxious to eat just now, I didn't taste it properly. I have to chew it slowly and taste it later. And I can't eat it in a hurry. My fitness friends are all here. So I have to be more polite. Don't let the other party laugh at me. Chapter 653 The calorie debt owed by this meal must be repaid after all. 40 long seconds have passed. Why is it not ready yet? I am so anxious waiting. After Jiang Lin Wei and the other two ordered the food again, they put down their phones and waited calmly for the moment when the food was served. But they were already impatient in their hearts. They kept looking in the direction of the kitchen hoping that the food they ordered could be served to their table earlier and earlier. Finally, in their expectant eyes, garlic spare ribs and braised pork rice were served first. Hello. This is the garlic spare ribs and braised pork rice you ordered. Please enjoy. As Li Qingzhan said, he put the food on the tray on the table one by one. After putting it down, he didn't have time to take away the empty bowls on the table. Jiang Linwei and the other two couldn't wait to pick up the chopsticks and started eating. They were so anxious, as if they hadn't eaten for eight lifetimes. Of course, Li Qingzhan had already seen and taken this scene for granted. He calmly took away the empty bowls on the table. After all, this kind of situation happens every minute in the store. So it's not surprising. Come on. Come on. Try this garlic ribs too. Jian Linwei was in a good mood. After picking up a piece of garlic ribs for his two fitness friends, he also picked up a piece of garlic ribs and started eating. The fragrance filled his mouth as soon as he put it in his mouth. And the crispy taste made him hear the sound when he bit it. Chew twice. The meat and garlic aroma of the ribs burst out in the cavity. And the charred shell and tender meat were eaten in the mouth. The garlic aroma was rich. The outside was charred and the inside was tender. The texture was tender and delicious. And the chewiness was so strong that people couldn't help but want to swallow all the bones together. After eating the first piece, he couldn't wait to eat the second piece. As for the idea of chewing slowly and swallowing carefully, he had thrown it out of his mind. Lin Bo and Yang Ming were already drooling just by looking at the golden and tempting ribs. 
biting off half of the crispy and tender ribs. The meat was completely separated from the ribs, leaving only a clean bone. The strong meat aroma rushed straight into the mouth with hot air. After chewing gently, the outer layer was crispy. The meat was tender, and the garlic flavor was strong. After tasting it carefully, the meat was also slightly spicy and sweet. Lin Bo chewed as slowly as he could, and then slowly, until he swallowed it all. And then he let out a sigh of regret. At this moment, Yang Ming couldn't help but shout, the bones are so crispy. Hearing this, Lin Bo bit the bone directly without thinking. The bones made a crisp sound, and a burst of bone fragrance entered the mouth. Juice actually flowed out of the bones. The juice mixed with the crispness of the bones, with a faint garlic aroma and a hint of spiciness. A piece of ribs actually had several layers of taste, which was really amazing. Hmm. It's just that the amount is too small. Only one piece. If they had known earlier, they would have ordered a plate of garlic ribs just now. So they wouldn't have to watch Jiang Lin Wei finish a plate of garlic ribs alone. Jiang Lin Wei felt the eager expressions of his two fitness friends. At this moment, he couldn't help but mutter in his heart, These two guys, are they still thinking about my garlic ribs? At the same time, he suddenly regretted that he shouldn't have been generous and gave each of them a piece of garlic ribs to try. Because at this moment, he found that there was no situation where he couldn't finish it at all. And even felt that even if he ordered another plate of garlic ribs, he could still finish it. For the sake of his remaining garlic ribs, he had to follow the principle of making others suffer. But not yourself. Pretending not to see. Ignoring these two fitness friends. And continued to eat the remaining garlic ribs on the plate. Lin Bo. Yang Ming. Okay. Fortunately, they still have braised pork rice. They silently retracted their eager eyes and looked at the braised pork rice in front of them. The braised pork was cut into long strips of uniform shape and neatly placed on the white rice. The fine lines could be seen clearly. It was supposed to be so soft that it would fall apart at the first bite. The marinade soaked from the skin of the meat to the surroundings and even wrapped the soft glutinous rice. There was also a braised egg of the same color next to it, one cut in half, and even the egg yolk inside looked tasty. The strips of vegetable hearts were cooked soft, and there should be a lot of greasy foam on them. It looked particularly pleasing to the eye and also revealed a healthy atmosphere. Such a braised pork rice looks very good, with good braised pork, good braised eggs, good vegetables, and a good nutritional balance. Of course, the visual effect is very impactful. What are you waiting for? Just do it. The two of them couldn't wait to pick up a piece of braised meat and put it into their mouths and almost swallowed their tongues the next second. The rich flavor of the marinade and the soft and delicate braised meat are easy to bite and not sticky. After tasting it, the two of them squinted their eyes in enjoyment and exclaimed it's really delicious. The speed of eating rice is not slow at all. One mouthful, two mouthfuls, and three mouthfuls of it are wolfed down. Five minutes later, burp, 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 Jian Linwei and the other two finished the second meal they ordered in a whirlwind. And their stomachs, hidden under their sweatshirts, were slightly bloated and became more conspicuous. At this moment, the three of them slumped in their chairs, their stomachs full, their faces filled with that kind of happy and satisfied expression. Obviously, they all enjoyed this meal. Lin Bo exclaimed, This braised rice, this fish ball soup, this yellow croaker noodles are all delicious. Definitely the best meal I have ever eaten in my life. Wei Gu. This restaurant is good. Yang Ming nodded and said, Yes. Yes. How can there be such delicious food? This restaurant. How can everything be so delicious? This is too unscientific. Jiang Lin Wei had a little expression of pain and happiness. It's delicious. But I accidentally ate too much at noon. Oh. Full of guilt. Yes. This meal. How many laps do you have to run? How many weights do you have to lift? How many squats do you have to do to burn it off? Ah! Food is fun for a while. But working out is a big regret. The calorie debt owed by this lunch must be repaid eventually. Lin Bo also felt the same way. And said helplessly, I have to do 30 sets in the afternoon. Yang Ming also expressed his determination. Me too. I will exercise until the evening. Lin Bo asked, after the exercise. Let's come over to eat in the evening. Yang Ming nodded. Okay. I have no problem. Jiang Linwei remembered that he had made an appointment with the running friends online. So he couldn't help but say, I have to meet customers in the afternoon. 
so I won't come over to eat. Is that so? Forget about your busy schedule. Why don't you come over to eat with Yang Ming? The three of them sat for a while. And then, they all stood up. But they all felt a little full in their stomachs. Walk slowly. A little full. The three of them held the door, and walked out slowly. The people queuing outside the store were not surprising. Twenty minutes later, after the three of them arrived at the gym, they immediately devoted themselves to fitness. Eating so much, but not exercising more. They always felt full of guilt. The way they worked out crazily made the expressions of the fitness coaches beside them become solemn. Speaking of which, are these three guys stimulated by something? Are they frustrated in love? Or are they not satisfied in their careers? Even if they were worried, they didn't dare to ask them one or two. Chapter 654 You can't eat hot tofu in a hurry. The happy pond is planted. And the dream becomes the ocean. The bulging eyes and big mouth can also sing loudly. Give me a pair of small wings. And I can fly to the sun. I believe miracles are in me. Ah. At 4.30 in the afternoon. With the sound of cheerful music. The children in the kindergarten were picked up one by one by the parents who came. Finally, only Xian Xian was left in the kindergarten. This surprised the other teachers in the kindergarten. After all, Wang Tao has always been very punctual in picking up children from school. A teacher asked curiously, Huh? Why hasn't Xian Xian been picked up by her father today? Is her father delayed by something? Yuan smiled gently and replied truthfully, From today on, I will escort Xian Xian home after school. Ah! Hearing this, the teacher and several other teachers couldn't help but reveal a hint of surprise in their beautiful eyes. What about her father? The other teachers were also surprised. And they all cast curious and gossipy eyes at Yuan. Yuan was a little embarrassed by being stared at. She reached out and lifted the hair by her ear, showing an awkward but polite smile. I'm busy in the new store. I'll help you. As soon as these words came out, the teachers all looked at each other at the same time and saw a hint of gossip in each other's eyes that there must be something fishy between Teacher Yi and Boss Wang. Of course, I am more envious. To be honest, Wang Tao is really handsome and a nice person. Most importantly, he is a good cook and has a good ability to make money. He is really a perfect choice for a spouse. Yeah, if he hadn't been married before, they would have had ideas about him and wanted to pursue him. They came over and asked quietly beside Yuan, Teacher Yi, are you developing with Xuan Xuan's father? Tell us quickly. Have you won Xuan Xuan's father? How far have you two progressed? Yiwen. Sure enough. Gossip is not divided by profession. It's just that this question made her have no way to answer. After all, the fate is not even started. She said helplessly, Don't make fun of me. This made the teachers understand instantly. At present, Yiwen is still the one who is enthusiastic. However, Wang Tao actually entrusted such an important matter of picking up Xian Xian from school to Yiwen, and not to others, which is enough to show that Yiwen still has a place in his heart. And it accounts for a large proportion. As for whether there is love in this, only Huang Tao knows it in his heart. Yiwen chatted with several teachers for a few words, then went to the side to meet Xian Xian, while taking her small school bag and the small water bottle from Xian Xian's shoulders. She asked with concern, Xian Xian, are you a little bored waiting? Xian Xian shook her head and answered obediently, not bored. Many children said goodbye to me. So good. Yuan smiled and held Xian Xian's hand. Let's go. Teacher Yu will take you to take the bus now. And we will go to your father's news store together. Yeah. Xian Xian nodded like a little chicken. She is going to see her dear father. The big and small beauties came to the bus stop hand in hand. They were lucky. As soon as they arrived, the bus came. Xian Xian, you sit here. Yuan saw an empty seat and immediately arranged Xian Xian to sit down. While she held the handrail, Xian Xian invited obediently, Teacher Yi, you sit with me. No, it's fine for the teacher to stand. Just sit obediently. Yuan lowered her eyes and smiled at Xian Xian. Xian Xian sat down obediently, but she looked around and was very curious about everything around her. Not long after, the bus stopped steadily at the next stop. But it was not the stop Yuan wanted to get off. Many passengers got off. And many new passengers got on. The bus is always busy and crowded. Especially during the morning and evening rush hours. Which is simply a nightmare. Although the car is still spacious at this time. There are no extra empty seats for passengers to sit. An old lady in her 60s or 70s just got on the bus. 
squeezed next to Yi Wen, and reached out to grab the handrail above. Just at this moment, Xuan Xuan's little head turned around. She blinked and hesitated for a moment. Then she stood up from her seat, tilted her head, and said to the old lady, Grandma, please sit here. Hmm? The old lady and Yi Wen were both stunned. Yi Wen really didn't expect Xian Xian to take the initiative to give up her seat to the old lady. Although she taught the children to be polite to others, to be humble and polite in kindergarten, and also taught the children to sing the nursery rhyme song of giving up seats. To be honest, she just hoped that they would remember it at the time, and didn't expect the children to implement this move in real life. After all, they are now at the age of being taken care of by others. Not taking care of others. Unexpectedly. Now, little Xian Xian not only listened, but also put it into action. Look at her proficiency. Usually, she should have given up her seat to others. While being surprised, Yi Wen also felt full of pride and joy. There are really not many children, like Xian Xian, who remember the teacher's words in their hearts and do it. The old lady waved her hand and said, No. No. Grandma won't sit. You sit by yourself. You are such a good child. How could she have the nerve to let a four or five year old child give up her seat for her? Even more embarrassed was the young girl sitting next to Xian Xian. She quickly stood up and said, Sit here. I'll get off at the next stop. Little girl. Thank you. This time the old lady did not refuse. After sitting down in the other person's seat, she took Xuan Xuan's little hand, asked Xian Xian to sit back to her original seat, and chatted with Xian Xian. My dear, how old are you? Grandma, I'm five years old this year. What's your name? My full name is Huang Jingxian, and my nickname is Xian Xian. You can call me Xian Xian. Where are you going? To my dad's new store. My dad's store is called Really Delicious. After a few stops, the old lady almost treated Xian Xian as her own granddaughter, praising her for being sensible and cute. She's also very pretty. She also said that she would come to her store to eat in the future. When Yuan got off the bus with Xian Xian at Zhonghua Road Station, she was reluctant to let her go and waved to Xian Xian through the window. After watching the bus leave, Xian Xian and Yuan came to the Zinhachi restaurant hand in hand. Inside the restaurant, Old Qin and the rich second generation were already sitting at the table, waiting for Huang Tao to open the store. When they saw Yi Wen and Xian Xian coming back, they took the initiative to greet them. Xian Xian, are you back from school? Teacher Yi, you are here too. Xian Xian, ask your father to hurry up and open the store early. I have been sitting here for more than an hour, and I am greedy just by smelling it. Xian Xian said politely, Grandpa Qin, Uncle Ma, you wait patiently. My father will make it soon. Don't be anxious. You can't eat hot tofu in a hurry. Everyone was amused. This little mouth is so eloquent. Yiwen smiled and nodded at them. Looking at Huang Tao in the kitchen. The love in her beautiful eyes almost overflowed. Huang Tao looked at her with a smile in his eyes. Silently expressing his gratitude. Daddy? Xian Xian trotted all the way to the kitchen. Thinking of what her father said. That she could not enter the kitchen without permission. She stopped outside obediently. Wang Tao asked with a smile, Baby, were you happy in kindergarten today? Happy! Xian Xian said with a smile, Daddy, I just gave up my seat to an old lady on the bus. Xian Xian gave up her seat to an old lady on the way here. She was really great. Yi Wen also smiled and praised Xian Xian. Xian Xian happily puffed up her chest when she heard Yi Wen's praise. As if to say yes? Such a great kid as me. Oh! My baby even gave up a seat to an old lady. That's great. Huang Tao gave a thumbs up and praised. And then said, Then dad will reward you with steamed sparrows with fermented black beans. Steamed sparrows with fermented black beans? What kind of dish is this? But it must be delicious if it has something to do with sparrows. She nodded her head and said happily, Yes. Yes. It must be delicious. Huang Tao smiled and said, Then you sit with teacher Yi for a while. Dad will steam it and bring it to you. If you treat her well, I will reward you with delicious drinks. Dad, don't worry. I will definitely treat teacher you well. This little adult-like tone instantly amused everyone present. Chapter 655 Watermelon Bobo Smoothie Twinkle, twinkle, sparkling, all over the sky, are little stars. Xian Xian wanted to play the electronic learning piano. So Yi Wen held Xian Xian in her arms and played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with Xian Xian. Originally, 
Yuan thought that Xian Xian would definitely not be able to play the piano. At most, she would stay between one finger zin and two finger zin. The two finger zin refers to the use of the left index finger. So at the beginning, she planned to play the song slowly and leisurely, and then let Xian Xian press two notes from time to time, hoping to increase her interest in learning the piano in this play. Who would have thought? The cute little Xian Xian could actually play this song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. This was beyond Yi Wen's expectation. On asking, she found out that Huang Tao taught her yesterday. Oh my god! What kind of man is Huang Tao? What can he do? Oh my god! It seems that the cute Xian Xian is quite talented. It took less than half a day to learn to play the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. A good father will have a good daughter. Yi Wen suddenly felt that she had a new understanding of Huang Tao and understood him better. Xian Xian played happily. Oh! Xian Xian plays really well and sings really well. Listening to the cheerful melody, Lao Qin squinted his eyes in enjoyment, gently shook his folding fan, and couldn't help but praise. Thank you, Grandpa Qin. Xian Xian, who was praised, smiled and laughed nonstop. Her silver bell-like laughter seemed to add a chord to the music. Huang Tao listened to Xian Xian's laughter, the cheerful piano playing, and Yi Wen's soft and gentle singing of Hanging in the Sky, shining like many little eyes. He felt that their piano playing and singing softened the spring scenery and were extremely warm and sweet. The corners of his mouth couldn't help but curl up when he looked up. After watching for a while, he saw that the steamed sparrows with fermented black beans were almost done, and smiled and said to Xian Xian, Xian Xian, Yowen, wash your hands and eat first. Yeah, got it. Huang Tao shout made Xian Xian and Yowen, who were still playing the end of the song, turn their heads and nodded at him. After the two finished playing, they stood up from the stools, held hands, and went to wash their hands. Old Qian, let's eat first. Wang Tao took out the steamed sparrows from the steamer and arranged for other employees to have dinner first. Li Qingzhan and other waiters brought the freshly baked steamed sparrows with fermented black beans to Lao Qin and the rich second generation who had ordered the meal first, so that they would not be greedy and scream. Then the remaining two plates of steamed sparrows with fermented black beans and other dishes were brought to the employee table. Xian Xian and Yowen washed their hands and started to eat dinner with the employees. Wow! Is this the steamed sparrows with black bean sauce? It looks delicious. Xian Xian and Yowen looked at the small chopped sparrows on the plate and swallowed their saliva gently. If you think it tastes good, then let's eat. Huang Tao smiled and touched Xuan Xuan's little head while picking up a piece of sparrows and putting it in Xuan Xuan's bowl. He also said to Yowen, you win. Just treat it as your own home. Take whatever you want to eat. Don't be polite. Don't worry. I won't be polite in front of delicious food. You win smiled. Picked up a piece of steamed sparrows with black bean sauce with chopsticks. And tasted it. Perhaps because it was coated with a layer of dry starch. The ribs tasted very tender and smooth. And also had a strong aroma of black bean sauce. Take a bite. Wow. The fresh and fragrant gravy bursts in the mouth instantly. Wow! This rib is so tender and smooth. And you don't have to spit out the bones. It tastes so good. Yuan couldn't help but sigh. I think this steamed rib with black bean sauce is really delicious. And it's the kind that is extremely delicious. Wang Tao smiled. If it tastes good, eat more. And I will steam it for you after you finish eating. This made Yuan's heart ripple. And she blushed and thanked. Thank you. You're welcome. You eat first. I'll make a few new drinks for you to try. Huang Tao took a few bites and stood up with a smile. He was going to make a watermelon bobo smoothie for them to try how it tasted. When he was free in the afternoon, he made a lot of watermelon juice bobo. The watermelon juice bobo. Not only was each one full and round, but also dyed with a bright red of watermelon. Crystal clear and particularly beautiful. He added water to the fully automatic shaved ice machine. Very quickly, the water in the fully automatic shaved ice machine froze into ice and then was cut into pieces of ice by the machine. He then added the diced watermelon, covered the lid, and started the machine. A minute later, the diced watermelons were squeezed into watermelon juice, which was densely blended with the smoothies, through the transparent wall of the machine. You can clearly see the granular watermelon flesh. Just smelling this sweet smell, it's as if you have tasted the sweetness of the watermelon. After the machine stopped, Wang Tao picked up a disposable cup to fill it then added watermelon juice bobo into the cup. 
covered the lid, and gently shook it a few times to make it more even. Not to mention, the bright red color is particularly beautiful. As for the taste, you will know after you try it. But judging from the color and the fragrance, the taste should be right. He asked Yan Huiru, who came to help, to bring the remaining watermelon bobo smoothie to Lao Qin and the rich second generation in the store to try. He himself put the remaining watermelon bobo smoothie on a large tray and brought it to the employee's table. Xian Xian ate steamed sparrows with black bean sauce and curiously leaned over to look. Seeing this, Xian Xian explained in surprise, Wow! It's so beautiful! Xuan Xuan's exclamation made Yi Wan, who was standing by, curious. What kind of drink was it that Xian Xian said was beautiful? She looked in those plastic cups. The bright red watermelon juice and the smoothie were about to overflow. And what attracted people's attention more was the granular texture of the watermelon flesh and the bright red and crystal clear bobo floating on it. Each one was plump and round and particularly tempting. Wow! Is this watermelon bobo smoothie? Yi Wen's eyes lit up. Xian Xian held the ribs in her hands in the air, forgetting to eat them. She looked at the drinks with surprise and couldn't help but exclaimed, So beautiful! I want to drink it too. Dad, can you give Xian Xian some too? Just a little bit. Xian Xian looked at the beautiful watermelon bobo smoothie, and her thoughts started to move again. She saw her father hand the drink to Yi Wen, and then to other employees, aunts and uncles, but didn't give it to her right away. She was worried that her father would not give it to her. So she said hurriedly, Wang Tao who had been teasing her on purpose, saw that she was so anxious. So he stopped teasing her and said, Don't worry. You won't be short of. As he said that, he placed the cup that belonged to Xian Xian on her table. He he. Thank you. Daddy. Xian Xian smiled brightly and playfully made a hard sign to Huang Tao. Huang Tao, an old father, was so touched by her. He smiled, put a straw in her mouth, and took a sip himself. Ah, so refreshing. It tasted naturally sweet. Moreover, this cup of watermelon bobo smoothie made him feel like drinking iced watermelon juice. Not only was the juice sweet, but the watermelon flesh he sucked up was also very soft. Not only was bobo chewy, it also had a watermelon flavor. And the two were completely integrated. And the taste was very good. Lao Qian and other employees have been working for so long that they are a little thirsty. Drinking such a drink is so comfortable. It is especially thirst quenching, and the whole person feels much more relaxed. Lao Qin drank half a cup in a big gulp, and the bobo inside was exposed. He said in surprise, Huh? The bobo in this cup of watermelon bobo smoothie is actually bright red. The same color as watermelon. Boss Huang, did you add watermelon juice? No wonder it tastes a little sweet when chewed. Yes. Huang Tao smiled and nodded, and continued to enjoy the dinner with everyone. Eat full so that you will have the strength to work later. At this time, two familiar men came over outside the store. Chapter 656, How Can I Describe It With Just One Word? These two familiar men are none other than the two fitness experts who were tricked by Jiang Linwei at noon. Yang Ming and Lin Bo. However, this time, they are not the only ones here. Behind them, there are two fitness friends who came together. These two fitness friends also came out to look for food after working out. They met at the door of the gym and came together. Yang Ming, who was walking in front, saw many customers eating in the store through the floor-to-ceiling glass window. And he was delighted. Ah, there are already many people eating in the store. Which means that this store has started to open for dinner. Uh-huh. They came at the right time. Yang Ming was glad that he had foresight and arrived before the rush hour after get-off work. Otherwise, he would have to queue outside the store to wait for a seat like at noon. Yang Ming turned his head to the three fitness friends behind him and urged, This store is open for business. Come on. Lao Tao. Lao Han. Hurry up. I'll take you to eat delicious food. The muscular Tao Shurong asked in confusion, What's wrong? Why are you in such a hurry? Another fitness friend Han Chengwa looked at the flower basket at the door of the store and said in confusion, What kind of store is this? This store has just opened not long ago. Right? I remember that this was a hot pot restaurant before. Why did it close down and transfer? That hot pot restaurant. I tell you, that hot pot restaurant is a thing of the past. It's long gone. Lin Bo responded with a smile. This store is now a delicious store. Yang Ming added, 
Did you see the sign on the door? It's delicious. I tell you too. If other restaurants use this sign, I will definitely not recognize it. But this restaurant is not just a simple sign. It is the self-introduction of the food in the store. Tao Shirong and Han Cheng Hua said in disbelief. Is it so exaggerated? Yang Ming and Lin Bo subconsciously said in unison, that's a must. Finally, Yang Ming did not forget to add, Lao Tao, Lao Han. After eating, you will know that what Lao Lin and I said is not just exaggeration. I guarantee that you will enjoy it after eating it. Tao Shirong, Han Cheng Hua. Is this how happy and reluctant to leave is used? Do you have any misunderstandings about the four words happy and reluctant to leave? The four walked into the store. Li Qingzhan saw it. Put down the bowl and chopsticks in his hand helplessly. Stood up and greeted with a smile. Hello. Four of you. Right. Come in and sit down. Just scan the QR code on the table. Okay. We know. Yang Ming replied with a smile. Seeing that the other customers in the store all had a drink which seemed to be watermelon juice, but thinking that he didn't see this drink on the lunch ordering program. He couldn't help but ask, have you launched a new drink? This question stumped Li Qingzhan for a while. He turned his head to look at Huang Tao not far away. Huang Tao smiled and replied, this is a new ice drink that we just developed in our store. Watermelon Bobo smoothie. But I made some to try it out. And I don't plan to sell it tonight. It will be launched at noon tomorrow at the earliest. I see. No wonder I didn't find this drink on the ordering program. Yang Ming was a little disappointed. I was sweating after working out for so long. And it would be so comfortable to drink such a cool watermelon drink. It's a pity that the store hasn't opened for sale yet. Forget it. Just order other drinks. Wang Tao asked, Hui Ru. Is there any watermelon bobo smoothie over there at the counter? Boss, there are five more. Yang Hui Ru thought about it and replied. And then suddenly got her boss's idea. Boss, you are not going to give them a taste? Congratulations. You got it right. Wang Tao nodded. Anyway, if we make too much, it will affect the taste. So we might as well give it back to these new and old customers who came early. Okay. I know. I'll send it to them right away. Yang Huiru had finished eating. So she went to the counter and brought the remaining four cups of watermelon bobo smoothie to Yang Ming's table. Yang Ming and others were stunned. Just when they were about to ask, Yang Huiru said, Hello. Our boss just made a few extra cups of watermelon bobo smoothie. You came the earliest. So we will give you four cups for free. Just think of it as helping us to comment on it. Hearing this, Yang Ming and Lin Bo felt very comfortable. With the boss's craftsmanship, do they still need to comment on it? It's obvious that the boss is giving his brother a way out and letting them drink a drink for free. But then again, they liked the boss's human touch. Tao Shirong and Han Chenghua didn't expect the boss of this store to be so generous. This is watermelon bobo smoothie. If you go to a milk tea shop outside, you will have to pay at least 20 yuan for one cup. Today, it is free in this really delicious restaurant. Therefore, their favorability towards this restaurant is rising rapidly. Regardless of whether the food is delicious or not, the boss's service attitude is worth it. They looked at Huang Tao with a smile on their faces and thanked him. Thank you, boss. Huang Tao smiled and said, You're welcome. Just a few drinks. You can relax and drink. The more Yang Ming and his friends looked at Huang Tao, the more they felt that this boss was a good person and could get along with him. While waiting for the ordered meals to be served, they put in straws and drank the complimentary watermelon bobo smoothie. A sip of icy watermelon juice makes the whole person feel refreshed. How can it be described in one word? You can even chew one or two watermelon juice bobo. Although these grown men don't like sticky things like bobo and don't understand why anyone likes this kind of powder balls, this cup of watermelon bobo has overturned their perception of bobo. Not only is it chewy and soft, but it also doesn't stick to the teeth. And it's not too sweet. In addition, the refreshing and cool sweetness of watermelon is not greasy. And it is very thirst-quenching. Only then did they realize that this bobo is actually bright red. The same color as watermelon juice. I have to sigh that this store is so attentive in making drinks. The bobo of watermelon juice takes more effort than pure bobo. And this taste should be purely handmade. Not like other milk tea shops that directly buy the manufacturer's supply. It tastes so good. Han Chenghua was immediately impressed by the taste and ingredients of this drink. And couldn't help but sigh. This watermelon bobo smoothie is full of real ingredients without any technology or hard work. 
Tao Shirong nodded in agreement. Indeed. Such conscientious restaurants are rare. Just based on this cup of watermelon Bobo's smoothie. I will visit this store more often in the future. Yang Ming and Lin Bo understood at once. These two fitness friends were already impressed by the drinks of this store before they even started eating. And their good impression of this store was full all of a sudden. At this time. Hello. This is what you ordered. Steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans. Nourishing fish soup. And braised meat with dried vegetables. As soon as the various dishes were served. The deliciousness went straight to the noses of the four people. And Han Chenghua and Tao Shirong's eyes suddenly became blurred. Yang Ming smiled and asked, How is it? Is it fragrant? Han Chenghua and Tao Shirong replied without hesitation, Fragrant. A lot of fragrance. Yang Ming smiled, It's fragrant. So eat it. The four people started to eat wildly. Chapter 657 The whole family is going to fight. Right? The dusk has become blurred. And the sky filled with sunset glow has gradually become dull and colorless. At 5.30 It is the peak time for people to get off work. Therefore, more and more people are getting off work. Some repeat customers who work nearby, when they get off work, go straight to the Jinhaochi restaurant without hesitation. Then, the moment they smell the fragrance wafting from the store, they all feel that their tired spirits after a day of work are immediately revived, and their faces are inadvertently filled with a brilliant arc. Li Meiqing and other employees of Jihang Jiaqing Real Estate Agency, who arrived first, couldn't help but say happily, fortunately, we ran here at the speed of a 100-meter sprint. Otherwise the store would be full, and we would have to queue up. Zhang Qijuan nodded in agreement. Yes. Yes. Fortunately we had foresight, and packed up before getting off work. As soon as the time came to get off work, we immediately came here. So there weren't so many people competing with us for seats. And now, I smell the aroma of food wafting from Boss Huang's store. And I feel that this day's work is worth it. As he said, he couldn't help but sniff showing an intoxicated expression. Ah, it smells so good, Liao Ziqing said with a smile. We are also very lucky. I have always wanted to bring some braised rice back for my son and husband to try. Today I finally have the chance. Zhang Qijuan saw that there were many office workers coming towards the Zinhachi restaurant and urged them, hurry up, hurry up, go in. If there are too many people, it will be difficult to get a seat. Yes, hurry up, hurry up lest we be occupied by the customers behind. After hearing this, Li Meiqing dragged Su Weiqi, who was dawdling, into the store. You go in first, and save a seat for me. Liao Ziqing, who was dialing the phone, said something to the three colleagues. Seeing that the call was connected, he hurriedly said, Hello, husband. You didn't go to the vegetable market to buy vegetables after get off work? Oh, if you didn't buy them, don't buy them and don't cook dinner. I tell you, you and your son should wait for me at home. I will bring you delicious food later. After hanging up the phone, she couldn't wait to walk into the store, meet up with the three colleagues, and order food. Soon, with the arrival of more off-get-off work workers, the store was full of customers. The customers ate in the store and took away. For a while, the store was bustling with people, and outside the store, there were many customers waiting to eat. Is this the store? Look at the flower baskets at the door of the store. And there are many people queuing up. It must be this one. Oh, isn't this store newly opened? The store is full of customers. And there are many people queuing outside the store. The business is too good. Hey, Olchen reminded me that if I want to eat, I have to come here early. If I come late, I have to queue up. I didn't think so at the time. Now I think I should have listened to his advice. There are more elderly people in the queue. They are all neighbors living in the nearby community. In the past two days, the news that Huang Tao's various dishes and drinks are delicious has spread like wildfire in the nearby communities. After hearing about it, some elderly people were tempted by the description of the Amway people and wanted to buy some for their grandchildren who came back from school to taste it. So they came here specially at the time of meal. Seeing that there were already many people queuing at the door of the store, they had to line up together for this boxed lunch that might be delicious. These neighbors are still willing to wait. In addition, some have already promised their grandchildren. And if they go back empty-handed, they will cry to them. So, since you are here, just make the best of it and wait. Fortunately, there are some customers in the store who do not eat in the store. 
but just pack a few stewed rice to go home and enjoy with their families. Therefore, the queue moved forward very quickly. And so, it was the turn of these neighbors. They came to the counter and asked Yang Huiru with a smile. Hello, can I order food here? Sure, what would you like to order? Yang Huiru responded politely. Then give me a portion of garlic ribs and a portion of braised chicken leg rice and a cup of coconut milk bobo smoothie to take away. I also want to buy a portion of garlic ribs to take away. I can't finish the extra. As soon as these words came out, they instantly attracted the attention of other repeat customers in the store and also made them turn their heads and look at these old people. Laughing. Can't finish it? What a joke. It's just a portion of garlic ribs. If you buy it back home, won't the whole family fight? And Zhang Chijuan, who was eating, couldn't help but remind him kindly, old man, I tell you, for the sake of your family harmony, I suggest you buy a few more portions of garlic ribs. Ah! After hearing this, Mr. Yao was confused, young man. What do you mean by saying this? Zhang Chijuan responded politely, nothing. I'm just worried that you'll have to make another trip later. Hey, Mr. Yao said cheerfully, if it's really that delicious, what's the harm in making another trip? Zhang Chijuan smiled. It's okay for you to make one more trip. But I'm afraid that by the time you make another trip, the garlic ribs will be sold out. Ah, that's impossible? Mr. Yao thought his words were a bit exaggerated. But seeing that he looked serious and didn't seem to be teasing him, he couldn't help but ask Yang Huiru, how many servings of garlic ribs have you prepared in your store? Yang Huiru smiled and said, about 200 servings tonight. Ah, so many servings? Mr. Yao was surprised. Can they be sold out in this evening market? Yeah. Yang Huiru thought this was the funniest thing she had heard this year. But she still responded politely. At this time, Mr. Yao's package of garlic ribs was ready. And he didn't take Yang Huiru's words to heart. After taking it, he took the package and left. Soon, Mr. Yao returned home. As soon as he entered the door, he saw his grandson's shoes neatly placed on the shoe cabinet. He knew without guessing that his good grandson was back from school. He happily put the takeaway box in his hand on the dining table and shouted to his grandson, who was doing homework in the study, My dear grandson, Grandpa bought you your favorite garlic pork ribs. Come out and eat. The grandson's voice came from the study, Grandpa, I will eat after I finish my homework. The wife, who was cooking in the kitchen listened, poked her head out, and complained, You disappeared. It turns out that you went to buy garlic ribs. But the ones bought outside are not as clean as those made at home. If you want to eat, just tell me and I will cook it for you. Grandpa Yao smiled and said, I just met Lao Yuan from next door when I was taking a walk. He told me that a new restaurant opened near our community. And the food they made is very delicious. The new garlic ribs that just came out yesterday are also very delicious. I thought our grandson would like it too. So I went to buy one and brought it back for him to try. The restaurant Lao Yuan mentioned? The wife remembered that when she was taking a walk in the community last night, Lao Yuan's wife also crazily recommended the food of that restaurant to her. She said how delicious it was and praised it to the sky. At that time, she just listened to it casually and didn't take it seriously. After all, in her opinion, the food outside is not as clean as the one made at home. Just then, the door opened. Chapter 658 Aren't you afraid of being stuffed to death? Dad? Mom? I'm back. Mr. Yao's son, Yao Qingchuan, came back from work with a briefcase. As soon as he entered the house, he greeted his parents. Hey, you're back. When Mrs. Yao saw her son, she belatedly remembered her business. Oh, I'm still stewing soup in the kitchen. As she said that, she hurried back to the kitchen to check on her pot of soup, lest it get spoiled due to her negligence. Mr. Yao smiled and said to Yao Qingchuan, who had just changed his shoes, I bought some garlic ribs. Try one. No. I have to go see how Xiaowei's homework is going. Yao Qingchuan subconsciously declined. But the aroma of the garlic ribs that his father brought him went straight into his nostrils, making his mouth water. And he couldn't help but say, Wow, it smells so good. He couldn't help but reach out and take it. You kid. Mr. Yao smiled speechlessly. And after saying this, he went to the bathroom next to him, because he had to go to the bathroom. Ya Qingchuan took a bite of the garlic ribs in his hand. Wow, it's so delicious. The meat is tender and delicious. Crispy and delicious. With a strong garlic aroma. Lingering fragrance on the lips and teeth. 
and a long aftertaste. He finished the garlic ribs in a few bites and picked up another piece of garlic ribs from the takeaway box and started eating. Then, he couldn't stop eating. He ate one piece after another. He didn't realize it until he had eaten the last piece of garlic ribs cleanly. No way. It's gone now. What's missing? Mr. Yao came out of the bathroom and looked up to see a pile of ribs on the table. He couldn't help but widen his eyes and was furious. I just took a piss and you ate them all? This? It's all because the garlic ribs are too fragrant and delicious. I couldn't help but eat them all by accident. Ya Chingchuan explained with a smile. And then couldn't help complaining, Dad, you should have bought more when you bought it. You only bought this little, which is not enough to fill the gaps between your teeth. Good guy. It turned out to be his fault. Mr. Yao's unicorn arm was ready to move. And he roared, This is what I bought for me. This is for my grandson. And you made it all by yourself. And you still have the nerve to say I bought too little. Yao Chingchuan who was spitted all over his face, subconsciously took a few steps back and said speechlessly, But Dad, you can't blame me for this. You made me eat it. You? Old man Yao could only repeat in his heart three times, This is my own son. This is my own son. This is my own son. And then held back, Forget it. Go and help Xiaowi with his homework. But when he looked at the pile of ribs on the table, old man Yao couldn't help but ask a soul-searching question in his heart. Is it really so delicious? His wife was also surprised when she heard it. You know, her son doesn't like to eat ribs very much. Even the fragrant fried ribs. At most, he would try one or two pieces. Just now, he ate the whole portion of garlic ribs in one breath by himself. After finishing the meal, she even thought it was not enough. It seems that what Lao Yuan said was right. The food in this store is really delicious. She quickly poked her head out of the kitchen and said, Lao Yao, go buy a few more portions. Our grandson and daughter-in-law haven't eaten yet. When our grandson finishes writing, if he knows that the garlic ribs have been eaten, he will be angry. She was worried that her grandson would be angry and his son and daughter-in-law would beat him up for it. That would cost her life. You don't need to tell me. I know. I'm just about to buy more. Alas, if you don't listen to good advice, you will suffer. If I had known this earlier, I should have bought a few more portions at a time. So I wouldn't have to make another trip now. When he hurried to the door of the Xinhao News store again, the queue at the door of the store was visibly longer than before he went back. But he knew that the restaurant served dishes very quickly. And many customers did not eat in the restaurant, but only took a few braised rice and drinks home. So, although the queue at the door of the store was long, it would not be long before it was his turn. So, he continued to follow the attitude of since I'm here. I'll make the best of it and follow the queue to line up. It was indeed a bit difficult to wait but his good grandson was still waiting to eat. And the tempting aroma wafting from the store kept him hanging, making him reluctant to leave. After queuing for a while, he followed the queue and walked into the store. At this moment, a familiar voice sounded beside his ear. Hey, old man, it's you. What did I say just now? You will definitely have to make another trip. So, I was right now. Right? This familiar voice and this annoying tone made Mr. Yell look sideways. You don't know until you see it. He couldn't help but show a hint of surprise when he saw it. Why are you still eating here? How many servings of braised chicken drumstick rice? And how many bowls of wincy tofu have you eaten? This bowl of braised chicken drumstick rice plus a bowl of wincy tofu. A portion of steamed spare ribs with black bean sauce. And a portion of long jean shrimp. It won't take much time. It should be finished in 30 minutes at most. But he has been going back and forth for at least 40 or 50 minutes. And this kid is still eating. Aren't you afraid of being stuffed to death? Zhang Chijuan took a sip of wincy tofu and said slowly, Grandpa, you don't understand this. I am tasting delicious food. Tasting delicious food naturally requires calming down and savoring it carefully. If you swallow it whole, wouldn't it be a gluttony? Besides, the food made by Boss Wang is worth spending half an hour or even an hour to savor it carefully. Grandpa Yao, what he said seemed to make some sense. And he couldn't refute it. However, if everyone in the store savored the food slowly like him, would the business of this store still be viable? Of course, this was not something that an old man like him could control. Okay, just savor the food slowly. I won't accompany you. When Grandpa Yao saw that the people in the queue in front of him had all found seats, he quickly walked to the counter and said to Yang Huiru with a smile, Girl, give me five servings of garlic ribs to take away. 
Yang Huira operated the ordering machine, and then said apologetically, Uncle, I'm sorry. This garlic ribs are sold out. Ah? Sold out? Old man Yao looked at Yang Huiru in disbelief. No way. Didn't they say that 200 servings of garlic ribs were prepared? It's only been a short time. And they're sold out? These people are too fierce. This is simply not letting people live. Speaking of, how can he report back? At this moment, old man Yao regretted it very much. Regretting that he didn't listen to advice. Yang Huiru politely replied, Yes. It's sold out. Uncle, why don't you come over tomorrow at noon? No more servings? Old man Yao asked unwillingly. As long as there is. Even if it is double the price. He will pay without hesitation. Yang Huira shook her head. It's really gone. But there is still one portion of sweet and sour pork ribs. Do you want it? Hey! It's better than nothing. Anyway, his grandson also likes to eat sweet and sour pork ribs. Yes. Give it to me. Okay. Wait a moment. Chapter 659 Self-Discipline is Vulnerable to Delicious Food The city center under the night sky looks even more colorful against the backdrop of colorful neon lights. At 6.30 p.m. At the entrance of the running track in the Lake Center Park, Jian Linwei did warm-up exercises while patiently waiting for his friends in the running group to come. But the waiting time is always tormenting. In addition, he was even more eager to eat the delicious food in the Zinhashi restaurant. And this little temple of five internal organs actually felt a little hungry. This made him unable to help but complain, Hey, we agreed to meet here at 6.30. But they haven't arrived yet. These guys really have no sense of time. Don't mention it. The devil is here. The friends in the running group ran towards him one after another. Waiting at him while running, Brother Wei. I'm sorry. The car is not easy to park here. So it took a while. You waited for a long time? Not bad. Jiang Linwei smiled disapprovingly, and then volunteered to say, let me lead this time. He is a veteran in the running group. Whenever there are new people in the group and participate in running activities, he will be the leader and pace those new people. There are three new people joining tonight, so no one else has any objection to his proposal. Okay, then let's get started. Jiang Linwei took a step and ran forward along the track, and the friends in the running group also hurriedly ran behind him. On the lawn beside the track, Interesting lights incorporating natural elements such as tree stumps and wheat ears are arranged, making the riverside look like a forest under the night sky. The track is paved with 10 centimeter wide self-luminous stones. The fluorescent green belts are like dancing ribbons or exquisite brocade, guiding these night runners to keep moving forward in the breeze. The lake was clear with duckweed floating on it, and the chirping of birds was lingering in the ears. Jian Linwei and others were still running at a leisurely pace. Only half an hour later, Jian Lingwei's pace became faster and faster, and he gradually left the track. The other friends in the running group behind him also realized that something was wrong. Gong reaching. An old man in the running group was puzzled and couldn't help asking, Brother Wei, where are we going? I remember we haven't run this route before. Yao Yuhua also asked in confusion, yes. Why did you suddenly change the route instead of running on the lakeside park track? Jian Lingwei, who had a good plan naturally couldn't confess. He smiled and explained, I ran this road last night. The scenery is quite good. There are few cars and pedestrians. And it is very suitable for running. Everyone didn't doubt him and didn't think much about it. After all, Jian Linwei is a veteran. And he is quite prestigious among them. In addition, he has run more roads than they have eaten salt. So no one doubts him and continues to jog behind him. A quarter of an hour later, you have run 10 kilometers. This prompt sound made Jiang Linwei slow down, run a few hundred meters, and then walk at a normal speed. This also means that tonight's night run has ended successfully. Huh? Yao Yuhua wiped the sweat from his face and said with a smile, It's really fine to run. I feel refreshed. Gong Reaching nodded and agreed with him, and turned his head to look at Jiang Linwei, and said happily, Brother Wei, aren't we going to eat and drink tonight? Have you decided where to eat? What are you thinking about? Didn't we agree on this in the group last night? Yao Yuhua, who was still thinking about his barbecue, immediately said, Let's go. Let's go have a barbecue. Great. Let's go have a barbecue and drink beer. Others responded and took action immediately. Jian Linwei saw that they were heading in the direction of Huang Tao's new store. So he didn't say anything. When they were almost there, he said, That new store looks good. Let's go and have a look. 
didn't we agree to have a barbecue just now? Yao Yuhua was stunned and a little confused. Jiang Lenwei didn't respond, but smiled and said, Look, there are still many people eating in this store at this time. I think the taste should be very good. Why don't we go in and have a look? At the end, he didn't forget to add, It's rare for us to get together tonight. Otherwise, I'll pay for this meal tonight. I'll treat everyone. Let's go. Everyone eat and drink well tonight. As soon as this was said, the other friends had no objection. It's not right for you to be picky when someone treats you. Looking up at the sign above the store entrance, some people thought the words really delicious looked familiar. But before they could think about it, they were dragged into the store by other companions. When they saw the food the diners were eating, they were dumbfounded. Eating yellow croaker noodles in the middle of the night? Eating braised rice? Eating steamed pork ribs and lotus leaves? What kind of magical midnight snacks are these? The key is, the diners were eating very happily. Jian Lenwei had already started scanning the code to order food. But at this time, there was only braised pig's trotter rice left. He ordered 10 servings of braised pork trotter rice. After placing the order, seeing Yao Yuhua and several other running friends still standing around looking around, he couldn't help but say, don't stand there. Sit down quickly. After eating the braised pork trotter rice, let's go for barbecue and beer. Okay. Although Yao Yuhua and his friends were still grumbling in their hearts, they didn't say anything. That's just what they thought. Eating braised pork trotter rice late at night was too different from their original plan. But Jian Linwei had said so. So they couldn't say anything more. Let alone reject Jian Linwei's good intentions. A moment. Ten servings of braised pork trotter rice were brought up by Li Qingzhan and Lin Qiuyu. And placed one by one on their table. Ten servings of braised pork trotter rice have been served. Please enjoy. Thank you. Jian Linwei thanked him. And was about to invite the runners to eat when he heard Gong reaching Sai. Hey. This braised pork trotter rice smells so good. Others also smell the fragrance. It was really fragrant. Then, there was only the smacking sound of eating the braised pork trotter rice. After a bowl of braised pork trotter rice went into their stomachs, everyone suddenly realized that they had eaten it all without realizing it. Not even a grain of rice was left. Only the little bit of braised sauce on the wall of the bowl clearly told them that they had really finished it. Oh my god! How come this braised rice is so delicious? Don't be ridiculous. I've never had such delicious braised pig's trotter rice in my life. You talk like someone has eaten it before. We can eat such delicious braised pig's trotter rice thanks to our Wei Gu. If it wasn't for Wei Ji's suggestion and insistence on treating us, we would have missed it. Good guy. Now I am thinking of his good points. Jiang Wei smiled and said, Everyone has eaten. Right? Then let's go for a barbecue now. Gong Reaching immediately expressed his opinion. With such delicious braised rice here, why eat barbecue? I want to eat another bowl. Yao Yuhua also changed his mind at this time. Yes. Yes. I don't want to eat barbecue either. I also want another bowl. Others laughed and said, Brother Wei. To be honest, I am not full yet. Some girls were a little entangled. But if you eat too much braised pig's trotter rice at night, it is easy to gain weight. Yao Yuhua said comfortingly, Only when you are full can you have the energy to lose weight. This made so much sense that she couldn't refute it. Besides, the other girls were eating too. And she was not the only one. Thinking like this, the guilt in her heart disappeared. So, everyone ordered another braised rice with other flavors. Jiang Linwei watched his fellow runners and thought, I am guilty. But I, I really can't help it. Finally, he followed the crowd and ordered another portion. Then, when the meal came, everyone enjoyed it happily again. Until 40 minutes later, they leaned against the wall and slowly walked towards the store door, sighing as they walked. I never thought that one day I could eat three bowls of braised rice in one meal. You know, I came here after dinner. Me too. But I don't think this is my limit. Next time, I will challenge four bowls of braised rice. This restaurant has other delicacies. I think they will taste good. How about, how about we come back to eat after we finish running tomorrow? But if you eat like this, you will easily gain weight. Braised pig's trotters are mainly collagen, with very little fat. So if you eat too much, you will not gain weight, but will also be full of collagen and have great skin. Really? But I heard that if you eat too much pig's trotters, you will gain weight. Really? I grew up eating pig's trotters. Do you think I'm fat? And, let me tell you, pig's trotters have many benefits. 
pigs' trotters are rich in collagen, which can not only strengthen muscles and bones, but also soften the stomach and intestines. Eating more can also make the skin tender and shiny, and can even achieve the effect of breast enhancement. Is that so? Okay. The so-called self-discipline is completely vulnerable in front of the delicious food in Zenhashi Restaurant. Chapter 660. Thoughts from a third-rate idol drama. The night gradually deepened. Outside the store, there was still a hustle and bustle. The city would never fade away because of the deepening of the night. The whole city was bathed in flashing neon lights. These bright lights, on the contrary, covered up the brightness of the stars and the moon, and obscured the softness of the moonlight. It was past 8.30 in the evening, and Jin Hauchi finally ushered in the closing time. No choice. At 8 o'clock, the waiter in the store had already said that it was going to close. But there were still customers coming in to eat. In desperation, Wang Tao had to extend the original closing time from 8 o'clock to 8.30. Fortunately, there are still some braised food in the store. Otherwise, these customers would have come with high hopes, but left disappointed. At this moment, Lao Qian was exhausted. His clothes were soaked, and his arms were sore. But he didn't complain about being tired. He just leaned against the stove to take a breath. And then, as usual, he reported to Huang Tao on the daily, briefly reporting the situation in the store. Boss, all the other prepared ingredients have been used up and all the braised food has been consumed. We have to make it again tomorrow morning. All the ingredients, whether meat, seafood, vegetables, or ingredients, need to be replenished tomorrow. Some dried vegetables are running out. Wang Tao was also exhausted. He glanced at the tired assistants and couldn't help but sighed slightly. Originally, he thought these people were enough to support the Nuj and Haochi store. But after two days of trial operation, he felt that both the waiters in the front and the staff in the back kitchen needed to be replenished. Otherwise, with such high-intensity work every day, the bodies of these employees would definitely not be able to bear it. If these employees collapse from exhaustion, his store will be closed. Besides, the new store is just in its infancy. But it is already so busy. When it is formalized in the future, there will definitely be more and more customers. And the store will be even busier. And the number of people at present is not enough. So, recruitment has to be put back on the agenda. He thought that he would have to find two or three more waiters and four more aunties to wash dishes and vegetables so that everyone would not be so busy. As for the kitchen, he also had to recruit four kitchen helpers. After all, only with more people can the quantity of dishes increase. Finally, he handed this glorious task to the omnipotent Lao Qin, asking him to help find some more candidates. Lao Qin, who was given the order temporarily, did not refuse and accepted it happily. He patted his chest and promised, Okay, I got it. Boss, don't worry. I promise to do all the things you told me to do. Well, I trust you to do it. After giving the order, Wang Tao waved his hand, Everyone, clean up and get ready to go off work. Go back and have a good rest. You are all tired today. Oh, by the way, Lao Qin, there is also the amount of ingredients to be purchased tomorrow. I will send it to you on WeChat later. Lao Qin nodded. Okay. Wang Tao took off his chef's uniform and walked out of the kitchen. After hanging the chef's uniform on the hanger in the partition room, he saw Yi Wen as soon as he came out. At this time, Yi Wen's eyes were always closely following the little guy playing with Mimi in the corner. And she didn't notice Wang Tao's appearance. Now Mimi and Xian Xian have become very familiar with each other. Mimi is no longer indifferent to Xian Xian as before. And she is very hard to please Xian Xian and play with Xian Xian, which makes Xian Xian laugh like silver bells all the time. Papa, it was Xian Xian who first discovered Huang Tao. She immediately cheered in surprise and ran towards Huang Tao. Her shout and her actions made Yi Wen realize that Huang Tao had been standing beside her without knowing when. She hurriedly turned her head to look at Huang Tao. Her eyes sparkled instantly, and the corners of her mouth couldn't help but curl up a charming arc. Wang Tao smiled at her and responded to Xuan Xuan's shout with a loud awe, then leaned over and opened his arms, hugged Xian Xian tightly, and picked her up directly. Baji! He kissed Nyo Nyo's red face hard, and then rubbed it hard. Although he was busy in the kitchen, he was still concerned about this caring little girl. Ah! Xian Xian frowned and dodged, saying coquettishly, Dad, your beard is so prickly. Wang Tao asked with a smile, Do you miss Dad? Are you good with teacher Yi? Yes. 
Xian Qian answered seriously. Good? Yes. I am really good. Dad has seen it. Huang Tao reached out and touched her little head. And said softly, Then give me another kiss. Xian Qian kiss. Baji. Xian Qian kissed him heavily on the face. So good. Wang Tao smiled immediately. And the fatigue on his body also dissipated a lot. Yuan was beside him, holding her face with her white and tender hands, watching the warm and sweet interaction between the father and daughter, with a smile in her beautiful eyes. Beautiful and moving. Of course, there was also some envy. Wang Tao's eyes were smiling and gentle, which made her heart tighten. For a moment, she would rather be Xian Xian in Huang Tao's arms. This third-rate idol drama level idea made Yi Wen's pretty face blush. Wang Tao, who had been with his precious daughter for a while, thought of Yi Wen beside him, thinking that he had made her wait for so long and taken care of Xian Xian for so long. He felt a little sorry. He said apologetically, Yi Wen, I made you wait for so long. Are you bored? Thank you for taking care of Xian Xian for me. Look at what you said. It's too formal. Yi Wen reached out, and lifted the hair hanging by her ears, and smiled gently. Actually, I think staying in the store is much more interesting than staying at home alone. Not to mention that Xian Xian is with me. It's not boring at all, but makes me feel that my life is very fulfilling. Besides, Xian Xian is very well behaved and sensible, and I don't need to take care of her at all. So you don't need to thank me. If you want to thank me, it's me who should thank you. Thank you for letting me eat for free. Wang Tao smiled and said, I still have to thank you. If you didn't help send Xian Xian to the store, I would definitely waste some time going back and forth. Teacher Yi, Dad, stop thanking me. If you keep thanking me, it will be done. Xian Xian said helplessly. This made Wang Tao and Yi Wen laugh. Okay, Dad won't thank me. Wang Tao stretched out his hand and hooked Xuan Xuan's little nose. Then let's send Teacher Yi home first. Yiwen thought that he must be very tired after cooking for a day. She pursed her lips and suggested with some heartache, You must be very tired. Or I will drive. She also has a driver's license. Wang Tao shook his head gently. It's okay. You've worked hard too. You're not much easier than me taking care of kids in kindergarten for a day. The clever Xian Xian curled up in Wang Tao's arms and smiled slyly. He he. Teacher Yi is caring about my dad. My dad is also caring about Teacher Yi. Xian Xian likes that they care about each other like this. Chapter 661 Refreshing The morning light slowly opened the curtain, and it was another colorful morning. Gradually, the sun rose higher and higher, emitting thousands of golden rays of light, and the white clouds floating in the sky were instantly coated with a layer of brilliant gold edges. At 8.10, Su Hao handed a pile of receipts and invoices to Huang Tao, who came to eat breakfast every morning and inspected the store. Boss! These are the invoices and receipts for the purchase of various ingredients yesterday. Please take a look. The new store has been handed over to Su Hao and Jiang Chao for operation. But the purchase and other payment expenses must have invoices and receipts. Su Hao has also kept them all the time and wrote them down one by one to facilitate Huang Tao's reconciliation. After Huang Tao took it, he flipped through it carefully. Every expenditure is clear and there are receipts and invoices. Wang Tao nodded with satisfaction. No problem. I'll have to work hard for you in the future. If you need money, just ask. This made Su Hao and the others feel warm. Su Hao smiled innocently. Don't worry. Boss, we all have money now. Just pay the wages normally. Boss, you eat? I'll go to work. Okay. You go. Wang Tao smiled and watched Su Hao go to the kitchen. Then he picked up his phone. Open WeChat and transferred the payment to each vendor. After receiving the money, each vendor immediately replied. Mostly, they were some words of received and thanks. Daddy, hurry up, hurry up, we're going to be late. Xian Xian finally drank a full cup of fresh milk. After making sure there was no milk left in the cup, she jumped off the chair impatiently and couldn't help shouting and urging Huang Tao. When they were in kindergarten, teacher Yi had told the children not to be late during the school day because at 8.30, they would gather in the playground to do morning exercises. If they were late, they would have to stay in the classroom alone. If it was just that, she wouldn't think too much. Mainly because Teacher Yi said that the children who were not late for school would be rewarded with a small red flower. So, for this small red flower that symbolizes honor, Xian Xian also fought hard. 
she was bound to get it. So she changed her previous procrastinating temper and became positive. I know. I know. Wang Tao put away his mobile phone and took a tissue to wipe her mouth. Do you really want to leave dad and go play with Cece and your friends? Dad is unhappy. Dad is very sad. Wang Tao helped her pour the cooled warm water into the small kettle, pretending to be jealous and secretly worried. However, I don't know how much of this is pretending. Of course. There are also some sincere words in it. Okay. Xian Xian sighed heavily, as if she was crushed by an invisible heavy burden. She drooped her shoulders for a moment. She spread her hands helplessly and said like a little adult, Actually, I really want to stay with you for a while. But teacher Yi said that children who are late for school are not good and will not be rewarded with little red flowers. So I don't want to be late. This little look made Huang Tao laugh a little. And he couldn't help but reach out to hook Xian Xian. He went up and rubbed Cece's little head and said lovingly, Don't worry. Dad won't let you be late. You will definitely get a little red flower. As he said that, Huang Tao took Xuan Xuan's small school bag and small water bottle, held her hand, and left the store. Ding Suqi was standing at the cashier counter next to the store entrance. When she saw the father and daughter, she smiled and waved to them, and reminded them, Xian Xian, you are going to school. You must listen to the teacher in the kindergarten. Xian Xian nodded vigorously. Yes. He agreed and stepped out of the door, unable to wait. Left the store. Wang Tao drove the car and took Xian Xian to the Golden Sun Kindergarten because they avoided the crowded road. Although they took a short detour, they arrived at the kindergarten smoothly, got out of the car. Wang Tao wanted to send Xian Xian to the school gate, but the little girl refused, Daddy, I'll go in by myself. You don't have to send me there. Wang Tao nodded in agreement with her suggestion, nodded and smiled, Okay, then go. Daddy will see you go in. Daddy, goodbye. Xian Xian waved her little hand at him, then made a hard shape to him, and said sweetly, Daddy, I love you. This unexpected confession made Huang Tao's heart bubble with happiness. Baby, Daddy loves you too. He smiled and waved, watching the little figure disappear at the gate of the garden. Then he drove to the new store in the city center. Inside the store, the employees were also busy. Lao Qian, who was preparing the ingredients for today with other kitchen assistants, smiled and said to Huang Tao when he saw him coming, Boss, I bought the chicken legs and other ingredients you asked for yesterday. Okay, I got it. You guys have breakfast first. Huang Tao nodded. And as usual, put the breakfast he brought on the dining table and asked everyone to have breakfast first. Li Qingzhan took a big bite of the pan-fried bun and asked, Boss, are you going to make a new dish? Yes. Huang Tao smiled slightly. Qingzhan, do you like spicy food? He personally could accept it. Eating spicy food occasionally can remove moisture. And of course, he also loves the refreshing taste. This made Li Qingzhan understand at once that the new dish his boss was going to make today was a spicy dish. The rich second generation friends were very envious of him. Envious of him being able to eat all kinds of new dishes, Huang Tao had thought of for the first time. Of course, Li Qingzhan's appetite was greatly satisfied. And his whole body looked much healthier. He was too weak before. He nodded and said, Generally, I can eat spicy food. If it's too spicy, it's a bit not okay, and I'll have diarrhea. What he said was also the truth. He used to like spicy food, such as spicy barbecue on the roadside, spicy dishes in restaurants, and even spicy grilled fish. However, since he fell in love with the food at Zenhashi, he has not touched other spicy dishes for nearly half a year. Okay, I'll make you some Kung Pao chicken later. After Huang Tao finished speaking his thoughts, Li Qingzhan's eyes really lit up. It can be seen that he likes it. The same is true for other people. They all said with expectation, Hey, good, good. It must be delicious. I have to say, this group of people are really qualified to support him. Li Qingzhan realized it belatedly and remembered the exhortations of his rich second generation brothers to him. Oh! He took out his mobile phone helplessly, found their small group of more than 10 people, edited a message, and said it. Big news. Big news. Big news. My boss is going to make a new dish. Before he could put away his phone, someone started to reply. Ma Juin, in the new store? I'll be there soon. Lin Annan, I'll be there in five minutes. Xiao Yuqiao, wait for me. I'll be there right away. Leon Leong, thanks. 
brother. I'll be there right away. Oh my god. The reply was so fast. These guys, they won't be staring at their phones all the time. Li Qingzhan thought they would be there soon. So he had to tell Huang Tao the unfortunate news, boss. I'm sorry. I just told the group that you were going to make a new dish. When Junwen and the others heard that you were going to make a new dish, they couldn't wait to come over. Huang Tao smiled and said, It's okay. I'll make more later. Let them try the dishes by the way. In fact, this tasting process is dispensable. He himself is the most qualified taster. But Li Qingzhan has revealed the news in advance. So he can't turn away the rich second generation like Ma Junwen. Anyway, it's just a matter of a few more pairs of chopsticks. Come on! Chapter 662 What misunderstandings do you have about spicy food? Boom! Boom! The roar of engines, one after another, suddenly sounded on the street and echoed in. A Ferrari drove down the street and stopped immediately on the side of the road. As soon as the car stopped, another red McLaren drove over and stopped beside it. Ma Junwen opened the door and got out of the car. Lin Annan saw it, stuck his head out of the car window, smiled and waved to Ma Junwen and said hello, Junwen. Ma Junwen looked down and smiled and said, Hey, Annan, you just arrived? Lin Annan nodded, yes. Just arrived. Then let's go. The two of them met and trotted all the way to the new store of Zenchichi. As soon as the two of them entered the door, Liang Liang and other rich second generations followed in one after another. I just came and saw your two cars outside. You two are so fast. I thought I was the first to arrive. But you two beat me to it. Liang Liang joked with Ma Junwen and the others who came in first as soon as he entered the store. Seeing Huang Tao busy in the kitchen, he smiled awkwardly but politely and said, Boss Huang, we heard that you were going to make a new dish. So we came uninvited. You won't blame us for coming uninvited. It's okay. Sit for a while. Huang Tao has already started to deb one the chicken legs. Lian Liang said with a smile, Boss Huang, you are busy. Don't worry about us. Boss Huang, is this new product related to chicken legs? Xiao Yuqiu's eyes were sparkling, and he looked expectant. The other rich second generations also looked at Huang Tao expectantly, waiting for him to reveal the answer. Huang Tao said directly, Kung Pao Chicken. Spicy dishes? Boss Huang, you are finally going to serve spicy dishes. It's not easy. Liang Liang and his group of rich second generations are the most loyal customers of Zinhashi restaurant. They have almost no resistance to the food in Huang Tao's restaurant. However, Sometimes he would sigh with his rich second generation friends. Zenhashi restaurant is very good. And the speed of new products is fast. Everything is absolutely delicious. It's a pity that Boss Huang doesn't seem to want to serve new spicy dishes. Other rich second generation friends actually smiled and said to him, Boss Huang has spicy dishes in his restaurant. Isn't ginger walnut egg a spicy dish? He was drunk at the time. You call ginger walnut egg a spicy dish? Do you have any misunderstandings about ginger walnut egg? Or do you have any misunderstandings about spicy dishes? This ginger walnut egg is a dessert. Right? This made them feel that it made sense. And they couldn't help but analyze it. Maybe not many people here can eat spicy food. Think about it. Some people can eat spicy food. Some people can eat a little bit of spicy food. And some people can't eat spicy food at all. Boss Wong must have chosen dishes that everyone likes. Finally. Everyone couldn't figure it out. So they stopped thinking about it. As long as Huang Tao's dishes are delicious. It doesn't matter whether they are spicy or not. After all, they are not spicy food lovers. Huang Tao was concentrating on debiting the chicken legs. Ignoring everything outside the window. And automatically blocked out their voices. At this time, he cut a circle around the ankle of the chicken leg. Cut off all the chicken skin. Chicken meat and chicken tendons and then put the tip of the knife against the chicken bone and cut it towards the other end of the chicken leg until the whole chicken bone was exposed. After all the chicken legs needed were boneless, he cut all the chicken into thumb-sized cubes, then rinse them in clean water to remove the blood. After that, take them out and put them in a basin to marinate. Sprinkle salt, soy sauce, cooking wine and water starch into the basin. Then beat the chicken cubes. Pour in some cooked peanut oil and stir. In this way, the chicken cubes will taste more tender and smooth. Then, he took the washed green onions, took only the white part of the green onion, cut them into sections, and put them in a bowl for later use. After doing all this, he was not idle. 
start to prepare the sauce for Kung Pao chicken. He took a small bowl, put some granulated sugar, white vinegar, soy sauce, salt, cooking wine, a little pepper, and then sprinkled a little water starch. Stir it evenly. Set it aside for later use. He took another bowl, grabbed a handful of fried and peeled peanuts, put them in the bowl and set aside. He also prepared the peppercorns and dried chili segments that would be used later. Next, it was time to stir-fry the Kung Pao chicken. This is a typical stir-fry dish. And the entire stir-frying process is actually very short. After the pan was smooth, he poured some rapeseed oil into the pan and scooped a little lard into the pan with a spoon. This was to increase the aroma. Lard was added to the rapeseed oil. Lao Qian noticed this detail. Although he was not proficient in Sichuan cuisine, he still knew a lot. The authentic Sichuan-style Kung Pao chicken uses a mixture of rapeseed oil and lard. It seems that the boss knows how to cook Sichuan cuisine. Sizzle. After the oil was hot, Wang Tao poured the dried chili segments and dried peppercorns into the pan and gently stir-fried them with a spoon. The dried peppercorns and dried chilies in the pot, moistened by the hot oil, soon gave off an alluring spicy aroma. And this spicy aroma is exactly the key to Sichuan-style Kung Pao chicken. He poured all the marinated chicken cubes into the pot. Then he held the pot and stir-fried it quickly with a small spoon. This step actually requires very high requirements. Wang Tao's left hand needs to keep pulling the pot back. Only in this way can the chicken cubes in the pot be constantly turned. At the same time, the small spoon in his right hand also needs to scrape the bottom of the pot constantly to prevent the chicken cubes in the pot from being heated unevenly. As he stir-fried quickly over high heat, a spicy smell wrapped in the fresh aroma of chicken rushed out and filled the kitchen. For a moment, it was unclear whether it was the strong stew or the strong spiciness. Yang Huira couldn't eat spicy food very well and couldn't help choking. Ming Bo and Sun Li Wei were pleasantly surprised. They both loved spicy food. The boss had been preparing fresh dishes these days. When they first moved the ingredients, they saw the red dried chili peppers and dried Sichuan peppercorns and guessed that the boss might make spicy dishes today. Because they had prepared in advance, they took a deep breath and enjoyed it. The rich second generations who were waiting for the new dishes also smelled the spiciness. Not to mention, it was quite fragrant, and it was not much different from the taste of Kung Pao chicken in Sichuan restaurants before. This made them look forward to the final product even more. When Huang Tao saw that the diced chicken in the pot had all turned white, he poured the white part of the chopped green onions into the pot. Continue to stir fry. After a while, the garlic aroma gradually wafted out of the pot. Huang Tao glanced at the diced chicken in the pot and saw that it should be 70% cooked. Huang Tao, who understood, poured all the sauces that had been prepared before into the pot. Ziz, continue to stir fry. After one minute, the soup in the pot gradually became thicker, and a sour aroma wafted out of the pot. Wang Tao poured all the peeled peanuts into the pot. Continue to stir fry for another half a minute. Serve. Chapter 663 Every inch of black silk removed is more attractive. Sichuan cuisine pays great attention to color, fragrance, and taste, with bright colors and fragrant aroma. The freshly cooked Kung Pao chicken has all these elements, which is very tempting. The surface of the chicken is covered with a light amber sauce, and the light yellow peanuts are also shining with a layer of bright oil. The shiny white scallion segments and red dried chili segments are dotted in between, breaking the overall dullness of the color tone and adding a touch of bright tone to the dish. This Kung Pao chicken, just placed on the stove like this, is already appetizing. Everyone's noses couldn't help but move slightly, and the rich aroma of peanuts and chicken instantly rushed into their nasal cavities which was lurking with the aroma of scallion and the rich spicy aroma, making the overall aroma of this dish full and not greasy. Hmm. This Kung Pao chicken smells really good. This taste must be great too. Gurgle. Everyone's throats rolled uncontrollably. Their expressions of wanting to eat are self-evident. Wang Tao pointed at four plates of Kung Pao chicken and shouted with a smile, Ching Zhan. Bring these four plates of Kung Pao chicken over. Let your friends and other employees try it. Okay. Li Qingzhan, who had received the order temporarily, came over quickly, put the four plates of Kung Pao chicken on the stove one by one into the tray, and brought it over. Then, under their expectant eyes, he first placed two plates of Kung Pao chicken on the table next to the rich second-generation friends. Try Kung Pao chicken. No extra nonsense.
he brought the remaining two plates to the table of his colleagues next door. The rich second generation wanted to say something. But as soon as they opened their mouths, the aroma of the Kung Pao chicken, which was so close, rushed into their mouths and noses. That aroma. Ah, I really couldn't help it. Start eating. The rich second generation couldn't wait to pick up the chopsticks beside them, picked up a chopstick of Kung Pao chicken and put it directly into their mouths. The next second, their eyes couldn't help but widen. Wow. Delicious. It's so damn delicious. Ma Junwen used his enthusiasm for writing essays to describe how delicious the chicken was. This spicy, sweet and sour taste is incredible. It is paired with the extremely chewy chicken. The meat is tender and smooth. Refreshing and delicious. After taking a bite, people can't help but want to continue eating. Oh my. We agreed to travel the world together. But you secretly recharged. Do you have any regard for the feelings of our brothers? Also, your actions make us look uneducated. Okay. The other second generation rich were not to be outdone. And they racked their brains to think about the little knowledge they had. Lin Annan thought for a while and said, Well, to be honest, this is the first time I have tasted this kind of flavor in my life. This bowl of Kung Pao chicken has an unprecedented spicy, sour and sweet taste, tender and refreshing, which makes the chicken meat even more wonderful. Xiao Yuqiu scratched his head. The natural and simple chili and peppercorns are perfectly matched with the flavors of various sauces. The fresh and fragrant scallion segments complement the chicken meat even more, which is perfect. Liang Liang touched his chin. This diced chicken is red but not spicy. Spicy but not strong. Spicy. Sweet and sour. The diced chicken is stir-fried and chewy. I have never eaten such a springy. Smooth and tender diced chicken. There is juice in the diced chicken. Making the chicken taste even more tender. Jiang Jihong organized the words and said, Diced chicken. Diced chicken is surprisingly tender. How can this diced chicken be so tender? Every time you chew it, the diced chicken bursts out juice in your mouth. This is the first time I have eaten such tender diced chicken. The moment the diced chicken was bitten in the mouth, the smooth and juicy taste, the spicy and sweet taste, made these rich second generations feel that the Kung Pao chicken they had eaten before simply could not be considered diced chicken. It was clearly just an ordinary diced chicken. But the taste was so layered. This is like a beautiful and sexy black stockings beauty slowly taking off the black stockings on her legs. Every inch of black stockings taken off makes her more attractive. Just like this plate of Kung Pao chicken. Every bite has a different taste. Ma Junwen picked up a peanut and tasted it. Snap. Ma Junwen's eyes lit up. Oh my god. So crispy. These peanuts stained with sauce can still maintain such a crispy taste. Jiang Chihong nodded and agreed, yes. The tenderness of the chicken and the crispness of the peanuts are very rich and complement each other. I have to say that the combination of the two is really perfect. Lin Annan was excited, this. This is indeed the most ordinary chicken. The meat is tender and smooth. And this is indeed the most ordinary peanuts. Crispy inside and out. Such a delicious taste. I tell you, I can eat it every day and I will never get tired of it. This is the 100% Kung Pao chicken that can bring happiness to people. As the rich second generations talked, their voices trembled with excitement. Huang Tao. Are these the same illiterate rich second generations he knew? Other shop assistants. The taste of this Kung Pao chicken is indeed fascinating. And it must taste good. It's just, the emotions and words of these rich second generations are a bit too exaggerated. Lao Qian. You guys try it too. Huang Tao called out. Lao Qian and other assistants also picked up chopsticks and picked up the Kung Pao chicken without hesitation and tasted it. Slightly numbing. Lightly spicy. When the Kung Pao chicken is eaten, the sauce wrapped around the chicken sticks to the tip of the tongue tightly, making the tip of the tongue feel slightly numbing and slightly spicy at first. And the taste buds cheer continuously at the moment the chicken is eaten. And then the taste buds are hit by a sweetness and the delicious taste that is unique to the chicken which makes Lao Qian close his eyes subconsciously. Then, he took a light bite and chewed the chicken in his mouth a little. And there was a little sour feeling. The meat of the chicken wrapped in numbing. Spicy. Sour and sweet was very firm and chewy. Not astringent at all. A bite seemed to stimulate all the juice wrapped in it. And a more delicious taste bloomed on the tip of the tongue. The peanuts were fried crispy and delicious. And the scallion segments had a crisp taste. The three different tastes blended with each other. Completely different, but not conflicting. 
but brought an unprecedented experience. A few bites of Kung Pao chicken went down. Old Qian immediately gave his evaluation. It is sweet and spicy and spicy and sweet. The tenderness of the chicken is matched with the crispness of the peanuts. It is fresh. Spicy and crispy. It is red but not spicy. Spicy but not strong. The meat is smooth and crispy. The spicy and spicy taste is just right for us. The confident posture is like a professional food reviewer. Just now. He thought that the words said by those rich second generations were a bit exaggerated. Now, where is it exaggerated? Not at all. Every word they said was a sincere expression of their true feelings. After tasting it, Mingbo couldn't help but praise, Wow! Boss, this Kung Pao chicken is really delicious. But it still feels not spicy enough. But I can still eat spicy food. I think this level of spiciness is just right. Although people in Wenling City can eat spicy food. They can't eat too spicy food. After tasting it, Zhang Jiajia responded to Meng Bo's words with a look of enjoyment. She felt that the spiciness that people in Wenling City can accept is not high. If the spiciness is calculated on a 10-point scale, the acceptable level is between 4 and 6 points. Wang Tao smiled and said, Jia Jia is right. When we make Sichuan dishes, we have to make them in a way that most customers can accept. Meng Bo understood everything at once and he also felt that he had been taught a lesson by his boss. Indeed, it is difficult to please everyone. But if you want to sell well, you must make the dishes in line with the local tastes. Otherwise, it will be difficult to gain a foothold. Wang Tao saw Yang Huira holding chopsticks, looking like she wanted to eat, but was not afraid of the spiciness, and smiled and said, Hui Ru, try this Kung Pao chicken too. How does it taste? I deliberately put less chili and peppercorns and the spiciness should be acceptable. How about you try it too? Okay, I'll give it a try. Yang Huira couldn't eat spicy food, but she was itching to eat it after hearing the praises from the rich second generation and her colleagues. Plus, this plate of Kung Pao chicken was brown red in color, with scattered seeds and shiny oil, which looked very tempting. She was eager to try it, but was also hesitant. Now that the boss had personally greeted her, she stopped hesitating. She picked up a piece of diced chicken, blew it, and after the heat had dissipated a little, she put it in her mouth and tasted it. When the diced chicken entered her mouth, it was spicy with a little numbness at first, and the next second she could taste the fat and tender and delicious fragrance. With a light bite, it was very smooth and could be swallowed in one bite, leaving only the heat of the chili and pepper. She drank a sip of cold water, and the coolness instantly washed away the spiciness in her throat. Don't mention how cool it was. She sighed. The Kung Pao chicken made by the boss is so delicious. Even if I can't eat spicy food very well. I ate it and want to eat more. Just at this time, the door of the store was pushed open. Chapter 664 He lost his former 5-star chef style. Yaji. The door of the store was slowly pushed open. Wearing a tang suit and holding a folding fan. Lao Ching pushed the door and smelled the fragrance wafting from the store. He couldn't help but take a deep breath and smell it. Hey, what smells so good? It seems to smell like chili and peppercorns. Could it be? Mr. Huang's store is finally going to serve spicy dishes? Hmm, this smell is so familiar. It smells like the smell of Kung Pao chicken? Lao Qin's cloudy eyes suddenly lit up like a light bulb. And he hurriedly walked into the store, fearing that he would miss the opportunity to taste Kung Pao chicken if he was a step late. Boss Huang. You are secretly making new dishes again. Right? He shouted. And when he came closer, he saw the rich second generation sitting around the table, holding chopsticks, eating the two plates of Kung Pao chicken on the table. He smiled and said, Hey, you came early enough. Are you eating now? How does it taste? It must be delicious. He couldn't help asking the question he cared about most. But then he thought that his question was extremely stupid. When has Boss Huang's cooking ever been unpalatable? Even if it is a different cuisine, Boss Huang can still hold it perfectly. Ma Junwen and others looked at Lao Qin and continued to work hard, unwilling to delay for a moment, so they could only free up one hand in their busy schedule and give a thumbs-up gesture. This is to show that it is very good. Now, Lao Qin is even more eager to try it, but everyone had already started eating, and no one invited him to join them so he was too embarrassed to take food from others. After all, this would be a loss of his former five-star chef style. When he was about to ask Huang Tao 
if he could sell him a portion of the Kung Pao chicken first. Wang Tao's voice rang in his ears. Mr. Qin, you're here by chance. I just tried to make some Kung Pao chicken. And I guess you would come over later. So I saved some for you. Come and try my cooking. This was exactly what old Qin wanted. It also made his mouth, which had been a little droopy, instantly grinned to the roots of his ears. And at the same time, a warm feeling rose in his heart. He didn't expect that Huang Tao would specially save a portion for him. Old Qin liked Huang Tao's human touch. He smiled and nodded repeatedly. Okay, then I will shamelessly try it. Huang Tao waved his hand disapprovingly. This is not shameless. It's just a sample. When I was in the old street, our neighbors often gave me things. And you also gave me a lot of food? It's just a sample. Just relax and eat it. Wang Tao thought that Lao Qin was getting older and might have some dietary taboos. He was worried that he couldn't eat spicy food. So he asked, Oh, by the way, can you eat spicy food? Lao Qin, who guessed what Wang Tao meant, shook his folding fan and said, Although I am getting older, I have eaten some spicy food in this city over the years. I don't have any dietary taboos. As long as it tastes good and I am happy. It's fine. No dietary taboos are good. As he said, he took out the small plate of Kung Pao chicken that he had reserved for Lao Qin and handed it to Lao Qin. Thank you. After Lao Qin took it, he said gratefully and laughed happily. If the neighbors in the old street knew that Mr. Huang had specially left him a sample, they would be envious and would think of all kinds of ways to play a trick on him. Fortunately, he is now in the city. And even if the neighbors want to play a trick on him, they can't stretch their hands that far. This feeling is really comfortable. Of course, he occasionally misses the neighbors, especially when he is empty, lonely and cold. After all, he doesn't have many friends in the city, and his family is not around him. He is a lonely old man, quite empty and bored. Only in Huang Tao's store can he find some comfort. And only when he eats the food in Huang Tao's store can his empty heart be satisfied. While thinking, he sat down at a table, picked up the chopsticks, picked up a chopstick of Kung Pao chicken, and looked at it. This Kung Pao chicken, just looking at the color, must be delicious. He put it in his mouth. The first thing he felt on his tongue was a slight numbness and a little bit of spiciness. However, after Wang Tao adjusted it, the spiciness and numbness were relatively light. But for Lao Qin, it was just right. Then a fresh sweetness spread in the mouth. And after chewing it carefully, there was a faint sour taste lingering between the lips and teeth. The chicken is fresh and tender. The peanuts are crispy. The taste is rich and mellow. The taste is excellent. After a few bites, licking the sauce left at the corners of his mouth, it is all sweet and sour and delicious. It is worthy of Mr. Huang's craftsmanship. The taste of this Kung Pao chicken is indeed much higher than those made in Sichuan restaurants outside. The sour and sweet taste is very well grasped. A little more will taste like sweet and sour. And a little less will be covered by the spiciness. Only when the sour and sweet are appropriate. And the spicy is moderate. Can it be called the unique little lychee taste of Kung Pao chicken? Delicious. Lao Qin ate with a relaxed look. And asked with a smile, Boss Wang, did you change the taste on purpose? Wang Tao nodded, yes. It is a little less spicy, and a little less spicy. Lao Qin gave a thumbs up and praised, you are so amazing. The taste is just right. And it is in line with the acceptance of spiciness by us Wenling people. Just right. And addictive. Very delicious. Wang Tao smiled and said, It's good as long as it tastes good. The rich second generation had finished eating. And when they saw Lao Qin slowly enjoying the Kung Pao chicken, they couldn't help swallowing their saliva again. That's right. They were still not satisfied and wanted to have a few more plates. But there was nothing they could do. They couldn't take food from Lao Qin. As self-healing five good youth. They couldn't do that. They had to wait until the sale started at noon and order a few more to satisfy their cravings. As usual, Wang Tao posted a photo of the tempting Kung Pao chicken on Weibo for promotion. Super delicious Jin Haochi restaurant. Wow starry eyes. The spicy dish everyone is looking forward to. Kung Pao chicken will be available at noon. The quantity is not large. About 100 portions. Pre-order as soon as possible. For customers who can't eat spicy food, it is recommended to have a cup of our new drink. Watermelon Bobo Smoothie. I guarantee you will feel refreshed after drinking it. Picture JPG 1. Picture JPG 2. Picture 1 shows a cup of bright red watermelon juice blended with ice smoothie. 
in the grainy watermelon flesh. You can also see bright red crystal clear bubbles floating in it, with the wisps of ice steam floating up. It looks particularly tempting. Picture 2 shows the white and tender diced chicken stained with the brown red sauce. With a little scallion and dried chili segments as embellishment, you can vaguely see the light yellow peanut petals mixed in the diced chicken. The red oil slides down the diced chicken, dyeing the white plate red. It is very tempting just by looking at it. Chapter 665 Children Only Do Multiple Choice Questions Adults Want Them All As soon as this Weibo post came out, customers and netizens who habitually check the official Weibo of Zinhachi Restaurant are going crazy. Cold drinks are loved by most people. All customers who have tasted the green bean milk and coconut milk bobo smoothies in Zinhachi Restaurant on Qingxi Old Street before feel that they are particularly amazing and can't forget the wonderful taste. Unlike regular meals, it is also good to buy a cup and use it as a happy soap water while watching TV. So, many customers come specifically for these cold drinks and run over to buy a cup. Some even buy two cups directly and drink them all at once. But, occasionally, after drinking for a long time, you will still look forward to drinking new drinks. Therefore, everyone is particularly looking forward to the high value, low sugar, and low calorie drinks of Zinhachi restaurant. Who can blame the drinks produced by Jinchi Restaurant for their original taste and good taste? Since the Chinese New Year, as soon as the store on the old street reopened, customers often urged on Weibo to release new drinks. Occasionally, when they saw Huang Tao in the store, they would also mention it, but they never received a response. On the contrary, new flavors of Shengjianbo have been released, although they are all delicious. But some customers are particularly persistent in this regard. In other words, it can be understood as habitually urging. Later, when they learned that Jinchi Restaurant was going to open a branch in the city, and Huang Tao was busy preparing for various matters for the new store, these customers were embarrassed to urge for new ice drinks. Anyway, after Boss Huang finishes dealing with the branch, maybe it will be released. He <laughs> he. No one expected that this day would come so soon. I didn't expect that the Zinchichi branch was so diligent and updated new dishes so diligently. There are new dishes every day. You know, this branch has only been open for about four days. While customers and netizens were excited, they quickly clicked on the pictures and were tempted by the watermelon bobo smoothie. The next second, they slid their fingers to the left and were attracted by the Kung Pao chicken. Compared with sweet and salty flavors, the spicy Kung Pao chicken can stimulate the appetite of these customers. After they exited the picture, they quickly expressed their excitement in the comment area. Interpretation. Future. Ah. Jin Haochi restaurant is so productive. When I saw the new dishes, I was instantly ready again. I declare that the green bean milk and coconut milk bobo smoothie will be banished to the coal palace. And Kung Pao chicken and watermelon bobo smoothie will become my new favorites. He he. My beloved. Here I come. Undead warrior. I love Kung Pao chicken very much. I regretted that Jin Haochi restaurant didn't have spicy dishes before. I didn't expect to get the spicy Kung Pao chicken so soon. I'm so happy. It happened that I didn't work in the morning because of my shift change today. I'm on my way here quickly. I must have a share of the small amount of Kung Pao chicken. Who is willing to promise to give me a lifetime of peace? Ah. Oh, I want to eat Kung Pao chicken and watermelon bobo smoothie. I really want to eat that. I am just like this, Boss Wang YYDS. It's really delicious. News Store YYDS. There are new dishes so soon and it's still the most popular Kung Pao chicken among spicy dishes. I hope there are more quantities, so that we office workers can buy it after get off work. Molly Molly Hong, ha ha thousands of words are self-explanatory. No more words. I'll go first to show my respect. He <laughs> he. Kung Pao chicken. Here I come. Doryman, Boss Huang's promotion is a two birds with one stone move. I have to say, Eating Kung Pao chicken with icy cold drinks is simply a dish and a pretentious one. Okay. I admit that I am actually this kind of person. Hua Shan Bei Feng Shang Yu Yi. Woo Woo Woo. I finally waited for you. Fortunately, I didn't give up this cup of watermelon bobo smoothie looks delicious. This Kung Pao chicken looks delicious. Wow. This bobo is actually made with watermelon juice. The boss is really attentive. I rushed to it at noon. Tang Ah. There are new dishes and drinks. Although this is something to be happy about. I have difficulty making choices. Faced with so many dishes. I don't know how to choose. Drowned in the sea of love. The person above. Only children make choices. 
Adults of course want them all. The past glory is just a trough, help. Kung Pao chicken is my favorite. It's really delicious. The restaurant finally serves spicy dishes. And the watermelon bobo smoothie sounds very refreshing. And it should be delicious. I just want to know, if there is any in the old street in the west of the city. I really want to eat it. After everyone was excited for a while. They had to return to the dishes and ice drinks themselves. Kung Pao chicken is a well-known Sichuan dish. Mainly spicy. And the diced chicken and peanuts are also very delicious. As for the watermelon bobo smoothie. Just by hearing the name. You can guess how refreshing and amazing it tastes. There is a comment asking if there is a store in the old street in the west of the city. After all, the Weibo copy did not say whether it is a new store or an old store with new products. Customers on the West Old Street still have a glimmer of hope. After all, you still have to have hope. Just in case it comes true. After waiting for a long time, the official website replied, Super delicious Zinhachi restaurant, dear. The store on the West Old Street will have new watermelon bobo smoothie tomorrow. Please look forward to it. Thank you for your support. As for Kung Pao Chicken, it will take some time. Please wait patiently. If there are new dishes on the West Old Street, we will notify you on Weibo as soon as possible. This reply is better than not replying. This instantly caused countless customers on the Old Street in the west of the city to wail. And this comment received the most likes. Subvert the whole world, cry. Cry. One day late means missing out on countless billions. What's more? The Kung Pao chicken is still a long way off. Boss Huang. Don't force me to drive over there on the weekend to join in the fun. The fans in the city, who had envied the customers of the old street in the west of the city countless times were ecstatic when they saw this Weibo. For example, Su Meichi, when she saw the Weibo message, she couldn't help but tell her colleagues around her this amazing good news, and also made an appointment with them for lunch. Hey, let me tell you, it's really delicious at lunch. New Kung Pao chicken and watermelon bobo smoothie are coming. Let's go eat them together at noon. When these words came out, the colleagues were a little surprised. But they also got an immediate response. Great. Liao Ziching had a happy expression of wish come true. I dream of having new flavors of ice drinks. So is this my dream come true? Zhang Chijun said happily, Boss Huang is so awesome. We can't not support this wave. Su Weichi smiled and said, Brother Jun, do you need to say this? No need to support. We will definitely go there every day to eat. Similar situations have been staged in other office buildings. Chapter 666 The difference is quite obvious. Wang Tao looked at the excitement on Weibo and guessed that the business at noon today should be very good. The reason for such confidence. First, it comes from the confidence given by these two new products. Second, it comes from the good sales volume on Monday. Although yesterday was Death Monday, it was the most hopeless time for office workers. In theory, whether it is a store selling clothes or food, the business will decline like a waterloo due to the sudden drop in traffic. But the branches of Jinhaochi were not affected at all. The sales volume was basically the same as that on weekends. And there was a slight upward trend. Working at work is the best match for eating Jinhaochi's food. Many people are not used to eating in the company cafeteria. Or office workers who are tired of takeout on weekdays are worried about what to eat at noon. And they think of the Jinhaochi restaurant food that is popular in the circle of friends on weekends. Those who have never eaten it want to try it to see if it is really as delicious as they say, and those who have eaten it can't forget it and want to eat it again. After all, I just came back to work after a holiday, and I was too tired. If I don't treat myself to some delicious food, I will have no motivation to continue working in the afternoon. The office building near Zhonghua Road can be reached by just a few steps. There are many office buildings and shopping malls nearby. Those who are far away will weigh and compare in their hearts. Is it really worth making a special trip for the food in this delicious restaurant? After all, the lunch break is just enough time to eat. I think it is worth it. And I haven't waited until the end of get off work. I made preparations in advance and packed my things in a simple way. When the time came to get off work, I immediately left and rushed to number 380 Zhonghua Road at the speed of a 100 meter sprint. I felt that it was not particularly worth it. So I took out my phone and ordered a takeaway. But the takeaway that was delicious before was not fragrant at all. And my mind was full of the delicious food in Zenhachi. Alas! I can only say that there is no harm without comparison. This takeaway made them completely realize what real food is. And made them regret their choice. And made them miss the food in Zenhachi even more. 
So they simply decided to go to Zhonghua Road to buy food from Zinhachi after get off work in the evening to comfort their abused taste buds. And these three days were enough for the Zinhachi branch to have a strong presence in front of the people in the city. After all, the temptation of food is there. As the spurt of good reviews continued to appear around the people in the city, people who had never tasted it also came to the store out of curiosity to taste it. After tasting it, they completely fell in love with it. And then, they couldn't stop. Therefore, the business of the Zinhachi branch has basically stabilized. The portion size of each meal has also stabilized in a certain range. The most obvious thing is that if you go half an hour later than the opening time of the Zinhachi restaurant, it is basically difficult to buy new dishes. Because people come to eat before the opening time, everyone basically goes for the latest dish. Then other dishes are also sold very tightly. And sometimes, even before the meal time, only the more popular braised rice is left. But even so, the customers who came later also basically held the attitude of since I'm here. I'll miss out if I don't try the food in Zenhashi restaurant. So they bought a braised rice. And were instantly amazed when they ate it. Wow. Zenhashi restaurant can make even ordinary braised rice so delicious. As a result, a small wave of braised rice craze was inadvertently swept through the circle of friends in Weibo. In addition, a blogger shared it on Weibo. And many people liked it. I worked overtime at noon. And when I rushed to Zenhashi restaurant, it was almost one o'clock. At this time, the dishes of Longjing shrimp, sweet and sour spare ribs, garlic spare ribs, squirrel mandarin fish, wensi tofu, etc., which have been very popular in Zinhashi restaurant recently and have been praised by many people, have all been sold out, leaving only braised pig's trotter rice, braised pork rice, and braised chicken leg rice, and even the ice drinks only have green bean paste milk. Since I came here, I couldn't go there in vain and not eat anything. So I packed a bowl of braised pork rice and a cup of mung bean milk and went back to the company. How can I say it? This lunch was quite surprising to me. The caramel-colored appearance of the braised pork rice was arranged together, like pieces of thin chocolate, oily but not greasy, melted in the mouth, and the lean meat was also lean but not dry, and fell apart with a sip. Moreover, each piece of braised meat was fat and lean, unlike the braised meat delivered by some takeaway shops where six or seven out of ten pieces were fat. And the lean meat was so tiny that people dared not eat it. And this mung bean milk was unexpectedly delicious. The mung bean was boiled into a sand. And the sweetness was particularly pure. The natural sweetness without adding white sugar. And the milk was also particularly mellow. The mung bean sand and milk blended together. The ice smoothie was dense. And the taste was completely better than the mung bean milk produced by a lot of milk tea shops outside. I have always believed that if a restaurant can make a mediocre and ordinary dish carefully, then the taste of other dishes will definitely not be bad. In the future, I will often go to Zenhachi to pack braised rice. If I can also taste the recent popular Longjing shrimp, squirrel girl, sweet and sour spare ribs and other dishes, it will be even more perfect. This Weibo post is explained from the perspective of a passerby. The true feelings revealed between the lines really attracted many people who are curious about the food of Zenhachi so that they all patiently read the content of this Weibo post. What touched them deeply was the last paragraph written by the blogger. Yes, if Zenhachi can make even the most ordinary braised pork rice and green bean paste milk special and delicious, then other dishes are even more delicious. Just go for it. All of the above have made Zenhachi's turnover steadily increase, and also made Huang Tao have good expectations for today's business, and also have enough confidence, with some expectations in his heart. His whole mood became cheerful. Lao Qian and other kitchen assistants could clearly feel the boss's good mood. They just saw Huang Tao posting on Weibo. And they thought that the reaction of the customers and netizens to the new product should be very strong. And they would definitely clamor to try the new product as soon as possible. In this way, the purpose of this wave of new product promotion would be achieved. They were also happy, cheered up, and continued to prepare side dishes. Before 11 o'clock, People came to eat one after another. After Huang Tao finished his meal, he was about to enter the kitchen. He looked up at the dining area and felt that the difference was quite obvious. Chapter 667 Let Him Be Jealous This is obvious. When the new store opened a few days ago, the customers were mainly young people and a small number of middle-aged people. Most of the people who came to eat were office workers. And it was rare to see old people. But now, at a glance, 
in addition to the rich second generation and Lao Chin. More than 20 people walked into the store and took seats in the dining area one after another. At the counter at the entrance of the store, there were four elderly people who came together, waiting for Yang Hui to come and order for them while chatting. Most of them are retired and don't have to work. They have free time. If they want to eat something, it is not difficult to come in advance to line up and order. They are even more patient. It can be said that they are the second largest group with purchasing power and free time after self-employed individuals. The appearance of these elderly people made Huang Tao feel like he was back in the old street in the west of the city. It also reminded him of the lovely neighbors in the old street. Every time before the meal time, the neighbors would come early to line up and wait, sitting at the door of the store, holding up parasols, and setting up card tables and chess tables, making his store look like a chess room. While he felt that these neighbors were really talented, he also felt that they were full of human touch. Although such scenes continued to be staged every day in the old street, there had never been such a scene in the city, and even the elderly were hard to see. Since yesterday, when he suddenly saw the elderly entering the store for dinner, he would miss the good times he had with the neighbors in the old street. Yang Huira put on a hat and an apron, ready to work at the counter. She saw the difference at a glance, and smiled and said to Huang Tao who was about to go to the kitchen, Boss, it seems that soon the elderly in the city will be impressed by our delicious restaurant, just like the old people in the old street in the west of the city. Huang Tao smiled but said nothing, but he felt the same way in his heart. The Kung Pao chicken at noon was naturally the best seller. This was the only spicy dish in the store, and it was a new dish today. In addition, Wang Tao had already posted a message on the official Weibo account to promote it. Customers and netizens who learned the news, in order to taste it, basically came early to buy it. So this new Kung Pao chicken naturally became their first choice. Like now when they just started ordering, most people chose to buy steamed sparrows with black bean sauce or the new Kung Pao chicken. When it was the turn of the four old people, the first thing they said was, Little girl, I heard from other customers that you have a new dish for lunch. It's a spicy dish. Kung Pao chicken. Right? Yang Hui recognized the old man in the lead and replied with a smile. Yes. We still have this dish in our store for the time being. It tastes very good. And the spiciness is acceptable to us Wenling people. Would you like to order one? Our store also launched a new ice drink at noon. Watermelon Bobo Smoothie. Which is very cool and thirst quenching. The four old people came here on purpose. Naturally wanting to taste the taste of other dishes of Jinchi. After hearing that there were new products, Kung Pao Chicken and Watermelon Bobo Smoothie, they were surprised for a few seconds. But this was not originally in their plan. The four of them discussed what to eat enthusiastically. They were all people with pensions. When they heard that there was a new product, Kung Pao Chicken, they ordered one, and also ordered four cups of the new product, Watermelon Bobo Smoothie in a fashionable way. They can't handle ice very well? That's okay. The delicious shop will make smoothies for you. In addition, they also ordered some other dishes, such as steamed sparrows with fermented black beans, longjing shrimp, wincy tofu, and other dishes. After paying, the old man walked into the store to eat in the store. One of the elderly couples was Mr. Yao and Mrs. Yao. Ahem. It was definitely not because they were greedy. It happened that when they went downstairs and took a walk in the community, they ran into Mr. Huang and his wife from the same building when they talked about the new restaurant that was really delicious. Mr. Yao praised the garlic and sweet and sour sparrows in the store. It seemed that the other meals were also very good. He also talked about his son finishing a whole portion of garlic sparrows by himself. He went there again on purpose, but couldn't buy it. So he had to buy a portion of sweet and sour sparrows for his grandson. Originally, the grandson was crying and insisted on garlic sparrows. But after tasting the sweet and sour sparrows, he praised it for being delicious and asked him to buy some more in the afternoon. This made the curious Mr. Huang and his wife greedy. In addition, everyone was free and their community was not far from the Zinhachi restaurant. So they made an appointment and came together. It's nice to see that the decoration of this restaurant is very nice and spacious. Grandpa Huang looked around and sighed that it was comparable to the environment of the restaurants outside. And the tables and chairs were also very clean. In his impression, the area of street restaurants is not large, and there is not much room in the restaurant. The tables, chairs and walls are all black and stained with oil. In that case, no matter how delicious the food is, it is difficult to swallow. At their age, 
there is a lot of pension to be received every month. And it is the time to enjoy life. When there is nothing to do on weekdays, they can call three or two old friends to a nearby restaurant for breakfast and chat for a whole morning. They pay the most attention to the dining environment. Fortunately, the restaurant was really delicious and did not disappoint him. Old Lady Yao and Grandma Huang also looked satisfied. Very quickly, dishes such as Kung Pao chicken were served one after another, along with four bowls of wincy tofu and four cups of watermelon bobo smoothie without the smoothie. They were particularly tempting when put together, and they were even better than the dishes usually ordered in restaurants. The elderly, like the young people, followed the trend. After the dishes were served, they let the camera eat first. With a click, they took a photo and posted it to their circle of friends and said, Have a drink. Today I officially came to eat at Zinhashi restaurant. Hey it's the restaurant that opened recently in the city. And everyone praised it for being delicious. Picture JPG. Then we started. Drinking soup before a meal is also a secret to health. Grandpa Huang brought the bowl of milky white wincy tofu in front of him to his mouth. Took a big sip directly. Tasted it carefully for three seconds. And swallowed it. He exclaimed with surprise. This soup is really good. Especially fresh. The deliciousness of the broth and the tenderness of the tofu are blended together. The saltiness is just right. The tofu is like silk. And it melts in the mouth. Compared with the price. It is simply too worth it. After drinking a mouthful of soup, Grandma Huang unexpectedly discovered that even the white and tender tofu shreds were cooked well. And the salty taste was quite good. Grandpa and Mrs. Yao drank silently. And their expressions were extremely enjoyable. Because of the deliciousness of wincy tofu in front of them. They also had a little more expectations for the dishes in front of them. Such as Kung Pao chicken. The four elderly people started eating. Sharing the taste while eating and then talked about family matters, and took a sip of watermelon bobo smoothie from time to time, which was so leisurely. The customers who came to buy food later saw that there were more elderly people eating in the store, which was so leisurely. Inexplicably, they also wanted to stay in the store to eat, and the original takeaway was directly changed to dine-in. Ya Chuan was still happy about what he had agreed with his parents last night. In the evening, the old couple took Xiaowei to the Zinhachi restaurant to reserve a seat and then went to the restaurant to meet up with him and his wife after get off work, thinking that he could have a big meal in the restaurant tonight. He resisted the urge to not go to the Zinhachi restaurant for lunch. Seeing that he was about to get off work, he directly ordered a clay pot rice takeout. He couldn't help thinking for a while how great it would be if the Zinhachi restaurant also had a takeout business, and how wonderful it would taste if it also served new clay pot rice. While thinking about it, he browsed his moments. The next second, he browsed his moments and saw the food photos posted by his father and mother. It was very tempting. And it looked delicious even through the screen. Unfortunately, you can see it. But you can't eat it. Look at the copy again. Wow. This is the food in the Zinhachi restaurant. No wonder it is so tempting. Uh. We agreed to have a meal together in the evening. And I was holding back. But my parents went to eat at noon without saying anything. Ya Chuan felt mixed emotions. He clicked on his father's profile picture and sent a message. In the store, old man Yao had eaten enough. And he felt particularly satisfied. When he was tired of chatting, he drank a watermelon bobo smoothie. Touched his slightly protruding belly inside. Oh, this is real life. When receiving the greeting message from his son, old man Yao's first reaction was, Oh, bad. I was caught eating alone. Oh, I forgot to block this brat. But then I thought, why should I look like a thief with a guilty conscience? After all, he spent his own money. So, eat if you want. As for his son, just let him in be. Chapter 668 Everyone Likes It At 11.30, as the rush hour approached, more and more people came to the restaurant to eat. The Kung Pao chicken was sold out in a short time. The most disappointed was a customer who almost didn't get the Kung Pao chicken. He angrily ordered a ginger walnut egg. Although this spicy is not the same as the other spicy. The taste is salty and spicy. And the taste is sweet and spicy. The taste is completely different and does not belong to the same category of dishes. But this is more or less spicy. The customers who wanted to eat spicy food in the back also followed suit and bought a ginger walnut egg. So the customers who came a little later suddenly found that not only could they not buy Kung Pao chicken, but even the dessert ginger walnut egg was gray and could not be ordered. 
Tao Xiaorong particularly likes spicy food. The dinner in the restaurant last night was very satisfying to him. The watermelon bobo smoothie drink Huang Tao sent was simply amazing. So far, he immediately fell in love with the food of Zinhashi restaurant and followed the official Weibo of Zinhashi restaurant. This morning, when he was guarding the restaurant, he had nothing to do. So he took out his mobile phone to browse today's news. He saw a pop-up recommendation on Weibo. The Zinhashi restaurant VU follow has posted a Weibo, which was at the top of the mobile page. He glanced at it and was attracted by the picture. In the picture, the white jade plate was filled with diced chicken. And the sauce was shining, sliding down from the diced chicken meat. And the next second, it was about to slide into the white jade plate. And the surrounding area was already stained with a little sauce color. The angle of the photo was very casual. But the Kung Pao chicken was very tempting. With red dried chili segments and light yellow peanut petals dotted in it. Wrapped in the ruddy sauce. And it looked very good. Ah. This is the first spicy dish of Zinhachi. And the excellent watermelon bobo smoothie that I drank last night. This made him very excited. And he immediately made an appointment with those fitness friends to go to Zinhachi to eat the new Kung Pao chicken and watermelon bobo smoothie. It stands to reason that a fitness expert like him would not think about it day and night for a bite of food. But this time he was really crazy. Want to eat? Crazy want to eat. This may be the charm of Zinhachi's food. In order to get the limited number of new Kung Pao chicken, he took the order temporarily and went to Zinhachi to reserve a seat. So he closed the store early and drove directly to the Zinhachi branch. When he arrived at the Zinchichi restaurant, it was almost 11.30 and the restaurant was already full of customers. There were no extra seats. He had no choice but to line up at the restaurant door and quietly looked inside the restaurant's account and then contacted his friends on WeChat. I have arrived at the restaurant door, but the restaurant is now full of people. But even if every table buys a portion of Kung Pao chicken, we still have hope, right? The fitness friends were also a little nervous, and they comforted Tao Shurong and themselves, saying, don't worry, it should be okay. We will be there soon. After waiting for a while, there was an empty seat. So he immediately entered the restaurant and found an empty seat to sit down. Fortunately, he was lucky and bought the last portion of Kung Pao chicken and other favorite dishes, as well as four cups of watermelon bobo smoothie. After placing the order, his fitness friends also rushed over and entered the store to find Tao Shurong's location. Tao Shurong smiled and waved to them and said hello, Chung Hua, Yang Ming, Lin Bo, I'm over here. Hey, I see. I'm here. The three fitness friends saw him and hurried over. Before they sat down, they asked with concern, Is the meal ready? Don't worry. It's ready. I'm lucky. I bought the last portion of Kung Pao chicken. Tao Shurong had a smug expression on his face and then whispered to his fitness friends to share interesting things. You don't know. The guy behind me just now missed the Kung Pao chicken by one person and angrily ordered a ginger chicken, walnut and egg with ginger juice. For the spicy taste, the buddy behind followed suit and actually ordered walnut and egg with ginger juice. Ah, this is possible? When this was said, everyone was a little surprised and they all felt that these guys were really talented. Han Chung Hua smelled the fragrant spicy smell with a keen nose and said with satisfaction, to be honest, only the really delicious spicy taste makes me feel very authentic and suitable for our taste. Others are either too spicy, not spicy at all, and some are very fake spicy. Other fitness friends nodded with deep understanding. While talking, Li Qingzhan brought the Kung Pao chicken they ordered first. Tao Shurong and his fitness friends were already greedy when they saw the spicy red and shiny color, and they didn't care to talk at the moment. They picked up chopsticks and started eating. As soon as the diced chicken is put into the mouth, a spicy taste rushes into the throat and up to the tip of the nose, with a slight numbness. And then a sweet taste hits the taste buds. With a slight bite, the diced chicken is particularly tender and a little sour. The spicy, sour and sweet chicken. Scallions and peanuts make people unable to stop eating. People can't help but chew and swallow with a mouthful of rice. And drink a mouthful of watermelon bobo smoothie to relieve the spiciness. This taste is absolutely amazing. Tao Sharon sighed. And couldn't help but pick up another piece of diced chicken to continue eating. He carefully felt the tenderness of the diced chicken, which fell apart as soon as he bit it. And the salty taste after the spicy taste made people can't help but mix it with another mouthful of rice. 
he can eat spicy food. So he took a mouthful of watermelon bobo smoothie at intervals. Not just to relieve the spiciness, but simply because he felt that this combination was very enjoyable to eat. After all, the combination of spicy and ice is really super refreshing. Han Chunghua is not very good at eating spicy food, but because it is a spicy dish produced by Zenhachi, he can't help but want to taste it. At this moment, he ate a piece of diced chicken and drank a sip of watermelon bobo smoothie. After it was not so spicy, he had another mouthful of rice to fill his stomach. His handsome face was a little red from the spiciness, and a little sweat appeared on his forehead. The original chill on his body also dissipated instantly. There are many customers, like him, who can't eat spicy food, but can't resist the temptation of the food in Zenhashi restaurant and eat until they sweat. On Weibo, there are also many sharings about Zenhashi Kung Pao chicken and praising how delicious the Kung Pao chicken in Zenhashi restaurant is. Of course, there are only a few lucky customers at noon. Most people are wailing that they can't buy Kung Pao chicken at all. And they share the screenshots of the food copy on the official Weibo account of Zenhashi with the idea of suffering alone. That's right. They were so greedy that they looked at the screenshots of the food to satisfy their cravings. But the more they looked, the more greedy they became. They could only plan to come early in the afternoon to buy it. On the contrary, because the watermelon bobo smoothie was large in quantity, most people ordered one when they came to eat. They were amazed by the taste. And then many people came to Weibo to share, bullying her with spicy strips. Today's watermelon bobo smoothie really lived up to my expectations. It was really delicious. It's really delicious. The restaurant can always make ordinary drinks perfect. The last time, the green bean milk and coconut milk bobo smoothie was also the same. This time, the watermelon bobo smoothie is also the same. And this bobo is made with watermelon juice. It's pure handmade. It's really amazing. And the price is also good value for money. Take a deep breath and let X1N move invisible. He, <laughs> As smart as I am. I bought two cups of watermelon bobo smoothie at noon. One cup for lunch. And one cup in the company refrigerator for afternoon work. It's so refreshing and refreshing. The ice drinks in the restaurant are really good news for my working party. If they are delicious. Order more. I can afford it. Huang Tao was browsing the comments on Weibo during his break. And he was very satisfied. It's the truth that everyone likes it. Chapter 669 What is the standard for reception? Nye Min Jung is a project manager of a foreign funded company. He is only 31 this year. At such a young age, he has held a high position and become an elite in the industry. Leaving his peers behind by several streets, which is enough to show that his abilities in all aspects are still very good. But he has one biggest shortcoming. That is, he has some difficulty in making choices. This situation is especially reflected in life. Fortunately, he has a good wife. For example, what clothes to wear and what meals to eat are all arranged and prepared by his wife in advance. So he doesn't have to worry about it at all. As for some private dinners in the company, if he is asked to choose the dining venue, he probably won't be able to decide which restaurant to eat in a day. If he is asked to order food, it is estimated that he will only stay at the stage of ordering food until the end of business. The final result is, no one wants to eat. So, when facing these dinner parties, he always adheres to the principle of not interfering if possible, and being a hands-off boss if possible, and lets other colleagues arrange and discuss which restaurant to eat and what dishes to eat. As for him, he is only responsible for eating. But such a beautiful day can't continue after all, because the day after tomorrow, Colleagues from the head office will come to this company for a meeting. After the meeting, of course, they need to eat. And as the person in charge of this company, he naturally has to do his best as a host and entertain these colleagues who have come from afar in order to avoid being impolite. This is exactly what makes him most annoying. Looking at the hotels and restaurants he listed on the paper that he had visited with his colleagues and family, he recalled carefully and found that he had no desire to eat again. When entertaining colleagues from the headquarters, he should not only choose a restaurant with good taste, but also make them feel surprised and enjoyable when they taste the delicious food. Only in this way, if the colleagues at the headquarters eat happily and are in a good mood, then when they report the company's situation back to the headquarters, they will also praise them with a lot of words. He understands the reason, but it is really a bit difficult for him, a person with choice difficulty, to arrange the dinner. Alas! I have been annoyed, annoyed, and annoyed recently. 
I always feel that my life is a bit extreme. He thinks he is still not used to it. From being a hands-off manager to arranging dinners. Just at this time, the big office outside the office became lively. The employees in his group had all returned from lunch and were gathered together. He didn't know what they were talking about. But he could occasionally hear a few exclamations from the employees. As if they were saying something like this restaurant is really delicious and after eating. I guarantee you will want to eat again. These words, when they fell into his ears, made him curious. And suddenly his mind flashed. Oh, right. Just because he didn't know which restaurant was high-end and delicious. It didn't mean that others didn't know it. He could definitely ask his subordinates. Action is worse than thought. He immediately walked out of his own office and came to the big office. Smiling and trying to get close to him. What happy thing did you encounter? Tell me about it. I didn't encounter any happy things. But Yang Ming and Lin Bo said that a new store opened in our city recently. And the food is great. So they are crazy about recommending this store to us. Fu Ming Han said with a smile. Because Nian Min Zheng is usually a peaceful person. Their department often has dinners, and the relationship is quite harmonious. So when Nian Min Zheng asked, he didn't hesitate and told him directly. Yang Ming smiled and recommended, Manager, you don't know? A new restaurant opened on Zhonghua Road recently. The food there is very delicious. It's so delicious that I almost bit my tongue off. Lin Bo and I have been eating the food here these two days. It's so delicious that we never get tired of it. Lin Bo echoed, yes. The environment of this restaurant is also good. And the ingredients are super fresh and of good quality. Manager, you don't have to worry about the taste. Although Nian Minjung felt that their words were a bit exaggerated. The taste of the food in this restaurant must be very good since these people use such exaggerated words to describe it. He smiled and asked, How can I say that this restaurant is of high quality and tastes very good? Yang Ming thought for a while and said, the taste of this restaurant is indeed very good. But in terms of grade, is the various braised rice around 38 yuan considered to be of high quality? Hmm. It seems not. But, the restaurant doesn't only have braised rice. There are also national banquet level boiled cabbage. Jujang style long jing shrimp. Dry fried bell. Honey glazed fire square. Dongpa pork and other famous dishes. There are also other well-known dishes from other cuisines. So, a restaurant with so many famous dishes is naturally a high-end restaurant. The quality is okay. After thinking for a while, Yang Ming nodded vigorously to show his affirmation. Yes, this restaurant is also quite classy. And the dining environment is also quite good. Lin Bo also thought so. He agreed with Yang Ming's words. Nodded in agreement. And then asked again, Mr. Nia, are you going to eat tonight? No. 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 Nia Minjing smiled and shook his hand, then stated his true intention. The situation is like this. The day after tomorrow, our colleagues from the head office will come to our place for a meeting. Afterwards, we have to find a restaurant to entertain them well. So that's the case. Yang Ming had a little expression on his face and said, that's completely possible. The taste of the food in that restaurant is really super delicious. But, but what? Nia Minjung saw that Yang Ming was hesitant to speak. And while wondering, he also had a bad premonition in his heart. Yang Ming thought about it and told him the actual situation. But the business of that restaurant is a bit good. We have to go earlier. And some dishes need to be booked one to three days in advance. So this is the situation. He worried for nothing. This is not a big problem. Just when he was about to ask Yang Ming to make a reservation. Yang Ming continued, Mr. Nia. How about I take you to eat in the evening? You can also feel the atmosphere of the restaurant and taste the food in the restaurant first. Yes, Mr. Nia. How about we go to eat together tonight? Lin Bo also thought that it would be more appropriate for Mr. Nia to go and take a look first. Nia Minjung thought that he had promised his wife this morning to go back to eat in the evening. So he waved his hand and said, No need. I believe in your vision and taste. Let's book this restaurant. Yang Ming. Lin Bo. Then you two should leave work half an hour earlier in the afternoon and go to that restaurant to make a reservation. The colleagues from the headquarters will come early the day after tomorrow. Okay. Yang Ming nodded, Boss Nye. What is the standard for reception? What are the prices of the dishes in this restaurant? The prices are high and low. The cheap ones are 20 or 30. And the expensive ones are around 200. Yang Ming smiled and said, However, the dishes in this restaurant are a bit complicated. Boss Nye. 
Why don't you go with us this afternoon to take a look at the dishes in the restaurant and pick one or two? Then let's use the standard of 3,000 yuan. Nian Minzheng thought for a while and said, There are only three of them. So this standard will do. I have some things to do at home tonight. So I can't get away. So I won't go. I trust you two to do it. Just look at it, and it's all. After that, he reached out and gently patted Yang Ming and Lin Bo on the shoulders to show his trust and encouragement, and then went back to his office. Yang Ming and Lin Bo couldn't say anything more. After all, this standard of 3,000 yuan is enough. Moreover, they can leave work early and go to the restaurant for dinner, which is wonderful. Other colleagues are envious of them when they see that they are valued by the manager. Why didn't they get such a good thing? Chapter 670 Being looked down upon by a little girl. The setting sun gradually approached the horizon, and the glow spread from the horizon, rendering the clouds on the horizon red. At about 4.35, the door of the Zenchichi store was slowly pushed open. A big figure and a small figure walked into the store hand in hand. The one who came was none other than Huang Tao's beloved daughter. Xian Xian. As for Yi Wen, well, deep in his heart, he still cares about her. When Huang Tao saw her, a ripple of joy appeared in his eyes. He smiled and waved to the big and small beauties, Yi Wen. Xian Xian, just when I thought you should come back, you two showed up. When Yi Wen saw Huang Tao, she immediately showed a happy smile. Daddy? Xian Xian was happy and immediately broke free from Yi Wen's hand. Like a bird returning to its nest, she trotted towards Huang Tao's location. Hey! Huang Tao leaned down and opened his arms to greet her. Baby! Daddy? The father and daughter who had reunited after a long separation hugged each other tightly, face to face, extremely happy, and happy smiles were overflowing on their faces. Really happy. We can be together again. Yuan couldn't help but smile at the super warm picture of the father and daughter hugging each other happily. Wang Tao touched Xuan Xuan's little face and asked with concern, How was your day in kindergarten today? Very good. Xian Xian replied, I also learned to fold paper in kindergarten today. I folded a paper airplane and got a little red flower. As she spoke, she lifted her bangs and showed Huang Tao the little red flower on her forehead. My baby can fold paper airplanes now. That's great. Huang Tao nodded and gave her a big kiss on the side of her face as a reward. This made Xian Xian giggle. Yi Wen, who was standing by, praised her. Xuan Xuan's performance today was really great. She is also very clever. When she folded a paper airplane, she learned it right away and made it beautifully. She is the best in the class. Teacher Su even asked her to be a little teacher to teach other children how to fold. Really? Huang Tao said with surprise, My Xian Xian is a little teacher. Can you teach? Yes. Xian Xian nodded vigorously. Yes. I can teach. Cici, Chi Chi, and Hao Hao all don't know how to fold. I taught them how to fold. They like to learn from me. They also said, that they want to learn origami from me in the future. Xian Xian looked helpless. But she couldn't hide her secret joy and pride. Wang Tao was surprised. Really? My baby teaches so well. Xian Xian answered seriously. Of course it's true. At this time, Mimi came running over with a meow meow to welcome its little master back. Then squatted beside the father and daughter. Tilted its head. Looked at them with its eyes. And said, I'll just watch quietly without saying anything. Xian Xian saw it, squatted down, touched its head, and asked with a smile, Mimi, did you miss me? Meow. Under Xuan Xuan's magic claws, Mimi cried out in response. But when Xian Xian heard it, she thought about it. She happily hugged Mimi's cat head and rubbed it again and again. Xian Xian, go wash your hands first. Dad will make you something to eat. Huang Tao touched Xuan Xuan's little head, smiled and reminded her. And then said to Yi Wen, Yi Wen, go sit down for a while. We will have dinner soon. Yi Wen lifted her hair by her ears and smiled gently. You are busy. Don't call me. I can take care of myself. Xian Xian tilted her little head and smiled sweetly at Huang Tao. Dad, I want to eat meat. Huang Tao smiled and nodded. Okay. I know. I know. As he said, he walked into the back kitchen. Old Qian, who was busy in the kitchen smiled and greeted Xian Xian not far away. Xian Xian, are you back? Xian Xian politely greeted, hello. Uncle Qian, oh, you are so good. 
Old Chin smiled and said, You want to eat meat? Right. Uncle will make sweet and sour pork ribs for you. Okay? He has been learning from Huang Tao for two days. Although he is not particularly proficient. The sweet and sour pork ribs he made by himself are not as perfect as Huang Tao's. But he tasted it himself, and it tasted very good. It is not nine points of the essence, but eight points of the essence. With more practice, it will not take long for him to reach the perfect level of his boss. However, as soon as he said this, Xuan Xuan's little face was almost wrinkled into a bun, with a face full of confusion. Old Qian thought she was feeling unwell. He couldn't help but ask in confusion, What's wrong? Xian Xian, don't you want to eat sweet and sour pork ribs? I want to eat. Xian Xian nodded vigorously, then hesitated and said, But, Old Qian was puzzled, But what? But, Xian Xian blinked her beautiful eyes, pursed her lips, and said with gritted teeth, I want to eat what my father made. Old Qian covered his heart and received 10,000 points of critical damage. Is it really okay to be so direct? Give him some face. He is a Shandong cuisine chef, a national first-class chef, and the former head chef of Zawaji. But he was looked down upon by a little girl. Others couldn't help laughing when they heard this. Old Qian, he decided to speed up his learning pace in the next few days. And he must make Huang Tao's nine-point level within three days not eating steamed buns, but also fighting for face. Study hard secretly, and when you finish, you will surprise Xiao Xianxian all at once, and also surprise these colleagues. Dinner is still very lively. Everyone gathered together to enjoy the delicious dishes carefully prepared by Huang Tao. Yi Wen, Xianxian, come and try the Kung Pao chicken, which is a new product just launched at noon. Huang Tao greeted them and put a chopstick of Kung Pao chicken into Xianxian's bowl. It will be a little spicy. If you can't stand it, drink a sip of watermelon bobo smoothie to relieve the spiciness. Hm Xian Xian and Yuan nodded like little chickens. Yuan felt that the color of the Kung Pao chicken was particularly bright and attractive, making people want to eat it just by looking at it, and its fragrance was particularly strong. After adding dried chili peppers, the Kung Pao chicken was particularly fragrant, making people drool at the smell. She couldn't help but pick up a chopstick of Kung Pao chicken and tasted it. The chicken was tender, and the peanuts were crispy. The whole plate was full of dried old chili peppers. But it was red but not spicy. Spicy but not strong. The meat was smooth and crisp. And fresh. Spicy and crispy. Spicy. Salty. And sweet all hit the taste buds in turn. Making people unable to stop. Delicious. Delicious. Xian Xian and Yiwen are not very good at eating spicy food. But they think this spicy taste is acceptable. Then they drink a sip of the icy watermelon bobo smoothie, which is particularly refreshing, especially Xian Xian. She was very happy. After all, eating spicy food and drinking ice drinks that are difficult to drink on weekdays naturally made her very happy. At this time, the door of the store was pushed open. Lao Qin and the rich second generation arrived first. They smiled and greeted, Boss Wang. We are eating. Wang Tao smiled and said, Yes. You sit down first order first, and I will make it for you later. You eat first. We are all old customers. No need to greet us. Lao Qian and the others smiled in understanding, and no longer disturbed Huang Tao's meal, but found a seat to sit down. Scan the code to order first. Wait for Huang Tao and others to finish eating, and then prepare dinner for them. Chapter 671 The Flood Washed Away the Dragon King Temple And I don't recognize any store. Oh! It's past five o'clock. Why don't we find a place to solve our internal problems first? Wei Daqing and a group of friends, who just came back from other places played in the game hall in the mall for an afternoon. They had a lot of fun, but also got tired. He looked at the time and saw that it was almost time for dinner. So he smiled and asked his friends to have dinner. He immediately added, at this time, there must be not many people eating. And those restaurants are not busy. It's a good time to eat. Daqing is right. Let's find a place to eat first. A friend of Wei Daqing nodded and suggested, Oh, by the way, I know a very good new store has opened nearby recently. It is said that the food in this store tastes pretty good. Why don't we go to this store to try it? This friend, named Pan Qinghai, is known as a know-it-all in Wenling City. Basically, he can know what fun and delicious things there are in the city at the first time. But, whether it is fun or not, whether it is delicious or not, that is another matter. In addition, 
He has not been in Wenling for a while. And the restaurant he recommended last time was also a failure. So when he said this, other friends were curious and not optimistic. They all showed a little expression of why don't I believe it. Ah, a new store? What new store? Is it really good? Qinghai. Come on. The restaurant you took us to last time was really rubbish. Not only was the average cost of more than 2,000 yuan per person, but the taste was also surprisingly bad. Not as good as the food stall downstairs in my community. Yes, don't spend money to suffer again. Pan Qinghai. What about trust between people? Am I so untrustworthy? You can question my character. But you can't question my vision. I tell you, this restaurant must be good. This restaurant was on the Wenling Morning News two days ago. And it was also on the Food Full and Delicious Food magazine. Do you know Lin Monli? The editor-in-chief of Food Full and Delicious magazine? She strongly recommended it. Wenling Morning News? Food Full and Delicious Food magazine? What era is it now? Who still reads newspapers? Who still reads magazines? Not to mention food magazines. I haven't read them. I haven't read them. The recommendations of the morning news and food magazines may not be delicious. And do you know if they have topped up their accounts? They must have topped up. Otherwise, why should a newly opened store be published in newspapers and magazines? That's right. Pan Qinghai. He reluctantly used his trump card and said, Hey, let's go. It doesn't matter where we go to eat. Let's go to this store to try it. This ending tone made several friends shudder. While pretending to have goose bumps all over the floor, they also stopped him in a stern voice. Can you talk properly? Do you want to shiver us to death by talking like this so that you can inherit our Huabei? Seeing Pan Qinghai's persistence, Wei Da Qing couldn't help but ask curiously, Qinghai, where is that store? Pan Qinghai smiled and replied, Zhonghua Road. If I remember correctly, it should be number 380. Very close to us. Where are you talking about? Wei Da Qing suddenly felt that the address sounded very familiar and subconsciously thought that he had misheard. Pan Qinghai patiently replied, Zhonghua Road? Wei Da Qing continued to ask, What number did you say just now? Pan Qinghai was puzzled, but also politely responded, Number 380. Wei Da Qing, who got a positive answer, was stunned for a moment, thinking, Oh my god, isn't the store Qinghai mentioned the store I just sold not long ago? He asked again in disbelief. Then, that store, isn't it called Jin Delicious? Yes. Pan Qinghai nodded, and then asked with a look of surprise, Da Qing, you also know this store? Oh my god, it's really like a flood that washed away the Dragon King Temple. And I don't recognize a store. Wei Da Qing suddenly became interested. Let's go. Let's go and take a look. After that, he went straight to Zhonghua Road. Seeing this, Pan Qinghai hurriedly followed. The other people saw that the two of them had left. So they had to follow them. When they arrived near number 380 Zhonghua Road, they saw a lot of people queuing in front of the store. Oh my god, it's not even half past five. There are so many people queuing in front of this store. This store is doing very well. Look, the store is already full of people. What do you think this store does? Why is the business so good? Wei Da Qing was a little surprised when he saw this scene. Although these friends didn't know about this store, he still knew a lot about it. After all, this store was sold from him. In addition, when he passed by here a few days ago, he saw that the store was in the final stage of renovation. I heard from the renovation workers that it would open on the 18th of the first lunar month. So, it has only been four days since the opening. However, in such a short period of time, the business of this store is so good? Oh, that's right. Didn't Pan Qinghai just say that the Wenling Morning News and the Food Full and Food Beauty magazine both published reports on this store? He had heard a little about the Wenling Morning News and the Food Full and Food Beauty Food magazine. It seems that there are still many audiences. It is not surprising that so many customers from this city can come to eat at once. They lined up, and there were not many people lining up at this time. But after a while, many more people came to line up behind. Wei Da Qing remembered the contract he signed with Huang Tao and immediately understood why Huang Tao confidently promised him to pay off the remaining payment within half a year. Seeing how popular the business is, it doesn't seem to be a difficult thing to pay off the remaining 5 million, including principal and interest within half a year. Pan Qinghai did some research. He said with a smile, You guys, when you have nothing to do, read more newspapers. I remember this restaurant mainly serves Zhujiang cuisine. 
and also has boiled cabbage at the state banquet level. Even the former state banquet chef Wei Mingwa praised it for being delicious. And as far as I know, the only restaurant invited by the organizers to the city's food festival last year was this restaurant. And this restaurant also won the most popular booth at that time. Isn't it awesome? Wei Daqing became interested. Tell me more about it. Pan Qinghai told these friends what he had learned in the past few days. Several friends also listened very seriously. They also took out their mobile phones and searched for relevant news. You don't know until you search. And it's true. A group of well-known hotels were overshadowed by a small restaurant. And they were all outshined. It's really out of line. But they happened to be out of town at the time. Otherwise, they would definitely join in the fun. Don't say anything. It's our turn. Come in quickly. You can order whatever you want tonight. I'll treat you this meal. Pan Qinghai said generously, and then walked into the store first. Under the guidance of the waiter, he found a newly vacated table, sat down, and followed the waiter's instructions to scan the code to order food, and greeted enthusiastically, whatever you want to eat, just order it. Others leaned over and looked at the dishes in the ordering system. Oh, there are various flavors of braised rice here. But what's so good about this braised rice? Oh, there is indeed a dish called boiled cabbage, and West Lake Vinegar Fish. But why do we have to make reservations for these two dishes? The pictures are very tempting. But I don't know how they taste. You can only know whether it tastes good after eating it. Otherwise, let's order roast duck, dumpa pork, and honey sauce hot pot. You know, I can't live without meat. Pan Qinghai had a little expression on his face that said I'm not short of money. Since we are here, just order one of each of the other dishes. And try them. Others had no objection. Anyway, they didn't have to pay for it themselves. And they could taste more dishes. Why not? Chapter 672 They will laugh at you for the whole year. Dotching. What's wrong with you? Why do you look so depressed? Yes, if you have something unhappy, tell everyone and make them happy. After Pan Qinghai and others ordered the food, they found that Wei Dotching did not participate in the ordering, but sat alone, looking worried. They couldn't help but make a few jokes. It's okay. What can I be unhappy about? Besides, someone invited me to dinner. I can't wait to be happy. Wei Daqing shook his head, indicating that he was fine. Otherwise, what else can he say? Could he tell them that he looked down on people and thought that the owner of this store was not able to pay off the remaining 5 million in store fees within half a year? It was not a glorious thing in the first place. If they knew it, they would laugh at him for the whole year. So, don't tell him even if you kill me. Not long. Li Qingzhan brought up some of the dishes they ordered and said politely, Hello, this is the three-in-one braised rice. Braised chicken drumstick rice. Braised chicken wing rice. Braised pork rice. Steamed glutinous rice spare ribs. Garlic spare ribs. Steamed spare ribs with black beans. Dompa pork. Honey sauce. And deep-fried fried pork. Please enjoy. Thank you. Pan Qinghai thanked them and looked at the dishes on the table with everyone else. These dishes look great. They are all delicious. The only thing missing is the taste. But looking at the color and the aroma that goes straight into your nose, the taste should not be bad. Right? Sniff, it smells so good. I feel like I can't stand it anymore. This smell makes me feel a little overwhelmed. Oh my god. Qinghai. I suddenly regret it. These braised rices look good and smell so good. They have aroused my appetite. This three-in-one braised rice is mine. Don't fight with me. I want this three-in-one braised rice. The steamed pork ribs with glutinous rice also smells very good. The glutinous rice is soft and tender. And the ribs are soaked in the fragrance of lotus leaves. The glutinous rice is full of the ribs gravy. And it is shiny and shiny. It has the sweetness of the ribs. It looks very appetizing. I'll buy this steamed pork ribs with glutinous rice. In the blink of an eye, all the staple foods were taken. Seeing that his most desired three-in-one braised rice was snatched away, Pan Qinghai rolled his eyes and said with a plan in mind, Don't snatch it. There are still many dishes that have not been served. You all filled your stomachs at once. And you won't be able to eat those dishes later. The others seemed to see through his thoughts and smiled disapprovingly. Don't worry. No matter how many dishes there are, we can eat them. Don't worry about it. That's right. Qinghai. You don't have to worry about it. I tell you. There is no dish we can't eat. As long as the food is delicious. We can finish it in minutes. As he said, one by one he picked up his chopsticks 
and ate the staple food he had snatched. And he was too lazy to pay attention to Pan Qinghai at all. Then, his eyes lit up, and he sped up his eating speed. Pan Qinghai. Okay, I'd better eat more vegetables. He picked up a piece of honey tang and said, This honey tang is a thick slice of him cut on top of the jeansy ham. Are you sure you don't want to eat it? Who said no? They responded with a bulging mouth. And before they finished speaking, they all picked up the honey tang on the plate. It was as fast as lightning. And they picked up all the honey tang in an instant. When Pan Qinghai looked at the plate of honey tang, there was only some soup and lotus seeds left. And he felt mixed emotions. He shouldn't have reminded these animals. Wouldn't it be nice to enjoy a piece of honey tang quietly? Pan Qinghai put the piece of honey tang he had just picked up into his mouth and started eating. While the meat is crispy and glutinous, the taste is sweet and fragrant. The soup is thick, salty and fresh with a strong sweetness. And it is endless aftertaste. The taste is really, ah, better than a living god. It's even better than the honey glazed fire square I had in the hotel before. Pan Qinghai couldn't stop himself and quickly started eating other dishes. Wei Daqing didn't have much appetite at first. But when the aroma rushed into his nose, he suddenly felt a little hungry. In addition, these friends were eating happily and scrambling for food. So his greed was also aroused. And he also stretched out his chopsticks to pick up a piece of dongpa pork and started eating. First, there was a honey-like sweetness, followed by a sauce with the right saltiness. After a light bite, the lean meat was loose and not dry and the fat was soft and not greasy, and the whole taste buds were opened. His eyes lit up. This kind of taste and taste can be said to be the best dompa pork he has eaten this year. Wei Da Qing was shocked. He never expected that such delicious food was made by the young boss, who was about his age. No wonder the business was so good after he took over the store. Just for this delicious food. He deserves to have such a good business. It was so damn delicious. I was a little depressed at first. But? Other friends couldn't help but praise it after eating it. It's so damn delicious. Yes, it's amazing. It's really rare that such an ordinary braised rice can taste like this. I declare that I will come to this restaurant to eat tomorrow. Is there anyone who wants to eat together? You don't have to tell me. We will come to eat tomorrow. The cooking skills of the boss of this restaurant are amazing. This cooking skill is unmatched in the whole Wuling city. I guess it's hard to find a rival in the whole Zhejiang province. Yes. Yes. By the way, what is the name of the boss of this restaurant? I can't remember it for a moment. Is it Huang? Huang Tao. Wei Daqing replied while eating. Several people laughed and said, Daqing, you have a good memory. You remember all this. Wei Daqing smiled bitterly. It's not that I have a good memory. It's that I can't forget it even if I want to. Several people looked at him curiously. Daqing, what do you mean by this? Why do you sound like you know the owner of this store? Can you please remove the words like and seem to? Wei Daqing smiled slightly. I do know the owner of this store. Friends suddenly became interested. What's the situation? Tell me how you know the owner of this store. Okay. Okay. I won't pretend anymore. I'll be honest with you. Actually, this store is mine. What? Yours? Oh. I remember you said you had a store on Zhonghua Road before. So this is it. So you rented this store to Huang Tao? Wei Daqing laughed and said, I didn't rent it. I sold it to him. Fuck. There's such a thing. You must have made a lot of money. Daqing. You finally did something great. Whether brothers can eat the food in this store in the future depends on you. Well done. Daqing. Brothers. You will have to rely on you to eat delicious food in the future. Quick. Send me Mr. Huang's phone number and we chat. I want to add him as a friend and get in touch with him first. This flattery touched Wei Daqing's heart, making him feel a little proud. And the whole person exuded a happy atmosphere. Chapter 673 Such delicious food is totally worth it. With the arrival of the evening rush hour, the store is still full, and the queue in front of the store is getting longer and longer. There are returning customers, and there are also new customers who heard about the delicious food in this store. In short, the role of word of mouth is well reflected at this moment. Little girl, I brought you guests. Have a portion of Kung Pao chicken. Steamed spare ribs with black bean sauce. Squirrel mandarin fish. Longing shrimp. Braised turtle. A large portion of wincy tofu. Shredded eel with meat and fish. Braised meat with dried vegetables. Nine turn large intestine. Plus two large portions of white rice. Eat here. I didn't have Kung Pao chicken at noon. 
so I must have it in the afternoon. Otherwise I'll toss and turn tonight and won't be able to sleep all night. When I was taking a nap and dreaming at noon, there were plates of tempting garlic spare ribs, dompa pork, squirrel mandarin fish, longing shrimp, and other dishes floating in the sky. My wife's face turned into dompa pork. So delicious. Yes. 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 It's not an exaggeration at all. I was in the middle of the night because of. I was delayed by something and didn't come here for dinner. I asked my wife to cook a bowl of noodles when I got home. But I suddenly found that the noodles cooked by my wife were not fragrant at all and a little hard to swallow. I felt that my life was over and I had to rely on the food in this restaurant to support me. Don't talk about you. My eldest grandson has been making a fuss about not wanting to eat breakfast since he came home from dinner last night. He only wanted to eat the food in this restaurant. But there was no breakfast here. After much persuasion and saying that I would buy it for him in the afternoon. He ate a little breakfast and went to school. Now he is still doing his homework at home and waiting for me to pack it up. My little granddaughter is the same. You don't know. My little granddaughter loves the garlic ribs in your store. Since I bought her one yesterday. She has been clamoring for more. She asked me to come over in the afternoon to buy more so that she can eat it after school. So I ran over here to queue up. Girl, give me three servings of garlic ribs to take away. Otherwise, why would they take the trouble to queue up to buy? On the one hand, it's because the evening is more leisurely. On the other hand, it's because after eating the food in the really delicious store, other foods feel like they have lost their souls in an instant. To describe it in four words, it's tasteless. Yang Ming and Lin Bo, who came half an hour earlier and hurriedly came, were also in the queue. While waiting patiently, they also looked at the customers, whose queues were getting longer and longer behind them. They were all a little surprised in their hearts that the business of this store is really good. I originally thought that since I got off work half an hour earlier, there would definitely be some empty seats even though there were customers in the store. Who would have thought? The store was already full. Not to mention the crowd. The queue at the door was very long. About five or six meters long. At this rate, it would be difficult for them to eat here after get off work in the future. Maybe they can't even get a bowl of braised rice. When they thought of this, they felt mixed emotions. If it was any other restaurant, they wouldn't be able to eat there. Anyway, there are so many restaurants. Why bother hanging on this tree? They would just go to other restaurants to eat. After all, customers are the boss. But this restaurant, they couldn't bear to give up every dish and drink in the store. They usually work in the city and stay in the gym on Saturdays and Sundays. If their friends hadn't strongly recommended it and dragged them here, even if they knew there were delicious foods here, it would be difficult for them to go there just for the food. But now it's different. Since they tasted it yesterday, they felt that such delicious food was worth a meal even if they spent some time every day. After all, such delicious food is totally worth it. But if they come here after get off work in the future and really can't eat the really delicious food in the restaurant, then they can only skip the gym on Saturdays and Sundays. Come here early to queue up and buy. Eat enough at one time. And they won't be so greedy. Yes, of course. Even if they can eat it on weekdays, they want to continue eating it on Saturdays and Sundays. Just thinking about it, it happened to be their turn. They walked into the store and went to the empty table under the guidance of the waiter. Lin Bo asked with a smile, Brother Ming, should we make a reservation with the boss first? Or should we eat first and wait until Boss Wang is done? Let's eat first and wait until Boss Wang is done. Yang Ming wanted to talk to Huang Tao about the reservation immediately. But seeing that Huang Tao was busy in the kitchen, he had to wait for a while. Well, mainly because he was worried that by the time he went to talk to Huang Tao, the dishes he wanted to eat would have been ordered by other customers. So he thought it was safe to eat first and then talk. Anyway, the reservation time is the day after tomorrow, which is more than enough time. Lin Bo thought the same thing as him, so he didn't object to his decision. The two sat down in the seats that had just been vacated and scanned the code to order. When the food was served, the two of them enjoyed it happily. Delicious. It's really delicious. How can this boss make every meal so delicious? After eating, the two of them got into the car and waited patiently. A busy night. The evening market is finally over. Lao Qian led the other kitchen assistants to clean up the kitchen. The vegetable washing ants were washing dishes at the automatic dishwasher. Li Qingzhan and other waiters helped to wipe the table and mop the floor. Yang Huira cleaned the counter. Everyone was busy. In the past few days, 
everyone's work performance has been outstanding. It can be said that although the work content of the new store is simple, the workload is still huge. These employees have never complained about being tired. Just working hard. Give them something to eat and they will be happy. It is also a blessing for Huang Tao to have such employees to help him. At this time, the door of the store was pushed open. Someone came in. Huang Tao, who was about to put Xuan Xuan's coat on and take her home, heard the words, glanced at the store entrance and said, let's take a break. Come back tomorrow. Yang Ming smiled and said, boss, we are not here to eat. We are here to order food. Order. Huang Tao looked at him and did not stop putting Xuan Xuan's coat on and said, okay, do you want to order for tomorrow? Yang Ming said without hesitation, the day after tomorrow. Okay, no problem. What dishes do you want to order? And the specific time period for the reservation. You can tell the waiter at the counter. Wang Tao nodded. And then said to Yang Huiru not far away, Huiru, you receive it. Okay. Yang Huiru greeted Yang Ming and Lin Bo with a smile. Walked to the counter and scanned the code to order food. The standard of 3,000 yuan would probably not be enough in other hotels. But in a Zinhachi restaurant, he felt that he could not use it all. There were only three colleagues from the head office. Plus their CEO Nye. There were only four people. Even if he and Lin Bo were together that day, there were only six people. He and Lin Bo looked at the dishes on the screen together. And only two dishes were accepted for reservation, which were boiled cabbage and West Lake vinegar fish. In this restaurant, except for these two reserved dishes, they have basically tasted all other dishes in the restaurant, like Honey Fire Square roast duck, etc. They also ordered a small portion or half a duck and tasted them. Originally, the two of them thought that they would bring their parents to have a big meal on the day of salary payment. Order everything they have never eaten. Unexpectedly, this day came too quickly. This wonderful idea of having a big meal can be realized in advance. And you don't have to pay for it yourself. Don't be too happy. He ordered all the two reserved dishes and all the dishes that can be ordered in the store which is only about 2,000 yuan. The remaining money is more than enough even if you count the yellow croaker noodles, crab fry cakes, and various braised rice. Pay the bill and agree on a time. The two said goodbye to Huang Tao and others, walked out of the store, and then sent a WeChat to Nye Minjung to inform him that the matter had been settled. After receiving the reply, the two went home with a happy mood. Chapter 674 An Important Ceremony Time passed quietly bit by bit and another day passed in a flash. In the blink of an eye, it was Thursday again. This morning, the fog gradually dissipated, and the sky in the east had a little red light. The clouds next to it were also stained with a slight pink. Slowly, the sun poked its head out, which also meant that today was another sunny day. Xian Xian, in the restaurant in the old street of the West City, Wang Tao put a beef-filled pan-fried bun into Xuan Xuan's small bowl tilted his head to smile at her lovingly, and asked softly, after breakfast, Dad will take you to the health center for vaccination, and then send you to school. Okay? At this moment, Wang Tao suddenly felt like the wolf grandmother who coaxed Little Red Riding Hood in the story of Little Red Riding Hood, but there was nothing he could do about it. When he got up this morning, the memo reminder sound in his mobile phone suddenly rang. When he picked up the phone and saw the line of words written on the memo, he remembered belatedly that today was the day for Xuan Xuan's vaccination. And on that vaccination certificate, it also clearly states the appointment time for Xuan Xuan's vaccination. Today, this is related to Xuan Xuan's health. So she has to go. Even if little Xian Xian is extremely reluctant to go, he has to coax her to go. Of course, if Xian Xian is willing to go, that would be the best result. Xian Xian took a bite of the pan fried bun. And when she heard her father say this, she couldn't help but be stunned for a moment, blinking her beautiful big eyes, frowning as if she understood, and asked with a bulging mouth, Daddy, is this vaccination an injection in my arm? She still had some memory of the vaccination. Now thinking back, she was still only afraid and in pain. Yes. Huang Tao nodded and continued with a smile. Xian Xian, you still remember the vaccination. Then after dinner, Dad will take you to get the vaccination. Okay. As long as you get the vaccination, you won't get sick in the future. But there are many kinds of vaccinations. After this one, there will be new vaccines to be taken in the future. In this matter, 
he felt that he should not deceive Xian Xian. And it was necessary to explain it clearly to Xian Xian. After all, when she grows up a little bit, there will be new vaccines to be taken. The vaccination certificate clearly lists the types of vaccines to be taken. The fear of being vaccinated made Xuan Xuan's pretty face look aggrieved. Daddy. The injection hurts. Her face was almost wrinkled into a bun. And her big watery eyes were full of pity. She stretched out her hand and pulled Huang Tao's arm. Begging, Daddy. Can I not get vaccinated? I want to go directly to kindergarten. I don't want to be late. Uh, Xian Xian. Don't worry. Dad has already told Teacher Yi that you have to get vaccinated this morning and will be late to school. Teacher Yi. The teacher also agreed. So you are not late. Huang Tao reached out and hugged her, touched her little head, and gently comforted her. Baby, this vaccination must be taken. Otherwise, you will have to make up for it when you go to elementary school in the future. Daddy tells you that the needle hole for this vaccination is very small, and the auntie who gives the injection will be very gentle. It will be fine in a few seconds, and it won't hurt much. When you were a baby, you didn't cry when you got an injection. And the nurse Annie praised you for being so brave. Promised Daddy. Let's be brave and good children now. Okay. Wang Tao looked at Xian Xian expectantly. Waiting for her response. Xian Xian fell into deep thought. Silent. Just when Huang Tao thought his lobbying would eventually fail. He felt Xian Xian in his arms. Nodding gently and saying him. This made Huang Tao breathe a sigh of relief and secretly wiped his sweat. Oh. It was not easy. Finally. I got Xian Xian to do it. So good. He kissed Xian Xian on her little face. You are really daddy's good baby. Xian Xian looked up. Blinked her big watery eyes. And asked, Daddy. Does it really not hurt? But why did the injection feel so painful before? Wang Tao. Baby. It's because you are afraid. So you feel extra pain? Well. It will hurt a little bit. But it won't hurt much. Wang Tao smiled awkwardly but politely. Baby. Don't worry. When you get the injection later, Dad will tell the nurse to be gentle when giving you the injection. So it won't hurt much. Yeah. This made Xian Xian feel a little safe. And she nodded, indicating that she agreed with her father's approach. Seeing that it was getting late, he thought about going there now. The clinic was about to open. And he was worried that Xian Xian hadn't eaten enough. So he asked with concern, Baby, are you full? Xian Xian nodded, Daddy. I'm full. Wang Tao wiped her mouth with a tissue and picked her up. Okay. Let's go now. He took his school bag and a small water bottle. Carried Xian Xian into the car. And drove to the nearby clinic. After getting off the car. He followed the sign at the door. And took the elevator to the vaccination floor. And then to the vaccination room. Wang Tao asked Xian Xian to sit in the waiting area. And he took the vaccination certificate to the registration desk to register. Fortunately. He came early and there were not many parents waiting. After a while, he took the number of the queue and sat down next to Xian Xian to wait with her. In order to encourage Xian Xian, he said softly, Baby, after the vaccination, Daddy will buy you a lollipop. Okay. Yeah. Xian Xian smiled happily. Just at this time, from the vaccination compartment inside, a scream of awe suddenly came out. Then came a heart-wrenching cry, I don't want the injection. I don't want the injection. I don't want the injection. Ah, it hurts so much. This cry. It was like some acute infectious disease that spread all of a sudden. And several children waiting in the waiting area also started crying, Mom, I don't want the injection. I don't want the injection. I want to go home. Damn. In Huang Tao's heart. There were also 10,000 grass mud horses running through. The mood of other parents was the same. It was all good at first. But after this child made such a fuss. Many parents who had finally calmed their children down instantly lost all their efforts. It also wasted most of Huang Tao's previous efforts. Because of the change in the atmosphere at the scene. The fear that the little girl Xian Xian had just let go of came back again in an instant. She snuggled up to Huang Tao tightly. Her little hand subconsciously grasped Huang Tao's sleeve. And her little face turned a little pale. Fortunately, although the little one was a little panicked, she was still very well behaved and did not cry like other children. Wang Tao quickly reached out and hugged her in his arms and gently comforted her, Xian Xian. Don't be afraid. It's okay. The nurse will be very gentle. She will help you remove the small insects on your body. 
if you are afraid now? Then the small insects will torture your body more unscrupulously. We want to be the bravest child. Don't we? These words gradually made Xian Xian feel a little strength and confidence in her heart. Number 8. What was supposed to come finally came. After hearing his own call, Wang Tao stood up and took Xian Xian to get vaccinated. He gently touched Xuan Xuan's little head, gave her a smile, and cheered her up with his other fists. Baby, you are the bravest child. Yes. It feels like I'm going to complete an important ceremony. Chapter 675. Injections are not scary at all. In the vaccination room, Xian Xian sat on a stool, leaning sideways, watching the doctor in a white coat busy sorting vaccines in the small refrigerator. She listened to the crying sounds coming from the next room from time to time. She pursed her lips tightly, and her body was as tight as if tied up by a rope. But she didn't cry. She faced it bravely like a little soldier ready to sacrifice heroically on the battlefield at any time. The middle-aged female doctor in charge of the vaccination looked at the name on the vaccination book and asked with a smile, Little friend, your name is Huang Jingxian, right? Yeah. Xian Xian blinked and nodded politely. Then let me measure your temperature first. As she said, the middle-aged female doctor picked up the infrared thermometer beside the table and prepared to measure Xian Xian's temperature. This posture, it made Xian Xian's originally nervous mood even more nervous. She grabbed Wang Tao's little hand and couldn't help but use some force. Wang Tao, who felt Xuan Xuan's nervousness, reached out and gently touched her little head and smiled at her lovingly. Don't be afraid. Dr. Ant is just measuring your body temperature. Xian Xian nodded. The middle-aged female doctor held the infrared thermometer in her right hand, gently pulled Xuan Xuan's right ear with her left hand, and gently inserted the temperature measuring head into Xuan Xuan's ear canal, waited for about two seconds. The test results came out. The middle-aged female doctor let go of Xuan Xuan's little ear, checked the temperature displayed on the infrared thermometer, and nodded with satisfaction. Well, very good. The body temperature is normal. She put down the infrared thermometer, picked up the vaccination certificate on the table, looked through it again, and asked Huang Tao a few questions. The questions were relatively procedural. It was nothing more than asking whether Xian Xian had been sick recently, and whether she was in good health. Wang Tao answered all these questions truthfully. After getting a positive answer, the middle-aged female doctor nodded and said, Okay, then you help her roll up her sleeves. Wang Tao asked carefully, Right arm, right? The middle-aged female doctor replied concisely, Yes, okay, thank you. Wang Tao thanked her and leaned over to Xian Xian and said, Baby, daddy will help you take off your coat first. Yeah. Xian Xian nodded obediently, and reached out to zip up her coat. Wang Tao helped her take off her coat. The vaccination room was air-conditioned, so there was no need to worry about the child catching a cold. When he got up this morning, he had made preparations in advance and changed Xian Xian into a looser outfit. So, rolling up her sleeves was not difficult at all. Soon, Xuan Xuan's white and tender little arm was exposed and placed on the vaccination table. The middle-aged female doctor picked up a needle without a needle, skillfully tore open the plastic packaging bag, took it out and pressed the needle, took out the medicine bottle and knocked it. Popped the medicine bottle was opened. The doctor ant sucked with the needle, making a sizzling sound. And then she picked up a cotton swab and dipped it in iodine. This series of actions made Xian Xian more and more nervous. Baby, look at daddy. Wang Tao reached out and turned her little face away, gave her an encouraging smile, and said, Xian Xian, don't be afraid. The doctor is very gentle. And the injection will be very gentle. So it won't hurt. The middle-aged female doctor on the side glanced at Huang Tao and felt that Huang Tao was a really good dad. Unlike her father, who complained of being tired when he was asked to look after the baby and didn't know how to comfort the child when he cried. He just stood there blankly and let the child cry. Alas, they are both dads. Why is there such a big difference? Just at this time, a heart-wrenching cry came from the next room. It hurts. It hurts so much. Wang Tao suddenly felt a flock of crows flying over his head. Uh, it's all his fault that he didn't check the almanac carefully before going out today. Otherwise how could he bump into it by chance? He was so speechless. Xian Xian was attracted by the cry at once. And she looked up at the next room. But it was a pity. Because of the partition blocking her view. She couldn't see anything. Even though she was a little scared. 
She still comforted Wang Tao. Dad, I'm not afraid of pain. I won't cry. Ah, my baby Xian Xian is so sensible and well behaved. At this moment, Wang Tao felt that his heart was about to melt. And he wanted to hug the little cutie Xian Xian and love her well. Little friend, you are the most well behaved child I have ever seen. The female doctor smiled at Xian Xian gently and praised her. Then she took the alcohol cotton and wiped Xuan Xuan's arm and upper arm gently to disinfect it. And said softly, Auntie will be very gentle and fast. Xian Xian nodded and replied politely and quietly, Thank you. Auntie. The middle aged female doctor held Xuan Xuan's arm with one hand and held a syringe with the other hand, pressing the needle against Xuan Xuan's skin. Xuan Xuan's lips were pursed even tighter. Wang Tao squatted down, turned her little face away again, and buried it in his arms to prevent her from seeing the scene. At the moment when the slender needle of the syringe pierced her skin and pierced into the muscle, Wang Tao clearly felt that the little girl Xian Xian trembled. Wang Tao's heart was also tightened. It really hurt Xian Xian. And it hurt in his heart. If possible, he really wanted to bear the pain of such a needle prick for Xian Xian. But deep in his heart, he hoped that she could face it bravely and not fear any blow. This may be the entanglement of being a father. Fortunately, the time for vaccination is very short. And it was completed in the blink of an eye. The middle-aged female doctor pulled out the needle, picked up a cotton swab and pressed it on the broken wound, and said to Huang Tao, You hold a cotton swab, and you can throw it away if there is no bleeding. Oh, you have to stay here for half an hour after the injection. If there is no problem. You can go back directly. Wang Tao breathed a sigh of relief, stretched out his hand to press the cotton swab on Xuan Xuan's arm, and thanked her, Thank you. You're welcome. The middle-aged female doctor shook her head slightly and said with a smile, Your child is very well behaved and brave. She has vaccinated countless children. But it is rare to find a beautiful, cute, well-behaved and sensible child like Xian Xian. Unlike those spoiled children who treat injections as torture. Thank you. Xian Xian put on her coat, thanked Wang Tao, and returned to the waiting area with him. According to the doctor's instructions, she planned to observe for half an hour and leave when everything was okay. Wang Tao held Xian Xian on his lap and kissed her on the forehead. The little girl was so brave just now, so of course she should be rewarded. He asked softly, Baby, did it hurt when you got the injection just now? Xian Xian shook her little head gently. It doesn't hurt anymore. She felt that injections were not scary at all. Just like a mosquito biting her. She will never be afraid of injections again. Chapter 676 Sharing The observation time passed quickly. And Xian Xian did not show any adverse reactions. Then she followed Huang Tao hand in hand and walked towards the gate of the health center. Preparing to go to a nearby convenience store to buy some things before returning to school. That's right. Huang Tao was going to fulfill his promise to Xian Xian. By Xian Xian a lollipop. Xian Xian was so happy to hear the news that she walked with the wind and jumped up and down. From time to time, she walked in front and smiled happily at Huang Tao, then walked back to her father's right side. As soon as the father and daughter walked out of the gate of the health center, they saw many mobile vendors selling food and toys on the sidewalks on both sides of the gate. After all, it was already past 9 o'clock, and there were a lot of people at the health center. The most important thing was that there were no security guards or urban management to drive them away. So the area near the entrance of the health center became the first choice for many mobile vendors to set up stalls. Wow. Xian Xian, a foodie, stretched her neck hard and looked at the snacks on the mobile vendors. Her eyes lit up and she explained, There are so many delicious foods. Dad, look, there are so many food for sale here. Wow. There are also balloons for sale. Wang Tao immediately understood her inner desire from her words and said with a smile, Baby, do you want balloons? Yes. Xian Xian nodded vigorously without thinking and looked at Wang Tao a little embarrassedly. The desire in her eyes was about to overflow. She blinked her watery eyes, smiled sweetly and asked, Dad, will you buy me one? Of course. Wang Tao smiled, but there is a condition. Xian Xian's big eyes were full of puzzlement. What condition? Wang Tao squatted down and turned his face to her. Kiss daddy. That's the condition. Xian Xian agreed happily. She patted her pink little mouth, leaned close to Wang Tao's face, and kissed him. Wang Tao chuckled. Okay. Xian Xian, which shape of balloon do you like? 
Tell the uncle who sells balloons and let him help you get it. A middle-aged man wearing a hat who was selling hydrogen balloons nearby asked with a smile. Yes. Tell uncle which one you want and uncle will get it for you. Xian Xian bit her right index finger and stared at the hydrogen balloons of various shapes for a while. What a pity. There was no Peppa Pig. Her favorite one. Finally. She had no choice but to settle for Mei Yang Yang, uncle. I want this one for Mei Yang Yang. Okay. Uncle will get it for you. The vendor selling hydrogen balloons responded with a smile. And at the same time took off Mei Yang Yang's hydrogen balloon. Handed it to Xian Xian. And reminded her, hold it tightly. Don't let it fly away. Thank you uncle for reminding me. The experienced Xian Xian held one end of the rope in her little hand. Then wrapped it around her wrist a few more times. And then stuffed one end of the rope into the wrapped circle. Although the action was a bit clumsy. She still stuffed it in after her efforts. In this way, there is no need to worry about the hydrogen balloon flying away. This wave of operations surprised the middle-aged man selling hydrogen balloons on the side. And he couldn't help but praise and said, Ah, oh, what a smart child. He had only seen children who didn't hold the balloon tightly and caused it to fly away. But he had never seen a child like Xian Xian who knew how to use the trick. She's really smart. Huang Tao also nodded in agreement. Then scanned the code to pay and continued to walk forward with Xian Xian. When he saw a vendor selling cotton candy, his interest suddenly rose. And he smiled and asked Xian Xian beside him, Baby, there are cotton candy. Do you want to eat cotton candy? What is cotton candy? Xian Xian curiously followed her father and looked at the large cloud-like thing. She, with a little surprise in her big eyes, Dad, can I eat this? Of course you can eat it. Wang Tao smiled and said, It's very sweet. Almost like candy. Do you want to eat it? When she heard the words sweet and candy, Xian Xian felt that it must taste good. And she nodded subconsciously, I want to eat it. Wang Tao smiled and said, Boss, give me a cotton candy. Okay. Please wait a moment. The cotton candy vendor nodded to Huang Tao and his daughter and was stunned when he saw Huang Tao's handsome face. This looks familiar. While rolling the cotton candy skillfully, he couldn't help asking, Are you Mr. Huang from Zenhachi Restaurant? Huang Tao looked at the cotton candy vendor with some doubt. Yes. Do you know me? The cotton candy vendor smiled happily. I know you. I often eat at your restaurant. The braised rice in your restaurant is really delicious. As he said, he handed over the rolled cotton candy with a sincere smile. This is a larger size cotton candy. Your daughter can eat more. I hope your daughter likes it. Xian Xian gave a shy smile and said politely, Thank you, uncle. The cotton candy vendor waved his hand. You're welcome. This is a gift from uncle. They were all small businesses. So Huang Tao naturally couldn't take advantage of this. He looked at the price list in front of the stall and simply scanned the code to pay. The cotton candy vendor had to smile and let him go. Xian Xian took the big cotton candy that looked like a white cloud. And she didn't know how to eat it. She wanted to learn from others and tear a piece of it to eat. No need to do it. Just bite it directly. Wang Tao said hurriedly. The little guy's hands grabbed this and that. And he had already been covered with a lot of bacteria. Xian Xian nodded obediently and took a small bite of the cotton candy directly. The marshmallow was very soft and melted in the mouth. The sweetness instantly filled the taste buds. Xian Xian immediately felt the sweet taste and squinted her eyes with joy. But she had no time to express her feelings and kept eating. Of course, she didn't forget her father beside her. She raised the marshmallow and stretched it in front of Huang Tao. Dad, the marshmallow is really sweet. You should try it too. Huang Tao happily accepted Xuan Xuan's feeding and took a bite. I think this marshmallow is particularly sweet today. He stretched out his hand and rubbed Xuan Xuan's little head. And smiled. It's really sweet. You eat it? He he. Xian Xian happily enjoyed the remaining marshmallows. Wang Tao teased her. Baby, you have already eaten the marshmallow. So we won't buy the lollipop. Right? Ah. Xian Xian looked tangled. She wanted to eat lollipops too. Wang Tao looked at her little face, which was almost wrinkled into a bun, and couldn't help laughing. Okay. Daddy won't tease you anymore. Let's go buy some now. Buy more and then bring them to school to share with the other kids. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Daddy, you are so nice. The kids must be very happy. They must also be envious of her for having such a generous dad. Chapter 677 Technology and Hard Work As noon approached, 
everything on earth seemed to be gilded. The surface of various colors was dyed with a thick orange-yellow color and reflected dazzling brilliance. At 10.30, Nia Minjung and three colleagues from the headquarters, who came from the country of cherry blossoms, finished the meeting. Among these three colleagues from the headquarters, one of them had the same level as Nia Minjung in the company, and the other two were his subordinates. Nia Minjung looked at the time, smiled and said to the colleague in the head of the headquarters in Japanese, Sato-san, it's almost time for dinner now. Please give me a chance to do my duty as a host and take you to taste the delicacies of our Wenling city. I have already made a reservation for the restaurant, and I am waiting for you to come. Sato, who was about 40 years old, knew that Nye Minjung had put in a lot of effort when he heard this. He felt comfortable being respected. He nodded and smiled and said, I haven't tasted the delicacies of Wenling City yet. However, I was lucky enough to taste your state banquet dishes in Diaoyu Island when I was on a business trip to the company in Beiping. The taste of boiled cabbage was really delicious. Nye Minjung Boiled cabbage is a famous state banquet dish. Looking at the whole Wenling City, there are not many hotels that can really make this dish. Moreover, its method and taste are still far from those of Diaoyu Island. This made him a little worried. After all, he never expected that this colleague from the headquarters would actually think about the famous state banquet dish boiled cabbage. By the way, I wonder if the restaurant he asked Yang Ming to book has the famous state banquet dish boiled cabbage. For a moment, Nian Minjun felt that he should have gone to the restaurant with Yang Ming the day before to learn more about it. Now, he was completely in the dark and could not say anything. He subconsciously turned his head and looked at Yang Ming beside him meaningfully. Yang Ming immediately got the meaning of his manager's eyes and nodded slightly without making a sound, indicating that the restaurant he booked had this dish. Nye Minjung understood, and looked at Yang Ming again, as if asking, how does it taste? Yang Ming, who understood, was stunned for a moment. He had never eaten the boiled cabbage in the store, and had no idea how it tasted. But, according to his understanding, people who had eaten this dish all gave it a good review. So, it must taste very good. He nodded again. Nye Minjing smiled and said to Sato, Sato-san, it just so happens that the restaurant I asked Xiaoming to book also has this dish. And it tastes very good. You can enjoy it later. Yang Ming echoed, speaking of which, you and my manager Nye are really in sync. When my manager Nye asked me to make a reservation the day before yesterday, he also specifically asked me to book the boiled cabbage dish. To be honest, although this restaurant has just opened, it has received a lot of good reviews on WeChat Moments and Weibo. The taste is particularly good. And I hope you like it, Mr. Nya. You are really thoughtful. Since you have arranged it, I will obey your order. Sato felt more at ease when he heard this. He felt that Nya Minjung had put a lot of thought into today's meeting and entertaining him. And the smile on his face became more obvious. Since Nya Minjung was so thoughtful, he felt embarrassed to refuse his kindness and nodded in agreement. Then please, Nye Minjung led them to the car. On the way, Yang Ming introduced the Jinchi restaurant and revealed that it was an internet celebrity restaurant. Not only did it have many fans on Weibo, but the people of Wenling City also liked it very much. If you go there a little later, you can't buy the food in the restaurant. If you don't make a reservation one day in advance, you can't order the boiled cabbage on the day. He went on to say, but we don't have to worry about this problem. Lin Bo and I went there the day before yesterday and made a reservation in advance. We can eat it when we go there. These words. Nye Minjung and Sato became curious about this restaurant. Sato was more looking forward to it. Nye Minjung was a little more uneasy. He searched for relevant information about this restaurant in his mind. But the name did sound familiar. But apart from feeling familiar, he didn't know anything about other relevant information. However, since it is a popular internet celebrity restaurant and has opened a chain store, its strength should be quite good. As for the taste, it should be good. That's right. Just don't talk about technology and hard work. Once Yang Ming opened his mouth, he continued to introduce the development of Zinhachi Restaurant. It first became popular in the old street in the west of the city. It participated in the local food festival last year and won awards such as the most popular booth. It was also recognized by the former national banquet chef Wei Mingwa, even Lin Monli, the editor-in-chief of Food All Food and Beauty magazine praised this restaurant and took the initiative to invite this restaurant to their magazine, not only in the last issue, but also opened a separate food column for this restaurant. 
Food All Food and Beauty magazine is famous throughout the country. And Lynn Monley is a national food expert and has appeared in some national food columns. This made Nye Minjung, who had heard of the magazine Food, Food and Beauty, feel a little relieved, but also felt that he was worrying too much. How could the taste of such a restaurant recognized by many authoritative people be bad? After all, the former state banquet chef Wei Mingua and the editor-in-chief Lin of Food, Food and Beauty magazine are not blind, right? Unless it is recharged. Magazines like Food, Food and Beauty may be recharged. But a prestigious chef professional like Wei Mingua will not be recharged and lie against his conscience. Right? That's right. With the blessing of various factors, deep in his heart, he still felt that this restaurant should speak with strength. Sato and others didn't think too much, but nodded in approval, and looked forward to this delicious restaurant they were going to eat later. Not long after, the car stopped in the parking area on the side of Donghua Road, and Yang Ming got out first to lead the way. Sato asked, is it here? Yes. It's in the back half of this street. Just a few steps away. Yang Ming said gently and politely. Yeah. Sato nodded. The driver stayed where he was. And Yang Ming took Nye Minjung and Sato's three colleagues from the headquarters to slowly walk into the small street. The group arrived at the door of the store. Yang Ming stopped, smiled and pointed to the door and said, We're here. This is the store. Sato and the other three looking at the restaurant in front of them. They were a little surprised, but they didn't feel disgusted. The previous chat raised their expectations for the food to be really delicious. Yeah, this may be what the Chinese people call great seclusion in the city. Besides, before the meal time, there were already many people eating in the store. So I knew that this store had some background and the taste would definitely not be bad. I just don't know if this boiled cabbage is really delicious. Nye Minjung. He didn't dislike it, after all, ordinary restaurants can also make delicious dishes. When he traveled with his family before, he had a particularly delicious meal in a food stall. However, he was still a little worried. He was worried that the boiled cabbage made by such a restaurant would taste average. If that was the case, would it be too risky for him to lead people here? Chapter 678 Are these also the signature dishes of this restaurant? Hello, I'm Yang Ming. I made a reservation the night before yesterday. Yang Ming led Nye Minjung and the others into the restaurant and greeted Yang Huiru at the counter. Oh, you're here. Yang Huiru recognized Yang Ming at once, smiled and asked. Table 88. Please sit inside first. Okay. Thank you. After Yang Ming greeted the waiter, he led Sato and the others directly into the restaurant. Then he invited Sato and the others to sit down. After Nye Minjung sat down, he looked at the interior structure of the restaurant. The overall decoration style is quite good and in line with the current trend. But when he saw the small menu on the table, he was still a little confused. Braised pork trotter rice, braised chicken wings rice, braised chicken leg rice, braised pork rice, three in one braised rice. For a moment, he felt that he had mistakenly entered a street snack restaurant. But when he saw the dishes and prices at the back, he felt that they seemed pretty good and at the same time quite upscale. But he felt something was a little strange. Anyway, what kind of restaurant is this? There are street snacks, Jujang cuisine, state banquet cuisine, and other cuisines. It's really weird. Nye Minjing didn't know how to define this restaurant for a moment. Of course, since we are here, we should make the best of it. I just hope that the dishes served are as delicious as Yang Ming said. Otherwise, he would probably lose face here. After Sato sat down, he smiled and said, Mr. Nye, the environment of your restaurant is pretty good. Nia Minjing smiled and replied, Mr. Sato, as long as you like it. Then he said to Sato, Sato-san, thank you for coming here this time. Sato said with a serious face, it's my duty to work for the company. It's not hard. After Yang Ming poured tea for everyone, he saw that they were talking. So he didn't interrupt them. He ran to the kitchen and greeted Huang Tao, Boss Huang. Hello, I'm here. Wang Tao also recognized Yang Ming, smiled knowingly, and asked, Is everyone here? Do you want to serve you now? Yes, everyone is here. Yang Ming gave a positive answer. You can serve the food now. Okay. Wang Tao nodded in understanding and continued to ask, In addition to the dishes ordered the day before yesterday, do you want to order anything else? Yang Ming waved his hand and said, No. I have ordered the staples such as yellow croaker noodles 
and crab fry cakes. But I haven't ordered ice drinks yet. I will ask them what they want to drink and then decide. Okay. Just tell the counter what you want to drink. Wang Tao smiled slightly and responded politely. Then go back to your seat and wait for a while. I will serve you the dishes when it is ready. Sorry for the trouble. After giving instructions, Yang Ming returned to his seat. As soon as he sat down, he said respectfully to Nye Minjung beside him, Mr. Nye, the dishes have been arranged. There are also ice drinks here. I haven't ordered them yet, because I don't know what everyone likes. He then introduced, the watermelon bobo smoothie that has been popular recently is very cool and refreshing. And the watermelon juice is also very sweet. The watermelon juice bobo here is handmade and very chewy. The mung bean paste milk and coconut milk bobo smoothies are also very good. They are relatively fresh and taste very good. He has tasted all of these and recommended them only because they are sure they taste good. As he spoke, he picked up the photos of the menu of ice drinks on the table and showed them to them. It is easier to choose with pictures and facts. After reading them, Nye Minjung, Sato, and others did hesitate for more than 10 seconds. However, men also have a love of beauty. The coconut milk bobo smoothie and mung bean milk are still very attractive. And they are indeed very fresh. The watermelon bobo smoothie looks more impactful and makes people feel refreshed and thirst quenching after drinking a sip. Yang Ming saw their dilemma and quickly added, I couldn't help but order a cup each when I came here last night. The taste is really good. How about I order a cup for each of you to try? Sato thought about it and finally decided, It's a bit too much for each of you. How about a new watermelon bobo smoothie? I want a watermelon bobo smoothie too. Me too. The two colleagues from the headquarters also followed the trend and ordered a cup of watermelon bobo smoothie. Okay. Yang Ming nodded, looked at Nye Minjun on the side, and asked, Mr. Nye, what about you? How about a cup of watermelon bobo smoothie for you too? Nye Minjun, who had difficulty making choices, didn't know which one to choose. Seeing that Sato and the others had chosen watermelon bobo smoothies, he was still hesitating whether to order the same cup. Now Yang Ming said, that he would give him a cup of watermelon bobo smoothie directly. And he nodded in agreement. It saves him from spending a lot of brain cells to worry about what to drink later. Because he knows very well that no matter how much he worries, he still can't make up his mind in the end. It is estimated that he may not be able to decide even after others have finished their meal. It's good to have someone to help make the decision now. Okay, I'll go talk to the waiter then, Yang Ming said with a smile and stood up to go to the counter to find Yang Huiru to order ice drinks. Zenchichi has a good setup in this regard. Customers can buy ice drinks at the big counter while ordering food. And there is also a small counter for customers to queue up and buy ice drinks directly. After all, many customers come for this ice drink. Yang Huiru was making ice drinks for customers, who bought ice drinks alone at the small counter. When she saw Yang Ming coming over and asked him if he wanted to add five cups of watermelon bobo smoothie, she nodded and said she would send it to him later. After thanking the doctor, Yang Ming went back to entertain his colleagues with peace of mind. This greeting made Yang Ming and the other two colleagues from the headquarters feel a little bored. At this moment, various braised dishes were served on the table first, which allowed Nye Min Zheng to temporarily end the slightly awkward chat time with Sato and others. But Sato and three other colleagues from the headquarters looked at the plates of various braised snacks in front of him. There was a hint of curiosity in their small eyes. Sato couldn't help but say, Mr. Nye, are these also the signature dishes of this restaurant? They smell good, but they look very different. Nye Minjung. He didn't know how to answer this question for a while. After all, he had never eaten the food in this restaurant. So he couldn't give a pertinent answer. Ah, if he had known this, he should have come with Yang Ming to have a meal. And he wouldn't be like this now, not knowing anything. Fortunately, his savior mouth came back for Yang Ming. He glanced at Yang Ming. Yang Ming quickly said affirmatively, Mr. Sato, please try it. I will definitely not let you down. As he said that, he handed the disposable gloves to the colleagues present. Sato smelled good, so he stopped asking these useless questions. As for whether it tastes good or not, you will know after you eat it. He put on disposable gloves and said, Okay, I will start eating. Chapter 679 You can't use your own mouth to guess other people's appetite. Please. Hearing this, Nye Minjin smiled and stretched out his hand to make a pleased gesture, politely inviting Sato and the others to eat first. 
but he himself. He didn't mean to pick up his chopsticks immediately. It's not that he doesn't want to eat, but he still has an uneasy string hanging in his heart, fearing that these braised appetizers will not suit the other party's appetite. Well, okay, he admitted. He was mainly worried that he would lose face because of this. So he didn't want to eat at the moment. His eyes were staring straight at Sato and the others, waiting for their reactions after tasting. Yang Ming was the same. Although he felt that the braised food in the store was fragrant and delicious, and people would never get tired of eating it. But this does not mean that the other party will like it. After all, different living environments have shaped people's basic tastes. Some people like salty food, some like spicy food, and some like sweet food. In terms of basic taste, trying all new foods is just an expansion and cannot completely replace the basic taste. Therefore, whether Chinese food is loved by foreigners, from the perspective of the overall population base, only a few people eat it. This applies not only to Chinese food, but also to Western food or food from other parts of the world. Even among the group of people who love to eat, many have to eat because of environmental restrictions. And he felt that what Sato said just now just confirmed this point. Therefore, he could not use his own mouth to guess other people's appetite. However, it cannot be ruled out that the other party has a special hobby for Chinese food. After all, China is a vast country with many food schools. And the tastes vary greatly in China alone. From a probability point of view, he might come across a kind of shiagua food that he likes. For example, Sato is more fond of the dish boiled cabbage. I hope that this boiled cabbage in the store can be liked by Sato. And I also hope that these braised dishes can suit Sato's appetite. Otherwise, after returning, he will definitely be scolded by manager Nya. And he will also lose manager Nya's trust in him and his reuse. He was a little nervous as he watched Sato and others bring a red, trembling, and shiny braised pig strotter to his mouth and took a bite. The next second, Sato almost swallowed his tongue. The pork trotters were cooked to perfection, with a rich marinade flavor that melted in the mouth. The first bite was a bit chewy, and there was no fishy smell. The pork trotters were soft and delicate, soft and delicious, and they fell apart without sticking to the teeth. The tendons were very chewy, fragrant and tender. Very refreshing. After eating one bite, I wanted to eat another one. I never get tired of eating it. Delicious. Sato immediately sat up straight, raised his head suddenly, and couldn't speak clearly, but his eyes didn't leave the braised pig's trotters in his hand. Delicious. Delicious. I have never eaten such delicious food. Thank God for letting me eat such delicious food. The other two colleagues from the headquarters ate quietly, and even the sound of their teeth hitting the pork trotters was all covered in their throats as their mouths closed. Hearing Sato's words and the actions and expressions of the other two colleagues from the headquarters, I knew that the hospitality was right this time. Nia Minjing's hanging heart also fell, and he felt that his face was temporarily saved. I hope the following dishes can still satisfy these three colleagues from the headquarters. Then this reception will be perfect. He glanced at Yang Ming and then turned back. Yang Ming looked at the reactions of Sato and others and understood at once. When he first came to Jinhaochi, and was satisfied with the food. He also had this reaction. With his eyebrows and eyes relaxed and his expression happy. Sure enough, as long as you have eaten the food in Jinhaochi, no one can resist the food in the restaurant. The big stone in his heart fell at once, and he breathed a sigh of relief. After returning, at least, he would not be scolded by General Nye. As for whether he can get the praise of General Nye, it depends on whether the dishes in the future are also liked by Sato and others. Jiang Chihong, a second-generation rich man sitting at the next table, had learned Japanese because he studied in Japan. So when he heard Sato's words, he couldn't help but laugh and said to Sato in Japanese without any politeness, Sir, your god doesn't make such delicious braised food. If you want to thank someone, you should thank Mr. Huang of this store. When Sato heard this, he had to put down the delicious braised pig's trotter temporarily and turned his head to look at the next table and said to Jiang Chihong at the next table. Jiang Chihong smiled, nodded politely, and said, Sorry, this braised pig's trotter is so delicious. I was so excited that I couldn't help it. Jiang Chihong smiled and said, The other delicacies in the store are also very delicious. You will soon experience it. Okay, I think so too. Sato smiled and nodded to Jiang Chihong. And seeing that Nye Minzheng hadn't started eating yet, he smiled and extended his hand to invite him, Mr. Nye. This pig's trotter is delicious, soft and tender, 
and it's not difficult for me to bite it. You try it too. Good. Nye Minjing took a bite of the braised pig's trotter and almost cried with excitement. This taste is so delicious. Just now, when he saw the waiter bring all kinds of braised food to the table, he was moved by the caramel-colored and oily braised food. Now it's really amazing after eating it. This pig's trotter is wrapped in the braised sauce, adding a bit of tempting fragrance. It is loose and not dry when bitten, and it is also very flavorful inside. The salty and fragrant taste just stimulates the freshness of the pig's trotter. It's delicious. His eyebrows and eyes are relaxed, and his mood is particularly happy. He thinks that after this wave of customers are well entertained, he will put Zinchiho restaurant on the list of restaurants he often eats. Well, in fact, he was tempted by this delicious braised pig's trotter. He couldn't help but sigh. The braised pig's trotters in this restaurant are really good. I have eaten so many braised pig's trotters. Except for the braised food restaurant in our hometown many years ago. The braised food in this Zinchiho restaurant today tastes the best. Mister? Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Yang Ming said with a smile. At this moment, the ice drinks and other dishes were brought over by Li Qingzhan and served on the table. Hello. The ice drinks you ordered have been served to you. Please enjoy them slowly. Okay. Thank you. Please serve me the other dishes as well. After thanking and giving instructions, Yang Ming considerately put a straw in the ice drink, handed it to the colleague present, and said with a smile, Sato-san, please try it. Sato didn't think much about it and took a sip of the bright red watermelon bobo smoothie. It was so cool and refreshing, and the sweetness of the watermelon juice lingered in his mouth. He couldn't help but sigh, well, it tastes good. He was in a good mood for the appetizers and lunch at noon. Chapter 680 The hardware conditions are not good enough. Not long after, the other dishes ordered by Yang Ming were also served on the table one after another. Dompa pork, honey fire square, deep fried bell, braised meat with dried vegetables, Ginger walnut and egg. Steamed spare ribs with fermented black beans. Garlic spare ribs. Squirrel mandarin fish. Vegetarian fish flavored eel shreds. Wensi tofu. Longjing shrimp. Braised turtle. Ginger walnut and egg. Meat fish flavored eel shreds. Nine turn large intestine. Braised prawns. Nourishing fish soup. Crab fried rice cake. Yellow croaker noodles. Steamed spare ribs with lotus leaf and glutinous rice and West Lake Vinegar Fish. Looking at these delicious dishes, Sato was shocked and couldn't help but feel a surge in his throat. And at the same time, he was a little curious. Fuhu Lala ordered so many dishes. Did they order all the dishes in the restaurant? Moreover, the portion of each dish is not small. Can they finish it? You know, his two subordinates don't have big appetites. Although they usually claim to be foodies, they are not very hungry when they really eat. As for Nye Minzheng and his subordinate Yang Ming, they are not particularly good eaters just by looking at their physiques. Sato is a straightforward person who can't hide things. He couldn't help but tell Nye Minzheng what he was thinking. Mr. Nye, you are too polite to order so many dishes. However, for just a few of us, isn't it a bit too much? Jiang Jihong at the next table couldn't help but sneer after hearing this. A lot? What a joke. You five or six grown men. Ordering these dishes. Isn't it not a lot at all? Don't ask him how he knows. Just because he has eaten with those rich second generations. Still can't eat enough of which? Although Nye Minjun felt that it was a bit too much. He thought that this was the way to fulfill the hospitality of the host. And said with a smile, Mr. Sato, you have come here with great difficulty. So I will naturally let you taste the best food in the city. And the food in the store is the best food in the city. Mr. Sato, let me tell you. Each of these dishes is the signature dish of the store. Yang Ming echoed and then pointed to the West Lake Vinegar Fish and said, Dishes like West Lake Vinegar Fish and Boiled Cabbage are not sold on the same day and must be reserved a few days in advance. These words made Sato feel comfortable, as if he was being particularly valued and respected. He smiled gentlemanly, Thank you. I'm sorry for your trouble. You're welcome. Sato-san. Nye Minjun smiled and extended his hand to make a gesture of invitation. Please start eating. Okay. Give it a try. Sato had heard a little about the dish of West Lake Vinegar Fish. He picked up the chopsticks and reached for the West Lake Vinegar Fish first. Picking up a piece of fish meat from the cheek. The fish meat separated from the fish body very quickly. Proving that the cooking time was just right. Not too old or raw. Smack and stuffed it into his mouth. 
The fish meat in his mouth was delicious, very tender, and slightly chewy, with a sauce full of vinegar and ginger. It tasted like crab meat. It was incredible. Sato didn't care to talk and picked up the second chopsticks, the third chopsticks, one after another, not caring about the new dishes that came up again, and wanted to eat all the West Lake vinegar fish in one breath. Others also started to eat. They were all amazed after tasting it. Then they were immersed in the deliciousness of West Lake vinegar fish and other delicacies, unable to extricate themselves. At this time, Li Qingzhan carried a kettle and Lin Qiu carried a basin, and they came one after the other. When they came to Yang Ming's table, Lin Qiu Yu smiled and interrupted their meal, reminding them, "Everyone, please make way first. We are going to serve the boiled cabbage." As he said, he put the basin in his hand in the middle of the table. And a shrunken cabbage root was placed vertically in the basin, and Li Qingzhan carried the kettle and began to pour soup into the basin leisurely. The moment the soup was poured, the cabbage in the basin actually bloomed layer by layer, from an inconspicuous cabbage root, it bloomed into a beautiful lotus. I have to say that the extraordinary way this dish appeared was really attractive. Everyone present couldn't help but open their mouths wide, enough to fit an egg. Yang Ming was very excited. The legendary boiled cabbage. It is so famous, and today he finally got the chance to see it. He has been waiting for this day for many days. If it weren't for Sato and the others, he would have wanted to take out his phone to take a picture of this scene, and then post it on WeChat moments to show off, so that his colleagues, relatives, and fitness friends would be envious. Even though Sato had seen the dish boiled cabbage, he was still shocked again at this moment. This is not just a dish; it is completely art. This may be the charm of Chinese cuisine. His two subordinates also think so. Ye Minjung can't help but look forward to this dish. At this moment, Li Qingzhan had stopped pouring the soup, and the soup in the basin was clear and watery, without any oil, and the bottom was clear. It can be said to be bland, but it smelled so good. The elegant fragrance was fragrant. Even Sato, who had strong self-control, almost drooled. That's it. I don't know how this dish tastes. Whether it is as delicious as what he ate on Diaoyu Island, but when I think about the delicious taste of other dishes, it must not be too bad. He picked up a piece of cabbage and put it in his mouth. The fresh and fragrant taste filled his tongue. With a light bite, the cabbage melted into residue, and the meat was tender, delicious. Take another sip of the soup. The aroma is rich, and the soup is rich, delicious, the best in the world. This dish is absolutely amazing. The ordinary cabbage was made to taste like fairy grass, which made people unable to stop eating. Sato felt that the boiled cabbage made by Huang Tao was better than the boiled cabbage he had eaten in Diaoyu Island, and even more delicious. He never expected that such an ordinary restaurant could make food that was far more delicious than they knew. Every dish was amazing. Sato and others, who had been conquered by the food of this restaurant, continued to enjoy the delicious food on this table. Half an hour later, per. When Sato and others burped indecently, they put down their chopsticks with satisfaction and looked at the clean plates in front of them. Instead of thinking that there were too many dishes to eat, they complained about their small stomachs and wanted to eat more. Yan Minjung was the same, although Yang Ming was not as obvious as he was. It was just because he ate a little more times and had better self-control, but his desire to eat was still very obvious. But obviously, it was also because of the poor hardware conditions. There was no other way. Sato said gratefully, "Mr. Nya, thank you for your hospitality. This lunch today is the most delicious food I have ever eaten. Thank you, thank you to Mr. Huang of this restaurant." Nya Minjung, who had both face and money, said happily, "Mr. Sato, you come here. Of course, I will treat you with the most delicious food. If you like, you can come here to eat in the next few days." Well, Mr. Nya, your suggestion is really good. Hearing this. Sato's eyes suddenly lit up like light bulbs. It is really a pleasant thing to be able to eat such delicious food every day. But when I think of, in a few days, he has to go back to the headquarters to work. At this point, it is difficult to have the opportunity to eat such delicious food in a short period of time, and his mood is inexplicably low again. Alas, in fact, he doesn't want to leave. In fact, he wants to stay. It's really delicious to stay. And eat the food in the restaurant. Chapter six eighty one. No one can swallow anyone else. Time passed quietly, and a month passed in a blink of an eye. 
the golden sunlight lazily sprinkled in a building on the edge of the city center. A ray of sunlight shone through the gap of a blind and shone unscrupulously on the conference table and wall of a spacious conference room. Projecting spots of light. This is a conference room at the Wenling headquarters of ELE.E. At this time in the conference room, the employees of the marketing department were sitting on both sides of the conference table, listening to the speech of the regional manager Peng Wenji. That's right. They are in a meeting at this time. The content of the meeting, back and forth, is just this. It's nothing more than letting these marketing department employees get in touch with more new merchants and let these new merchants settle in their ELE.E platform. It's nothing more than wanting those merchants who have already settled in to participate in the various preferential activities launched by their ELE.E platform so as to give customers a better takeaway experience. Alas, it's impossible not to fight. The takeaway platform has now passed the initial bonus period. After this series of fierce battles, only two food delivery platforms still occupy nearly 90% of the market, sharing the world equally and firmly holding the rice bowl of consumers, thus becoming the two leading companies in this food delivery platform market. They are hungry food delivery platform, fortunately becoming one of the leading companies. And the other leading company is the emerging Huangtuan, as the two major food delivery platforms of food delivery machines. Although they support half of the market, they are not like the little blue men and little yellow men that we usually see helping each other. They have been competing with each other for a long time and have had grievances for a long time. The competition between the two has never stopped, and it has become more and more intense. They are eager to kill Huang Tuan, and Huang Tuan is also eager to kill them. As a result, the two food delivery platforms are fighting fiercely. Today, they are eager to launch a coupon activity to give back to new and old customers. Meituan will follow closely and launch a full discount red envelope activity to give back to new and old customers. In this way, those customers will only vote with their feet. Whichever food delivery platform has the greatest discount, they will place an order on that food delivery platform. And the final result is that there is no doubt that the struggle between the two food delivery platforms in the food delivery business will continue and intensify. But no one can kill anyone. No one can swallow anyone. Despite this, but the battle for internet traffic has not ended yet. And it has to continue. They are hungry and must defeat their mortal enemy Huang Tuan and become the industry leader. So for this goal, they must work hard. Find some good merchants to settle in their platform to win over the vast number of consumers and customers. Salesman Ji Xiaotong waited for Peng Wenji to finish his speech. Then smiled and raised his hand to signal, Mr. Peng, there is one thing I don't know whether to say or not. As soon as these words came out, the eyes of other people present suddenly shifted from Peng Wenji to Ji Xiaotong. There was even more curiosity in his eyes. Peng Wenji was the same. He suddenly became interested, sat up straight, raised his right hand slowly in the direction of Ji Xiaotong, and signaled, you say? Ji Xiaotong nodded and said in a factual and reasonable manner, Boss Peng. In fact, many merchants are still quite resistant to our food delivery platform. The main resistance is nothing more than two points. One is that those merchants feel that all the promotional discounts are deducted from them, and there is no profit to be made. Another point is that they feel that the takeout platform deducts too much. So many merchants are not willing to give discounts at all. Peng Wenji, who originally wanted to hear some constructive opinions or suggestions, frowned into a straight line when he heard this, and said with an unhappy face, not willing? If these merchants are unwilling, then let them all get out immediately. Do you really think that our platform will not survive without them? The earth will still turn without anyone, and our platform will still be prosperous without them. Seeing that the manager was angry, others looked at Ji Xiaotong with helpless eyes, and at the same time felt that he should not bring up the matter that was not related to the matter, and hit the manager's gun. Ji Xiaotong was involuntarily silent when he heard this, but he felt that there were some things he still had to say. He hesitated and stammered, but Peng Wenji frowned slightly and asked him patiently, but what but? But? Ji Xiaotong paused, and then continued to persuade him with reason and emotion, but if this continues, it will only make more merchants feel cold, and more and more merchants will terminate their contracts with our food delivery platform. What if Wang Tuan comes to catch them all at that time? Wouldn't we have to give up half of the market that we have worked so hard to win? What he said makes sense, and it is impossible to refute it. Peng Wenji's attitude was no longer tough, but much softer. He asked softly, then what do you think we should do? Wang Tuan is holding promotional activities. 
if we don't have similar promotional activities here. Customers will definitely go to Huangtuan. In that case, our platform will still be finished. When the platform was just in its infancy, in order to seize the takeaway market, the platform gave subsidies to merchants and customers crazily, so that the earliest batch of merchants doing takeaway not only made money by selling food, but also received subsidies from the platform, and the profit could even reach more than 70%. Therefore, the platform also gained a firm foothold in takeaway. When the market stabilized, these merchants were no longer human in the eyes of their platform, not to mention all kinds of exploitation. They would not care whether these merchants could survive or not. Their advice was to add activities. But now, the consumption form of takeaway has become a dining habit for users. Looking at the meager profits, those merchants can only grit their teeth and continue to do takeaway. After all, there is still a little profit to be made. If this continues, even this last little profit will be squeezed out. And it will be a matter of time before the merchant terminates the contract. This is also the worst result. And the result they least want to see. Ji Xiaotong was asked and was unable to answer the question raised by Peng Wenji for a while. Yu Xingji, who was not far from him, smiled and said, Mr. Peng, there is a new restaurant opened in our city recently. The business is very prosperous and the popularity is very high. I think we can sign this store. Peng Wenji has seen many such new stores that are popular as soon as they open. But these new stores basically end up with a lot of thunder and little rain. They are silent. Chapter 682 Exclusive Contract in short, Peng Wenji was not optimistic about Yu Xingji's proposal. He shook his head and said, It is normal for a newly opened store to be popular in the early stage. After all, consumers are herd like. They will go wherever there is excitement. Once the excitement is over, they will return to normal. Even if this store can continue to be popular, what can it do? No matter how popular it is, it is just a store. How much effect can a store have? Faced with this questioning, Yu Xingji just smiled and did not refute it. He took out the information he had prepared in advance and handed it to Peng Wenji, while also talking freely, to be precise. This store is not just a newly opened store, but a branch store. It first became popular in the old street in the west of the city, and has many loyal customers. The main store in the old street in the west of the city has a queue of 500 to 600 customers every day, and the customers in the city also have a queue of hundreds of people every day. This made Peng Wenji's eyes light up, and there was a hint of surprise in his eyes. And he suddenly became interested, Xiao Yu. What is the name of this store? You? Xingji smiled and said, Oh, this restaurant is called Jin Haochi. It was at the food festival held in our city last year. It was the only restaurant that attended the festival. It also won the most popular booth and other major awards. The Food Full and Delicious magazine has recommended it for several issues in a row and has set up a special column for this restaurant. At the beginning of the year, the Wenling Morning News reported on this restaurant in the New Year's Tourism and Food section. A few days ago, the Wenling Morning News and Wenling TV also reported on the opening of a branch of this restaurant. Even the popular First Line star Lu Feifei went to this restaurant to eat. But because she was turned away, it became a hot search. Oh my god! Is this store so awesome? Peng Wenji and other employees in the marketing department almost dropped their jaws on the conference table. Yu Xingji continued, as far as I know, the daily customer flow of this store is about 2,500. Everyone present thought they had misheard and asked subconsciously, how many people did you say? Yu Xingji laughed. 2,500 people. So many. Peng Wenji smacked his lips and asked, this store is in the city. What is the scale? Yu Xingji thought for a while and said, about 180 square meters. Where is the specific location of this store? Number 380 Zhonghua Road. Oh, by the way, what did you say the name of this store was? I didn't hear it clearly just now. It's delicious. This name. Peng Wenji felt that the name of this store sounded so familiar. It seemed that he had heard it somewhere before. But he couldn't remember it for a while. So, he picked up his phone and searched for relevant information. You don't know until you see it. And it's all true. The more Peng Wenji looked at it, the happier he was. The more he looked at it, the better he thought this store was. For him, it was a very good opportunity. Perhaps this opportunity could even defeat Huang Tuan. He looked at Yu Xingji with a happy face and said solemnly, Xiao Yu, the signing of the contract is left to you. You must sign this store for me. By the way, it has to be an exclusive contract. Do you know? 
Yu Xingji nodded. Mr. Peng? I know. Okay. Peng Wenji waved his hand and said, Then go contact the owner of this store now and sign him as soon as possible. It's exclusive. Okay. I'll do it right away. When Yu Xingji stood up and prepared to leave, he was stopped by Peng Wenji, who suddenly remembered, Oh, by the way, Xiao Yu, that Huang Tuan didn't sign a contract with this store. Right? Don't worry. Mr. Peng, I have already investigated this matter. Huang Tuan didn't sign a contract with this store. And so far, he hasn't contacted this store. Okay, then you should do it quickly. Otherwise, there will be more trouble at night. Okay. Yu Xingji hurriedly opened the door and walked out of the meeting room to complete the matters assigned by Peng Wenji. At the same time, Huang Tuan Wenling City Headquarters, like Yeli Dot Wenling Headquarters, was also holding a meeting with its own marketing department employees. The content started with how to get new merchants to settle in their Huang Tuan takeaway platform. At the end, a salesperson mentioned the Jinchi restaurant and its glorious development history. After listening to this, General Manager Wan Shanxi was surprised. Ah, there is such a store? Salesman Xiao Wei nodded and said, General Wan, let me tell you, the reputation of this store is really very good. According to my preliminary understanding, in the past month, more than a hundred anchors have visited the store to check in. After eating, they all praise the delicious food in the store. There are many sharings about the food in this store on Weibo, all of which are praises. In addition, the daily customer flow of this store is super large. About more than 2,000. Every time at mealtime, the queue in front of the store is very long. Wan Shanxi was persuaded at once, but he still had a worry in his heart. That is, whether their mortal enemy Yeli has this store signed a contract with that guy? If Peng Wenji knew that his platform was not even worthy of a name in Wan Shanxin's mouth, he would probably want to spray Wan Shanxin to death with a mouthful of salt soda. Mr. Wan, no, I can guarantee this. Xiao Wei, who had already understood the situation, patted his chest and said with assurance, then thought about it and continued, once this kind of store opens a takeaway service business, the store's turnover will definitely be able to go to a higher level. And if we can sign a contract with this store, then our platform will be able to occupy a larger share in the local takeaway market in Wenling City. And it is possible that it can crush Yeli.E and become the industry leader. Wan Shanxin was even more excited, Xiao Wei. Where is the specific address of this store? 380 Zhonghua Road. No. Wan Shanxin didn't want to wait any longer. Okay. Then you lead the way. We go together. Ah? Xiao Wei was a little surprised. Now. Wan Shanxin has always been resolute in doing things. And he would immediately put it into action. Yes. Now. If it's too late. Our mortal enemy might get it first. After thinking for a while. He said again, Xiao Wei, you ask the legal department to prepare a contract first. Don't fill it in before the divided parts are vacated. Remember, tell the people in the legal department that you want an exclusive contract. Understood. After receiving the order, Xiao Wei hurried to the legal department. While Wan Shanxin was waiting, he searched the internet for information about the Jin Haochi restaurant. It was basically the same as what Xiao Wei said. This restaurant is indeed very popular. The name of this restaurant and related food are on the electronic magazine Food All Food Beauty. A random search on Weibo will reveal a lot of food sharing about this restaurant, all of which are positive reviews. Wenling Morning News also reported on this. The number of comments on the official Weibo account of Jinhaoji Restaurant is comparable to that of popular stars. The comments are basically the kind of comments that friends who find a fellow culinary expert are excited to say that it is really super delicious. There are also many videos about this restaurant on Douyin. Mr. Wan couldn't help but sigh. It's all Douyin's fault. When he has nothing to do, he always recommends the videos of young ladies to him. If he could have seen these videos earlier, he wouldn't have to wait until today to know about it. He attributed all this to Douyin's fault and never mentioned that he usually doesn't like to read newspapers, news, magazines, or Weibo. Of course, he also looked dazed and always felt that it was unreal. By the way, what kind of store is this? Is it really that delicious? Not long after, Xiao Wei got the freshly printed contract from the legal department. Wan Shanxin took a quick look and after finding it okay, he asked Xiao Wei to drive his car and go to the Zinhachi restaurant together. Chapter 683 Discussing Cooperation Matters Time went back a little. Yu Xingji did not dare to delay for a moment. 
As soon as he walked out of the Wenling headquarters building of ELE.E, he drove directly to Huang Tao's store. After leaving the headquarters and passing through six traffic lights, he arrived at the store in less than 20 minutes. When he arrived at the store, he saw that the door was closed and there were employees walking around in the store. So he went straight forward and pushed the door open and walked in. Yan Huiru, who was busy making the ingredients for tonight's ice drinks at the small counter, subconsciously raised her head and looked over when she heard the door open. Seeing Yu Singi coming in, she thought he was here to eat. So, she pursed her lips into a polite arc and said apologetically, I'm sorry. Our store is not open yet. Why don't you come back around 5 o'clock? Or wait in the store for a while? I'm not here to eat. Yu Singji shook his hand and asked, Excuse me, is your boss here? Yes. Yang Hui nodded. But my boss is resting in the cubicle now. What do you want to see him for? Here is my business card. Yu Singji smiled and took out a business card he carried with him and handed it to Yang Huiru. I'm a salesperson from Hungary. I'm here this time. I want to talk to your boss about cooperation. So is it convenient for me to meet your boss? This is related to the future development of the store. Yang Huiru did not dare to neglect it, let alone privately reject the other party's request for cooperation. She smiled and said, Then go sit at the table over there for a while. I'll help you call my boss. Thank you. Yu Singji nodded and thanked him, then sat down at a table close to the counter. Hello. Have a glass of water first. Yang Huira showed her hospitality to the fullest. Before calling her boss, she poured him a glass of water and brought it to his table. Just at this moment, the door of the store was pushed open again. Yang Huira subconsciously turned her head again when she heard the sound and saw two men in suits and leather shoes pushing the door and walking in. She was a little puzzled, but she didn't think much about it. She subconsciously thought that they were customers who came to eat in the store. She looked apologetic and said the same thing as before, Sorry, our store is not open yet. Why don't you come back around 5 o'clock? Or wait in the store for a while? Hello, we are not here to eat. Wan Shanqin smiled and shook his head. After responding politely, he immediately asked directly, Excuse me, is the person in charge of your store here? Ah, are you here to see the boss again? How come these people seem to have made an appointment to come to see the boss in a group? Yang Huiru understood and couldn't help but feel curious, but didn't ask any more questions. She just smiled and responded, Our boss is taking a break. You sit for a while, and I'll go call him. Okay. Thank you. Sorry for the trouble. Wan Shanqin didn't hand over his business card, but chose a table, and sat down with Xiao Wei. Xiao Wei, who was standing by, noticed Yu Xingji sitting near the counter. He was curious about his identity, and couldn't help but whisper to Wan Shanqin. Boss Wan, look at that young man over there. Could he be a salesperson from another food delivery platform? Wan Shanqin glanced at Yu Xingji, who was not far away, and said him softly, but didn't say much. The business of this store has always been very prosperous, and now it has entered the city, and the business is still prosperous every day. The salesmen on their Huangtuan side have noticed it and came to discuss cooperation as soon as possible. There is no reason why other food delivery platforms have not paid attention to this store. Since they have paid attention, they will definitely come to discuss cooperation matters. You too. Please have tea. Yang Huiru did not favor one over the other, and still showed her hospitality. She first served a cup of warm water to Wan Shanqin and Xiao Wei. Thank you. Wan Shanqin and Xiao Wei thanked Yang Huiru and took the teacup from her hand with a smile. You're welcome. You sit for a while. I'll go call our boss now. As she said, she went straight to the compartment lounge. At this time, Wang Tao woke up after a short nap. As soon as he walked out of the lounge, he ran into Yang Huiru who was walking quickly. He asked in confusion, Huiru, what's up? Boss, Yang Huiru smiled and said, two groups of people are looking for you. They are waiting for you in the store now. Oh, I see. Huang Tao looked up at the store. The three people over there stood up at the same time and nodded to Huang Tao with a smile. Huang Tao also nodded to them politely. Please wait a moment. I have something else to do. Don't worry. Boss Huang will be busy first. Wan Shanqin and Yu Xingji waved their hands at the same time. Then they sat down again. Huang Tao washed his face to relieve the tiredness after waking up. And then drank a few sips of Wolfberry Health tea to moisten his dry mouth. Finally, he took the teacup 
and walked towards Wan Shanqin and others. Wan Shanqin and Yu Xingji stood up at the same time again. Especially Yu Xingji. He immediately went over and handed his business card to Huang Tao. And said, Hello, Mr. Wang. I am Yu Xingji. A salesperson of Hungary. You can just call me Xiao Yu. Ah. This guy is really a member of Hungary. When Wan Shanqin and Xiao Wei heard Yu Xingji's self-introduction, they all looked at Yu Xingji, but only glanced at him, and then retracted their gaze without fear. Then, Wan Shanqin took out his business card with a smile and handed it to Huang Tao, also stating his identity. Hello, Mr. Wang. I am the premier of the Wenling region of the Huang group. My name is Wan Shanqin. I am glad that you can meet us in your busy schedule. Wang Tao smiled and said, Mr. Wan, you are too polite. Wang Tao, who probably guessed the purpose of their visit, asked knowingly, what do you want to see me for? Wan Shanqin replied generously, this hungry salesperson came first. Why don't you talk to him first? Mr. Huang, this made Wang Tao look up to Wan Shanqin, thinking that he was a good person. At least he understood the principle of first come first served. And he was still a little graceful. Okay. He sat down at Yu Xingji's table first. Yu Xingji did not beat around the bush and stated his purpose directly. Boss Huang. It's like this. We at ELE.E. Want to sign an exclusive contract with your store. What do you think? Huang Tao blurted out. Take out. Yes. Yu Xingji nodded and said, You see? Your store is very famous. But your customers have always been limited to this area. Moreover, as far as I know, many office workers nearby cannot or are unwilling to run more for various reasons. At noon, they are basically used to ordering takeout. So many potential customers have not been discovered because they are unwilling to run more. If your store joins our ELE.E takeout platform, potential customers like this can be discovered. And your store's business will be more prosperous. Chapter 684 Food That Can Be Controlled by Food Delivery Platforms Huang Tao has thought about cooperating with food delivery platforms. The reason why he has not settled in yet. First, the commission of food delivery platforms is too high. Second, many of the dishes in his store are not suitable for takeout. Of course, if customers insist on taking the food home and don't mind the greatly reduced taste, he will also adhere to the principle of customers are God and turn a blind eye to the wishes of those customers who want to take the food home. However, deep in his heart, he still does not recommend this move. And he hopes that customers will stay in the store for dining. Of course, there are also takeaway dishes that he fully supports. Such as various braised dishes and various braised rice. Even if these dishes are taken home, the overall taste will not be affected too much. There is no problem with cooperation. Huang Tao told Yu Xingji about his concerns and plans but many dishes in my restaurant are not suitable for takeout. So only the various braised dishes and braised rice in the store are available for takeout. And other dishes are not available. Ah, Yu Xingji never expected Huang Tao to have such an idea. At the same time, he also understood that Huang Tao was worried that takeout would affect the taste of the dishes. He smiled and explained to dispel Huang Tao's concerns. Boss Huang, don't worry. Each of our takeout drivers is equipped with a high-quality insulation box. And all dishes will definitely be delivered to every customer who orders with the best taste. Having said that, but the taste will still be affected more or less. If the best taste can be achieved, customers will not choose to dine in. And catering companies will not need to rent such a large store. Besides, many other dishes require extremely complicated and time-consuming processes. And unlike braised food, they can be made in large quantities in advance without affecting their taste. Due to various factors, Wang Tao had to stick to his own opinion and shook his head and said, As for all kinds of braised food and all kinds of braised rice, if you can accept it, we will continue to discuss the following matters. If you can't accept it, let's stop talking about it today. Yu Xingji, this decision is not something that a salesman like him can make. This is really too forcing. Yu Xingji replied helplessly, Boss Huang, I have to ask our leader for instructions on this decision. Wang Tao nodded, Okay. Then you ask for instructions first. We'll talk later. Okay. Thank you for your understanding. Then Boss Huang. Please wait a moment. I'll make a phone call first. Yu Xingji stood up with an apologetic look on his face. Walked out of the store. And went outside to call his leader Peng Wenji. Seeing that Huang Tao and Yu Xingji's negotiation had come to an end. 
Wan Shanqin and Xiao Wei came over and sat down opposite Huang Tao. Boss Huang, is it convenient to talk now? Yes. Huang Tao nodded. But stated in advance, I think you two probably heard some of the conversation between me and Xiao Yu, the salesperson of ELE.E. -E. Wan Shanqin and Xiao Wei nodded at the same time. Wang Tao smiled knowingly. Then I still say that the food provided for takeout in the store is limited to braised food and various braised rice. If you can accept it, Mr. Wan, we will continue to discuss the following matters. This was just his first request. If he didn't agree, then there would be no room for negotiation. Wan Shanqin's brows could not help but slightly frown. He still wanted to fight for it and said with a smile, Boss Wang, the incubator equipped by each takeaway driver of our Huang group will not affect the taste within three kilometers. Only for braised food and other braised rice. Huang Tao still insisted on his own opinion and refused to give in. Wan Shanqin saw Huang Tao's attitude and insisted that he knew that he could not influence Huang Tao's decision. But the current situation is somewhat different from his idea. The main concern is that there are too many choices of dishes, and it is impossible to retain customers for a long time. If you eat braised rice every day, even the most delicious braised rice will get boring. Right? It is a common problem for people to get tired of the old and like the new. And customers are no exception. Therefore, he was a little hesitant. Seeing his boss hesitate, Xiao Wei was afraid that he would miss this opportunity. So he couldn't help but whispered, Boss Wan, I have something to talk to you about. Hearing this, Wan Shanqing glanced at Xiao Wei and understood what he wanted to say. Then looked at Huang Tao and said apologetically, Boss Huang, I have something to do, and I will go out for a while. Okay. Please. Huang Tao stretched out his hand, and made a gesture of invitation. Wan Shanqin and Xiao Wei walked out of the store, and sat down under the eaves at the door of the store. Xiao Wei, if you have anything to say, tell me now. Xiao Wei said, Boss Wan, let me tell you. The braised food and braised rice in this store are very popular. They sell very well and they taste very good. Wan Shanqin subconsciously asked, Have you eaten it? Xiao Wei had eaten the braised rice from Zhenhao restaurant, and he knew the power of this braised rice too well. This kind of braised rice is different from other delicacies, such as yellow croaker noodles. It is quite suitable for takeout, and the taste is almost the same as that of dine-in. It is no exaggeration to say, if the takeaway platform can sign Huang Tao's braised food and braised rice in one fell swoop, it is basically equivalent to occupying the nearby takeaway market, based on his many years of experience. Wang Tao's braised food and braised rice are the only foods that can dominate the takeaway platform. Anyone who has eaten Wang Tao's braised food and braised rice will have no doubts about his views. Therefore, he tried his best to promote the cooperation between his own takeaway platform and Wang Tao. He nodded and said, I've eaten it. It's really delicious. At the food festival last year, this restaurant dominated the entire food festival with its braised food, surpassing all the food produced by hotels. Moreover, the braised rice and braised food in the store are in short supply every day. If we can really sign this store, at least in the area of Zhonghua Road, Elephant can't compete with us at all. Wan Shanqin was still a little hesitant. This, Xiao Wei said earnestly, Mr. Wan, just trust me this time. If we are snatched away by Elephant, we will definitely regret it in the future. Wan Shanqin thought for a while and said, How about this? I will try this braised food first and then make a decision. Xiao Wei nodded and said confidently, Mr. Wan, after you eat it, you will definitely be amazed by the braised food in the store and you will miss it. I dare to guarantee this. Wan Shanqin smiled. Although the braised food is delicious, there is nothing that he will miss after eating it. He doesn't really believe it before entering the store. They glanced at Yu Singji, who was still on the phone not far away. Seeing his frown, it was obvious that the communication with Peng Wenji was not going well. Of course, this is absolutely beneficial to their Huang group. They hope that Yu Singji will continue to negotiate with Peng Wenji on the phone, so that they will have enough time to take down Huang Tao first. Chapter 685 This is impossible. Boss Huang, I have an unwelcome request. I hope you can agree. As soon as she returned to the store, Wan Shanqin said politely. Wang Tao smiled slightly. Let's talk about it first. Wan Shanqin said a little embarrassedly, Can I taste the braised food in your store first? That's it. Wang Tao had no reason to refuse such a small request. He nodded, stood up and said, No problem. You two wait a moment. 
Thank you. Boss Huang. Wan Shanqin thanked him. After a while, Wang Tao brought a few braised foods from the kitchen and placed them on the dining table. She smiled and stretched out her hand to indicate, These are all the braised foods in our store. Please try them. Thank you. Boss Huang. Wan Shanqin put on disposable gloves and reached out to pick up a caramel-colored braised pig's trotter that was still steaming and dripping with marinade on the plate. I have to say that as soon as he started to eat it, he immediately felt how elastic this braised pig's trotter was. It was so chewy, and just looking at the shiny brown-red skin was already very appetizing. Not to mention the rich aroma of braised meat that went straight to his nose. It was really mouth-watering. He couldn't help but open his mouth wide and take a bite of the braised pig's trotter in his hand. With a sizzle sound, a piece of fresh and delicious meat skin hung on his lips. He took a sip and it tasted salty and fragrant. Fragrant but not greasy. It was smooth and tender without a trace of peculiar smell. It was soft and chewy. And really delicious. Super delicious. Moreover, the marinade fully penetrated into every cell of the pig's trotter. Making every bite bring a full taste bud enjoyment. It was unforgettable. Moreover, the trotter was tender and the skin was chewy. Which further satisfied his taste needs and made him feel full of happiness when he ate it. At this moment, he finally understood that what Xiao Wei said was not a lie. The marinated food in this store is really delicious. With these marinated food, Huang Tuan can be fearless and not afraid of being hungry. Thinking of this, he was even more happy. He ate it happily, and from time to time, he made a tis TSK sound of praise. With his mouth full of greasy oil, he ate several kinds of braised food in a row. Seeing Xiao Wei looking at him with a smug expression, you are so impressed by the braised food in this store now. You know how delicious the braised food in this store is. He reacted belatedly, coughed lightly, and said to Huang Tao in front of him with a smile, Boss Huang, we will take out these braised food and braised rice. Okay. Huang Tao nodded, then let's talk about the details. Okay. Boss Huang, before coming, I specially asked the legal department to draft a contract. You can take a look first. Hearing this, Wan Shanqing gave Xiao Wei a look. Xiao Wei took out the pre-prepared contract from his briefcase and put it on Huang Tao's desk. Huang Tao picked up the contract and simply flipped through it. When he saw that the column about the takeout platform's commission rate on the contract was blank, he was stunned and frowned slightly. He subconsciously asked, The platform wants to take a commission? And they want me to get a discount? Huang Tao was resisting in every cell. After all, this was the reason why he had not joined any food delivery platform since he opened his shop. He originally thought that the person in charge of the food delivery platform would take the initiative to come to him and invite him to join. And he would be treated preferentially. Who would have thought that he was overthinking? Moreover, this discount is not included in the proportion of profit sharing. Huang Tuan is really good at doing business. He had heard a long time ago that the commission of this food delivery platform was very high. But he didn't expect it to be so outrageous. It's the rhythm of completely squeezing the merchants dry. Wan Shanqin, however, looked disapproving. After all, these are normal operations. Besides, Wang Tuan is not a charity. How can it be possible to not take any commission? As for the promotion activities, that is also necessary. In this way, customers can be attracted and retained. Wan Shanqin smiled and said, at the beginning, there must be a discount. The main purpose of doing this is to attract more customers. Wang Tao gently pushed the contract back to Wan Shanqin's desk and said firmly, Take this contract back. I can't sign it. Wan Shanqin looked at Huang Tao in disbelief. Boss Wang. Mr. Wan. Let me be honest with you. Whether this takeaway is done or not, it actually doesn't have much impact on my store. Wang Tao looked indifferent and continued, How is the daily business in my store? I believe Mr. Wan should have done some investigation. Otherwise you wouldn't come to invite me to join your Huang Tuan takeaway platform in person. Wan Shanqin nodded. Wang Tao continued. For this takeaway business, I have to buy some more stainless steel buckets, some more stoves, and hire some more people to pack the takeaways. These are all costs. Mr. Wan, what do you think? After deducting these costs, as well as the commission from your platform and the discounts given to customers, how much profit can I get from the takeaway business? Although it is not a loss-making business, the profit is not much. Besides, his famous task has been completed, and it won't be long before the number of customers who favor him will reach 100,000.
The task is just around the corner, and there is no shortage of new customers. Besides, this cooperation was initiated by the other party's boss, and the contract signed is exclusive, which can show that the other party attaches great importance to his store. The reason for signing an exclusive contract with him is nothing more than to compete with competitors for the takeaway market. They want to use his store to compete in the takeaway market, and they want to take his share. Isn't this just treating him as a leak? Huang Tao sneered at this behavior. Boss Huang, the percentage of the commission is not written. Wan Shanqin said with a smile, How about this? You tell me a number you can accept, and I will fill it in for you. No commission. Huang Tao smiled and added, If you want to sign an exclusive contract, there is no problem. But if you want to take a commission from me, that will never work. This made Wan Shanqin's brows furrowed even more. When their Huang group just started, they did provide the most favorable contracts to some restaurants with large traffic. No commission. But at that time, it was to quickly occupy the food delivery market and knock down other food delivery platforms. But since the market has become stable and mature, there are almost no restaurants without commission. Wang Tao suddenly made such a request. And the first thought that popped into his mind was, This is impossible. But he has tasted the taste of various braised food himself. Looking at the whole Wenling city, there is absolutely no other store that serves such delicious braised food, and the whole Zhujiang province may not be able to find a store that can compare with it. In his heart, he knew very well that as long as he signed this store, he would be able to occupy the takeaway market in this area with the braised food and braised rice, and even expand it, thinking and weighing for a moment. Wan Shanxi let go. Okay, then let's do as you wish. Mr. Huang, Chapter 686 Is it really okay to poach employees so blatantly? After the conditions were agreed, Wan Shanxin did not waste a moment and called the legal department to ask them to quickly draft a new contract and send it over. During this period, the communication between Yu Xingji, who was hungry, and his manager Peng Wenji ended in failure. This made his originally high spirits fall to the bottom all of a sudden. At this moment, he walked into the store like an eggplant hit by frost and said to Huang Tao with an apologetic look, Boss Huang, I'm really sorry. This is the rhythm of being rejected. Huang Tao smiled knowingly. I understand. It's okay. Thank you for your understanding. Boss Huang. I won't bother you anymore. After saying that, Yu Xingji shook his head regretfully and turned around helplessly to leave. Wan Shanqin suddenly called him. Young man. Did you find this restaurant? The reason for asking this was mainly because he felt that if this restaurant was found by the young man's immediate superior, then there would be no disagreement. After all, he was the best example. The reason why the other party's leader did not even agree to only sell braised food. It can only mean that he did not know much about this restaurant at all. Of course, he also had a good impression of Yusinji's ability. After all, he could find the extraordinary features of this restaurant. Yusinji? Are you calling me? Hearing the voice, Yusinji turned his head with a little surprise and looked at Shanxi behind Wan. Seeing that Wan Shanxi was also looking at him, he nodded politely while understanding. Of course, he was also very curious in his heart. Curious about why Wan Shanqin asked this question. Just when he was wondering, Wan Shanqin asked with admiration, Young man, what's your name? My name is Yu Xingji. This is my business card. He took out his business card holder, pulled out a business card from it, and handed it to Wan Shanqin. Okay, this is my business card. Wan Shanqin took it, and handed Yu Xingji his own business card. Yu Xingji didn't know until he saw it. He couldn't help but reveal a touch of surprise. He never expected that the person in front of him was the regional general manager of Huang Tuan, although they were in a competitive relationship with Huang Tuan. As the saying goes, don't scold those who apologize, and don't hit those who smile. So, he just politely said hello, boss Wan. Hello. Hello. Wan Shanxi nodded and smiled, Xiao Yu. Are you interested in joining our team and working in our company? Ah? Yu Xingji's eyes instantly jumped into a confused and slightly surprised look. Huang Tao and Xiao Wei were the same. Uh? Is it really okay to poach employees so blatantly? Aren't you afraid that the hungry boss will come to you for this? Wan Shanxi explained, Don't be surprised. The reason why I have such an idea is mainly because I think it's a pity that talents like you are not valued by leaders. I admire your ability and hope you can join our company. What do you think? Are you interested? It must be said that this really touched Yusingi's heart. 
He hesitated, Boss Wan. I. Wan Shanxin continued to ask, Excuse me, how much is your current monthly salary? Yu Singji told the truth, about 15,000. Wow, it's quite high. This also better proves that Yu Singji is quite capable. You should know that the basic salary of a salesperson is not high. If you want to get a high salary, you must rely on business commissions. The fact that Yu Singji can get such a high salary every month also shows that he is a very talented person. If such a person can be used by their Huang group, it will be like adding wings to a tiger. Wan Shanqin, who cherishes talents, is more interested. Xiao Yu, how about this? You come to my company. I will give you a basic salary of 8,000. No probation period. Direct employment. And five insurances and one housing fund. Meal expenses subsidy and transportation subsidy. What do you think? Such generous conditions made Xiao Wei look a little envious. Of course. Wan Shanqin is definitely not partial. As the hero of this time, Xiao Wei will certainly not escape the reward. When Yu Xingji heard about this treatment, he did not hesitate at all. He nodded and agreed, thank you. Mr. Wan, for your appreciation, I am willing to join your company. Okay. I like to deal with straightforward people. Wan Shanqin patted Yu Xingji on the shoulder and reminded him, you must keep my business card. After you go back and complete the resignation procedures, call me and I will arrange the entry procedures for you. Okay. Yu Xingji was excited. Thank you. Mr. Wan. Although he was a little regretful that he failed to sign Huang Tao's store this time. Fortunately, he did not gain nothing this time. At least, he got a better job because of it. It really fits the old saying, fortune and misfortune go hand in hand. However, if Pan Wenji, the general manager of Wenling area of Yeli.e, knew about this, he would definitely be so depressed that he would spit out blood. Then Mr. Wang. Mr. Wang, I will go back first. You guys are busy. Yu Singji happily said goodbye to Wan Shanqin and Huang Tao, and then walked out of the store happily, ready to go back to get his resignation report. Wan Shanqin and Xiao Wei continued to stay in the store, waiting for the new contract to be delivered. About 25 minutes later, as they expected, the new contract was delivered to the store, and then to Huang Tao's hands. Wang Tao carefully read the new contract. After confirming that there were no problems, he and Wan Shanqin signed their names, and stamped their official seals at the signature section of the contract. So far, the cooperation was reached. Wan Shanqin smiled and stretched out his hand, saying, Boss Wang, I will arrange your store after I return. What Wang Tao needs to do now is to determine the daily supply of braised food and braised rice, as well as take out boxes, stainless steel buckets, and large capacity rice cookers. Okay. Wang Tao also stretched out his hand to shake hands, and watched Wan Shanqin and the others leave. Goodbye. I won't see you off. Wan Shanqin and Xiao Wei drove back to the company without delay. As soon as they returned to the company, they arranged for someone to add Huang Tao's store to the Huang Tuan app as soon as possible. After he was done, he called Huang Tao. After Huang Tao received the call, he directly logged into the back end and added the corresponding dishes and prizes on the back end. The dishes were all kinds of braised food and braised rice, that had been agreed upon in advance. The prices were the same as those in the store, and there were no discounts. As for the delivery fee, it was all set by Huang Tuan, and he didn't need to do anything. Chapter 687 sold out in just a short while. The next day, the sun was hanging high in the sky, pouring its heat down on the earth. At 11 a.m., many office workers in the office building near Zhonghua Road were already distracted from work. They all started to slack off. They thought about what delicious food to eat at noon to reward their own internal organs. As for what to eat, everyone had their own ideas. So, many people who wanted to save trouble and convenience chose takeout as always. They all took out their mobile phones and opened their favorite takeout apps. But, all the office workers who opened the Huang Tuan app were immediately attracted by an extremely eye-catching promotional picture. Jin Haochi exclusively supplies braised food and braised rice. The long promotional picture was accompanied by a variety of braised food and braised rice with good color and fragrance. Of course, what attracts everyone's attention is not just the rich and powerful braised food and braised rice, but the three words really delicious. People in the vicinity are not unfamiliar with this store. They have all heard of it. So, even if you have not tasted the food in this store, you know that there is such a store nearby. As for why you haven't tried it, 
There are two reasons. One is that this store is too popular. I heard from other colleagues that it is basically impossible to get in after get off work because the store is already full and the queue at the door is particularly long. You need to wait in line. And the last thing they want to do is to queue up. So when they hear the word queue, they will not queue up for that slim hope and are directly persuaded to give up. The second reason is that they are lazy. Too lazy to go there. And even more lazy to wait in line at the door of the store. But? It would be a lie to say that I don't want to eat at this store at all. Colleagues often share the food of this store. Just looking at the food sharing pictures posted on their moments. Even through the screen. It is very tempting. Every time I see it. I have an urge to try it. I think I will go to the store to taste it again when I have the chance in the future. I waited and waited. And waited until now. Don't say it. Lazy people have their own lazy blessings. They actually waited for the opportunity. And it was the most time-saving and labor-saving type takeaway. This is simply the gospel for the modern lazy cancer patients. However, the next second, when they clicked into the page, they were completely stunned. Oh my God, what's going on? Why are there only braised food and braised rice? Damn, my expectations and excitement are in vain. Huh? Why are the other delicacies in the store not online? Why are there only braised food and braised rice online? Finally, I waited for you. Fortunately, I didn't give up. But why are there only braised food and braised rice? Isn't it said that the yellow croaker noodles and crab fried cakes in this store are also delicious? I thought I opened it the wrong way. I didn't expect that it was not the way I opened it. But there were really only braised food and braised rice. For a moment, I didn't know whether I should be happy or sad. Smart people have already placed orders and are waiting for the Huang Tuan takeaway boy to deliver the food. The person who said this is named Lin Weichyong. He is a fat man weighing nearly 200 pounds. He is usually a homebody and lazy. He basically lives on takeout. In his words, if takeout can solve the problem, why go out to eat? He has always done this. After all, this is his last stubbornness. Until one day, he was dragged by his good friend to eat at Zinhachi restaurant. And all his stubbornness and laziness disappeared. So far, every evening after get off work, he would go to Zinhachi restaurant without any effort just to get a portion of the delicious food in the restaurant. Now, Zenhachi Restaurant has finally launched takeout. It has greatly solved his trouble of not being able to queue up to buy food at noon due to time constraints. Although there are only various braised foods and braised rice, the choice is indeed a bit single. But even so, he is very happy. It's better than having nothing to eat. Besides, if you want to have a big meal, you can go there at night. Lin Weichang ordered a three-in-one braised rice, and a braised pork rice in one go, and then sat leisurely at his workstation, scrolling through the video screen while waiting for the takeaway boy to deliver the braised rice. Just at this moment, a cry of anger mixed with a little helplessness suddenly rang out in the office. Damn! How come it's sold out and off the shelf? As soon as this was said, there was a response. That's right. I hesitated for a little while, thinking whether to order a three-in-one braised rice or a braised rice. Then when I thought about ordering the 3-in-1 braised rice, the 3-in-1 braised rice was sold out. When I hurried to order the braised rice, my goodness, it was all sold out. I hate it most when people give me hope and then smash it. I just saw that there was a braised pig's trotter available. So I immediately placed an order. But when the page turned, I was told that it was sold out. I just wanted to eat a braised pig's trotter to satisfy my craving. But they didn't even give it to me. What the hell did I do wrong? Why do you treat me like this? For a while, there were whales in the office. Such situations were also happening in other offices. Huang Tuan Wen Ling headquarters. Manager's office. Wan Shanqin sat at his desk, looking at the background of the software. The interface he clicked on showed a really delicious store. The number of four kinds of braised food was 500. And the number of five kinds of braised rice was also 500. A total of 4,500. At this time, he kept refreshing the background of the software with a nervous look on his face. I have to say that he hasn't been so nervous for many years. The reason is simple. It all comes from the really delicious store. The main concern is how much Zenhachi can sell in one lunch break on the first day of its launch on the food delivery platform. He has given a lot of publicity to Zenhachi this time. Basically, when you open the app page, you can see the huge banner at the top. The main feature is eye-catching. So that people can see it at a glance. 
and then rely on the influence of Zenhachi to encourage new and old users to place orders. As for how many new and old users can place orders on the first day of listing, it depends on the popularity and influence that Zenhachi has accumulated before. Based on his understanding of Zenhachi, he estimates that about 2,000 copies can be sold in one lunch break. This is his estimate. After all, all the delivery fees of this store are charged to their company. The more users who order food, the more delivery fees their company needs to subsidize. But this amount of money is not a big amount of money for their company. On the contrary, it can prove from the side that the influence of this store is indeed very large, allowing them to occupy the takeaway market in this area. So, spending this little money can allow their company to get such a large takeaway market. For their company, it is simply a big profit. After refreshing many times, at 11 o'clock, the background data changed significantly. The number of each meal, every time it is refreshed, jumps at a terrifying amplitude visible to the naked eye. Every time it can bring him a new surprise, he can't help but let out a hiss exclamation. I don't know how many times it has been refreshed, and the numbers have all turned into zero. He looked at the time in the lower right corner again. Wow, it's only been less than four minutes. Damn, he couldn't help but burst out a national quintessence. A total of 4,500 orders. Sold out in just a short while. This is so. Isn't it a bit exaggerated? He immediately checked the detailed data in the background to see the total number of orders. The total number of orders was slightly less than he expected. Less than 2,000 orders. In other words, on average, each customer ordered two to three dishes. At this moment, all his nervousness and insecurity disappeared, and the stone hanging in his heart fell. In any case, these sales are enough to show that the reputation of this store is beyond doubt. Of course, he will be anxious now. By the way, the number of these braised dishes and braised rice is still too small after all. If there are more, it would be better. But he can't do anything. The number of orders each time is not something he can control. He can only wait and see the situation in the evening. Chapter 688 Just relying on these braised foods and braised rice. Wang Tuan can expand the market of the takeaway platform. In the evening, when the sun sets, the mountains in the distance are covered with the colorful clothes of the sunset and the milk-white clouds on the horizon also become bright red like a fire belt. It is already 5 o'clock, and there is still about half an hour before the end of get-off work. Wanling Huang Tuan Headquarters Manager's Office At this moment, Wan Shanqin also sat at his desk as he did at noon, turned on the computer, and entered the software background. Then, he turned on the refresh background mode again as he did at noon. In the background, the quantity of various braised foods and braised rice in Zinchichi has not been updated, so that the quantity column is all zero. He patiently continued to refresh the background interface. Finally, hard work pays off. At 5.05, the quantity of various braised foods and braised rice in Zinchichi was all updated. The quantity of each braised food and braised rice is still 500 each, a total of 4,500. Almost at the same time, the office workers in the office building near Zhonghua Road just like at noon, have no intention of working at all. One by one, holding their mobile phones, they kept refreshing the Huang Tuan app, seeing that the various braised food and braised rice dishes in the Zinhashi restaurant were in a gray state and could not be ordered. They couldn't help but get anxious. It's already past five o'clock. Why haven't they started serving yet? Yes, yes, it's time to order now. So it should be possible to order. Why is there still no response now? Is it because my internet speed is not strong enough? So it can't be refreshed? It's not that your internet speed is bad. It's that the Jinhao restaurant hasn't supplied it yet. But why do I have a bad feeling that it won't be sold at night? Pfft. Stop talking nonsense. It will definitely be available at night. Don't ask me why I know. Just because my sixth sense is always accurate. Huh? It's out. It's out. It's finally out. Damn. It's finally out after so much anticipation. I have to act quickly. Otherwise it will be gone in a blink of an eye. Ha ha ha. Great. I got it. I finally got two servings of three and one braised rice. I must have not checked the almanac before going out today. So I couldn't get it again and again. Why am I so unlucky? I just eat one serving of braised rice. What's wrong with that? I have a. I don't know whether I should say MMP or not. For a thousand five hundred copies. A full four thousand five hundred copies. 
I didn't even get a braised egg. How can I be so unlucky? It's just braised food and braised rice. Why are you so unlucky? Why? Of course. This is the braised food and braised rice in a really delicious store. Missing it is equivalent to missing out on hundreds of millions. Yes. Yes. If the braised food and braised rice in other stores are gone. We don't feel bad at all. But this is the braised food and braised rice in a really delicious store. I can't live without eating it for a day. Oh. I can only go to the store after get off work to queue up to buy it. I hope I can still buy it by then. Otherwise I will toss and turn tonight. On the other side, Wan Shanqin has been constantly refreshing the software background. Every refresh brought him surprises and refreshed his cognition. Even though he had been mentally prepared. When the number was reset to zero, his heart was still restless for a long time. And his eyes were as big as copper bells. That's right. He was shocked again. He subconsciously glanced at the time in the lower right corner. And this time, it was a little earlier than noon. Not even two minutes. This is simply, so scary. It must be said, that the charm of this braised food and braised rice is much greater than he imagined. He got up quickly. He opened the door of the office, and went straight to the technical department. His arrival naturally aroused the curiosity of the technical department staff. And they all greeted him. Hello. Mr. Wan. How come you have time to come here? He didn't bother to greet him. And directly stated the purpose of his visit. Quick. Check how many app downloads are there in our Woodling area today. Okay. Mr. Wan. I'll check it now. The technician checked it as required. And then exclaimed in disbelief. How can it be so many? It seems that the results are good. Wan Shanxin hurriedly asked. How much? The technician said truthfully. 4156. Wan Shanxin continued to ask. How many are there in normal times? The technician said without hesitation, normally, it's about 300. Huh? Is the difference so big? Normally, there are only about 300 new users downloading. But today there are more than 4,000 new users downloading, which is a tenfold increase. It must be said that the power of this braised food and braised rice far exceeded his expectations. At this moment, he was very glad that he was decisive yesterday and signed Jin Haochi. It turns out that he has a good vision and he really picked up a treasure this time. Just relying on these braised food and braised rice. Huang Tuan can expand the market of the takeaway platform. As for the little request raised by Huang Tao. It is nothing at all. That's right. The supply is still too small. If the amount is a little more. It will be more perfect. I wanted to call Huang Tao immediately to ask if the supply can be increased. But when I thought about this time point. Huang Tao must be busy with the store's evening business and must not have time to talk to him about this issue. He had to give up for the time being. I thought that after 8 o'clock in the evening, when Wang Tao was not busy, he would call Huang Tao again to ask when the supply could be increased. Just thinking of the delicious braised food in Jinhaoqi, he felt a little itchy, thinking that the other delicacies in the store must be delicious. Or, after work, should he go there in person to talk to Mr. Huang and taste the other delicacies in the store? Okay. He admitted that tasting the other delicacies in the store was his real purpose. Just at this time, his WeChat notification sounded. He picked it up and saw that it was from his wife, reminding him to go home on time after get off work. His son is now at home after school, waiting for him to go back and celebrate his birthday together. When he saw this message, he realized what day it was today. It was his son's birthday. He had promised his son a few days ago that he would go back to have dinner with him and celebrate his birthday with him on his birthday. Look at him. He was so busy that he almost forgot his son's birthday. Fortunately, his wife sent a message to remind him. Well, going to Mr. Huang's restaurant for dinner can only be postponed. When I have time in the future, I will bring my son and wife to the restaurant and let them taste the food here. He went back to the office to pack up and drove home. Chapter 689 The final result can only be closing down. Time flies by like a white horse. In the blink of an eye, three days have passed quietly, which also means that a new day has arrived. This day, Huang Tao's supply on the Huang Tuan takeaway platform has also improved qualitatively. From the original 4,500 servings per meal, it has increased to a total of 8,000 servings. This also made Wan Shanqin, who has been concerned about this matter, finally relieved a little. Of course, after observing these days, he would not worry that Huang Tao's supply of nearly two-thirds of each meal would not be sold out. If it is as he expected, 
it will definitely be in short supply. But at present, these quantities are almost Huang Tao's limit. So he is embarrassed to urge Huang Tao to make more. Sell it first. And then when the staff and equipment in Huang Tao's store catch up, it is not impossible to increase the supply slightly. At this moment, he was sitting in front of the computer in a happy mood, wondering how long it would take to sell out these 8,000 portions when the market opens. While achieving another success, can he refresh the new round of sales time? But, his nemesis, Peng Wenji, the regional manager of Wenling, was quite surprised and depressed at the same time. That's right. This surprise and depression all came from Huang Tuan, because he had already known about this matter not long ago. Braised food. Braised food rice? What braised food? Braised food rice? Peng Wenji listened to the report of his employee Ji Xiaotong, with a look of surprise and confusion on his face. After listening to the whole report, he asked in a depressed and puzzled manner, It's really delicious? Why does this store sound so familiar? It felt like I had heard of it somewhere before. But I couldn't remember where I had heard of it for a moment. Mr. Peng, it's natural that you feel familiar with it. Ji Xiaong smiled and reminded, This is really delicious. It's the restaurant that Yu Singji suggested you sign an exclusive contract with a few days ago. Oh, it turns out to be that restaurant. No wonder it sounds so familiar to me. After Ji Xiaodong's reminder, Peng Wenji suddenly remembered it. It's just that Yu Singji called and said that the restaurant only provided braised food and braised rice. So he didn't agree. In addition, he had something else to do at the time. So he didn't continue to pay attention to it. Who would have thought? Huang Tuan actually signed it. It was also an exclusive contract. He hurriedly opened the Huang Tuan app to check the situation. As soon as he opened the Huang Tuan app, a pop-up window of this store popped up. That's right. Huang Tuan's regional manager has made new moves again, making the promotion even bigger. As long as you open Huang Tuan's app, users in Wenling will instantly receive this pop-up window. I have to say that this publicity is really strong. It seems that Huang Tuan attaches great importance to this store. Peng Wenji suppressed his surprise and continued to click on the really delicious store. You don't know until you see it. The food provided on the takeaway platform is really only braised food and braised rice. These products can really... Ji Xiaong thought about it and said, Mr. Wan, as far as I know, this store currently provides a total of 8,000 meals per meal. Ah, so many. Peng Wenji was surprised. By the way, with such a large amount per meal, can it be sold out? Ji Xiaong, who was standing by, seemed to understand his thoughts and said with a smile, Not much. Not much at all. Not enough to sell. Not enough to sell? Peng Wenji had an unbelievable expression on his face. As if to say I have little education. Please don't frame me. Are you sure you are not kidding me? It is indeed not enough to sell. Ji Xiaong nodded and said seriously, Mr. Peng, you don't know that these 8,000 portions are really not a lot at all. It will only take a few minutes at most. They can be sold out in about five minutes. Ah? Sold out in five minutes? Peng Wenji looked dazed, and always felt that Ji Xiaodong's words were a bit exaggerated. But he had no evidence. Of course, he also had his own way to verify Ji Xiaodong's words. So, he glanced at the time, and saw that it was almost 11 o'clock. It was quite a coincidence that this time point was just right for him to verify it himself. He waited patiently, waiting and waiting. At about 11.09, he finally waited until the store resumed business. He refreshed the page leisurely. Then the next second, the page refreshed. He was also dumbfounded. Braised pig's trotters. Available for sale. Zero. Braised chicken legs. Available for sale. Zero. Braised chicken wings. Available for sale. Zero. Braised meat. Available for sale. Zero. Three in one braised rice. Available for sale. Zero. Braised meat rice. Available for sale. Zero. Braised chicken leg rice. Available for sale. Zero. Braised chicken wing rice. Available for sale. Zero. All zero. Did he refresh it for nothing? By the way, what on earth is going on? Or did he just see it wrong? Big question marks instantly appeared in Peng Wenji's mind. He quickly refreshed the page again. But the result was still the same. All zero. He was stunned for a few seconds. With a look of disbelief on his face. Then, after realizing it belatedly, he realized that he seemed to have really missed something. Ji Xiaotong understood everything as soon as he saw the expression of his boss. His boss was shocked. 
Don't ask him why he knew. The answer is that he had experienced it and had the same expression before. That's it. Having missed this store and the opportunity to visit Hungary. Did his boss regret his original decision? To be honest, Peng Wenji was so regretful at this moment. Alas, there was once a good opportunity in front of him. But he didn't cherish it. When he arrived in the city, he regretted it. This is the greatest tragedy in life. If God gave him another chance, he would say three words to the boss. That is, I agree. Qian Rong has been a little annoyed recently. A little annoyed? A little annoyed? And always felt that the business was getting worse day by day. He opened a gym in the city. The business was good before. But after this period of time, he found that the business in the store suddenly became worse. There was no sign. All the fitness customers who used to come to the gym every weekend did not come. It was as if they had made an appointment in advance. And those fitness customers who came to the gym at night did not come either. And they all disappeared out of thin air. So that during this period of time, there were only a few people who came to the gym every day. Add up all the people in the whole day. And you can count them on ten fingers. If it continues like this, the final result of his gym can only be closing down. This result is what he least wants to see. After all, he had spent a lot of time and money on this gym. And he didn't want it all to go to waste. But until now, he still didn't know what went wrong. Chapter 690 How about we take them to indulge together? Qian Rong looked at the empty fitness area with a frown. Thinking over it, he couldn't just sit there and wait for death. Watching the gym, he had worked hard to run for most of his life go down like this. Even if he had to close down in the end, he had to know how he died. Right? So, he decided. He planned to call one of the oldest and most loyal members to ask about the situation. It's better to act than to think. He immediately called Jiang Lin Wei. As soon as the call was connected, he smiled and said, Hey, Brother Jiang, what have you been busy with on weekends recently? I haven't seen you come to the gym to work out on weekends for a long time. In the past, you were the most active in working out on weekends. Jiang Linwei was quite surprised when he received the call. He didn't expect Qian Rong, the boss of the gym, to call him and ask about his recent situation. He hasn't been busy with anything recently. Either he was eating at Jinhaochi or on his way to Jinhaochi. And the biggest reason why he didn't go to the gym recently was precisely because of this. Of course, he wouldn't tell Qian Rong about this directly. He wouldn't tell him that he didn't go to the gym because he couldn't control his mouth. He said with a guilty conscience, I'm really busy recently and don't have time to go. Oh, so that's the case. Qian Rong couldn't get a clear answer. So he had to politely say, then come and work out when you have time. I'm having an event here. All members of our store can take two free private lessons. Since you're an old member, I'll give you three more private lessons. Seeing that it was almost time to get off work, Jiang Linwei, whose heart had already drifted to the Zinhachi restaurant, just wanted to end the call quickly so that he could go to the restaurant to eat immediately. He politely responded, Okay, I got it. Thank you, Boss Qian. Then I'll go there another day when I have time. I have something else to do now. So I won't talk to you for now. Okay, then I'll wait for you. Before Qian Rong finished speaking, he heard a beep beep sound from the phone. And he hung up the phone helplessly. In short, this call did not get any useful information at all. He had to continue calling other old members. But the result? Still nothing. He didn't continue calling other old members. And quietly opened the fitness group to go to the lively group. Recently, no one has chatted. This series of changes. He was completely confused and worried. He muttered to himself in confusion, Why is this happening? Why don't these customers come to the gym? What went wrong? His words were heard by Jean Joa, a personal trainer not far away. He immediately came over, Boss, I can probably guess why those customers don't come to the gym. Qian Rong said anxiously, Tell me. Jean Joa said truthfully, It's like this. There is a member in our gym who lives in the same community and on the same floor as me. I have a good relationship with him on weekdays. These days I have been asking him why he doesn't come to our gym to exercise. At the beginning, he was unwilling to tell me no matter what. I persevered and sent him WeChat every day to ask him. Until just now, he was moved by my spirit and told me. He paused. She and Rong saw this and became even more anxious. Urging, let's get down to business. Get down to business. Well, the reason why they haven't come to the gym recently is because they all went out to eat delicious food. 
What? Going out to eat delicious food? Xi and Rome almost thought there was something wrong with his ears, and he misheard. Jean Jiuwa nodded and said, Yes. They go to a store to eat after get off work every day. Xi and Rome's face turned into a question mark in an instant. What does eating have to do with fitness? Don't they take a break on weekends? Even if they have to work overtime on weekends. They can't work overtime every week. Right? And after get off work and dinner. Don't they still have time to come here? Do they have to work overtime at night? It's not about overtime. Jean Jiuwa shook his head. The business of that store is very good. Every time they go there to eat. It's already very late. And then they don't have time to come to the gym. On weekends, they finally get a break. But in order to eat other dishes in the store, they go to the store early to wait. After lunch, they miss dinner again. In order to continue to eat delicious dishes, they squat near the store to avoid missing it if they go too late. Are these still the fitness experts he knows? For a bite of food? They are so crazy. He was dazed and always felt incredible. After all, they are fitness people. They are very self-disciplined. And they can control their mouths. Then the question is, what kind of store could have attracted all his customers? He asked in confusion, where is that store? What's its name? Jean Jiuwa replied, it seems to be called Zenchichi. I just checked it out. It seems to be on Zhonghua Road. About two kilometers away from us. Zenchichi? It sounds so familiar. He didn't have time to think about it. And hurriedly said, let's go to that store to have a look. Okay. As soon as the two of them went out, they headed straight for Zhonghua Road. They ran for more than 10 minutes. They reached their destination and saw a line of people outside the store. Boss, look, Zenchichi, that's the one we're looking for. Jean Zhoua pointed to the sign and then saw Jian Linwei in the line of people at the store door. Boss, look, is that Jian Linwei? Yes, that's him. Qian Rong also recognized him. And he followed Jean Zhoua and walked over quickly. Brother Jian, eh? Who called me? Jian Linwei thought the voice sounded familiar. He turned his head subconsciously. And then the next second, Jian Linwei was trembling, almost wanting to leave first, and used his own vivid image to perfectly interpret what it means for high school students to play with their mobile phones during self-study classes. When he turned his head, he saw his head teacher standing at the back window and peeping, and high school lovers walking hand in hand on the tree-lined path of the campus but he ran into the spiritual journey of the dean of teaching on the spot. He stammered, Qian, boss, brother Jiang, what a coincidence. Qian Rong asked with a smile, are you eating here? Hmm. Jian Linwei felt uncomfortable all over. If he had known earlier, he should not have turned his head and pretended not to know him. And many of his fitness friends in front and behind him were also uncomfortable at this moment and hurriedly turned their heads to one side leaving Qian Rong and the other two with eye-catching backs of their heads. Eh? Why does this back of the head look so familiar? Is it you? Sure wrong? Hey, Brother Han. You are here too. Brother Yang Ming and Brother Lin Bo. You are here too. Jin Zhou recognized several people at once. After being recognized, they were too embarrassed to pretend that I didn't see them. So they had to smile awkwardly but politely and greeted me. Oh, Coach Zhou. What a coincidence. Xi and Ron looked at their chubby faces and said sadly, You haven't come to the gym for a long time. We, are we busy? They smiled awkwardly, When we have time, we will definitely go. Is this what you call busy? Xi and Ron shook his head helplessly, trying to save these self-degrading customers by persuading them with reason and emotion, you don't know. During the time you didn't come to the gym, I looked at the fitness equipment you used every day and I would think of the good times we had when we lifted weights and sweated together. Although I know very well that you old friends, who have been with me for many years will eventually leave me. But I never thought that this day would come so soon. Boss Qian, Jian Linwei, and others also felt sad. I know I shouldn't say this. Qian Rong waved his hands helplessly, trying to squeeze out a smile. Okay, let's not talk about this. You guys continue to queue up. I won't bother you. As he said this, he looked at Jian Linwei and the others with his sad eyes, sighed, and then turned around and left with Jin Zhouhua. Jian Linwei and others watched Qian Rong and the other man leave with a dejected look on their faces. They didn't know what to feel for a moment. The beautiful and happy times when they lifted weights together flashed through their minds like a slideshow. 
they subconsciously touched their abdominal muscles under their clothes. They had to admit that they were indeed a little loose. Jiang Linwei bit his lips slightly and made up his mind. No. I can't continue to indulge myself like this. Otherwise, all my years of persistence will go to waste. Lin Bo couldn't help but say, but don't you think indulgence really makes people happy? It makes sense, and it's hard to refute. Others nodded in agreement. Jiang Linwei also hesitated. Then what do you think Boss Qian and Coach Jean should do? How about this? Lin Bo smiled. How about we take them to indulge together? I have to admit that this idea is really good. They all agreed with both hands. Okay. So happily decided. Jiang Linwei hurriedly shouted at the backs of Qian Rong and Jin Zhou Hua. Boss Qian. Coach Jean. You two don't leave yet. My god. Are these guys finally going to wake up? Are they finally going to return to the world of weightlifting? At this moment, Qian Rong and Jin Zhou Hua's drooping bitter faces were instantly replaced by a relieved smile. And their eyes were a little wet. They both walked over quickly. However, Jian Li Wei and his men grabbed their wrists and pushed them to the back of the queue without explanation, saying, Boss Jian, Coach Jin, since you are here, eat first. Qian Rong, Jin Zhou Hua. Chapter 691 Confession Time passed quickly with the restaurant's booming business. In the blink of an eye, two months had passed. During this period, with the vigorous promotion of the Huangtuan takeaway platform, more and more people knew that there was such a gourmet restaurant in the city center. Therefore, whether it was the business on the takeaway platform or the business in the Zinhashi restaurant, it was getting more and more popular than before. Wang Tao completed the task of becoming famous early and received generous rewards. The generous rewards were a Buddha jumps over the wall recipe and the amazing God's tongue skill. At the same time, he also made a lot of money and paid off the 5 million yuan owed to Wei Daqing for the purchase of the store and the required interest in advance. So that he finally felt the sense of security of being debt free. Xian Xian, dad is done. We should go home. Wang Tao took off his chef's uniform, smiled and came to the exclusive dining chair, and gently touched Xuan Xuan's little head. Xian Xian raised her head and said with a smile, Dad, I don't want to go home now. I want to go to the park to play. Now, Wang Tao felt that it was a little late and hesitated for a moment. Yuan smiled gently and helped, Wang Tao. Tomorrow is Saturday. Xian Xian doesn't go to school. Why don't you take her to the nearby Lake Center Park? There are slides and other recreational projects there. Xian Xian can play. And we can also go there for a walk. Okay. Then we will go to the Lake Center Park. Wang Tao nodded in agreement and picked up Xian Xian. Xian Xian, who heard the news, said with joy, Thank you, Teacher Yi. Thank you, Dad. You are so nice. As she said that, she kissed Huang Tao on the face. You? You? Huang Tao doted on her nose. The distance between Huxin Park and Zhonghua Road is only more than one kilometer. So it only takes a few minutes to drive there. Huang Tao found a parking space and parked the car. And got off with Xian Xian and Yi Wen. Huxin Park is one of the largest parks in Wenling City. It is adjacent to the bustling commercial district. So many people come here to run and walk at night. It is also one of the favorite dating places for couples. It was almost 9 o'clock at this moment. The old men and women who like to dance square dances and night runners have all dispersed. So the most seen in the park at this time are still couples. As soon as Xian Xian landed, her little hand naturally held Wang Tao and Yi Wen's hands and walked on the cobblestone path. Wang Tao and Yi Wen both looked at the jumping little cutie Xian Xian with loving eyes. And a faint doting smile appeared at the corners of their mouths. When they raised their eyes, the two of them looked at each other. In each of their eyes, there was a gentle smile and unobtrusive love. Daddy, Teacher Yi, look, there's a slide. Xuan Xuan's joyful shout forced the two of them to retract their affectionate eyes. Wang Tao leaned over, touched Xuan Xuan's little head, and reminded her, go play. Be careful. Daddy and Teacher Yi are watching you here. Yeah. Xian Xian nodded obediently, and then ran to the slide. Let's go play. Wang Tao and Yiwen sat side by side on a lounge chair, their eyes always following Xuan Xuan's figure. Big brother. Big sister. Suddenly, a figure rushed out, blocking the sight of Wang Tao and Yiwen, making them both stunned. It turned out to be a little girl carrying a flower basket and selling flowers. She held up the roses in her hand, stared at Wang Tao with her bright eyes and said, Big brother, 
Your girlfriend is so beautiful. Buy her a rose. Wang Tao turned his head to look at Yi Wen. Under the dim light, he could still vaguely see Yi Wen's pretty face and earlobes, which had turned red. He smiled gently and asked immediately, How much is one? Very cheap. The little girl selling flowers was very experienced in doing business. One rose is 10 yuan. And a bunch of 11 roses is only 100 yuan. Which means that you are wholeheartedly devoted to your girlfriend. Wang Tao took out his mobile phone and scanned the code to pay while saying, Then give me a bunch. Thank you. Big brother. The little girl selling flowers was very happy. You are so good to your girlfriend. I will pick the best one for you. As she said, she picked out a bunch of roses from the basket and handed it to Huang Tao. And then left. Yi Wen looked at this scene in disbelief. Always feeling that it was not real. Until Huang Tao handed the roses in his hand to her. She really felt that it was all true. And that this bouquet of flowers was really bought for her. So could she understand that Huang Tao was acknowledging her girlfriend's identity in disguise? Or, he just had to buy it because of the flower girl sales pitch and was afraid of losing face? However, looking at Huang Tao's expression, it shouldn't be. Besides, he is not that kind of person. Huang Tao saw that Yiwen was stunned and didn't reach out to take it. So he smiled and asked jokingly, Why? Don't you like it? How could she not like it? She likes it so much. I like it. Her pretty face blushed. And she quickly reached out to take the bouquet of roses. With a shallow dimple on her cheek, thank you. She lowered her head and smelled the bouquet. And felt that this bouquet of roses was particularly fragrant. Hmm. Should I take this opportunity to confess directly? After all, the atmosphere is right. But shouldn't boys confess first when it comes to confession? But there is no explicit rule that boys must confess. And girls can't. So, since you love him, then tell him bravely. Because happiness depends on your own efforts. So, take the initiative. Yi Wen, you can do it. She thought for a while. Turned her head and looked at Huang Tao. There is something I want to ask you. Hearing Yi Wen's words, Wang Tao turned his head with a curious look in his eyes. Yi Wen stared into his eyes and said seriously, I've wanted to ask you for a long time, but I never said it before. I think now is the time. This made Wang Tao realize something, and his breathing suddenly stopped. Yi Wen smiled shyly, reached out, and held Wang Tao's bony hand, and said, Wang Tao, are you willing to be my boyfriend? This was the first time she officially confessed to Wang Tao. It was also the first time she confessed to a boy in her life. Wang Tao felt Yi Wen's trembling hand and looked at her firm and expectant eyes. Little fool, is there any need to ask this? This bouquet of roses, which represents the single-minded love for his girlfriend, has already explained everything. Why don't you understand? Okay, don't you just want a definite answer from him? He answered. This time, he didn't avoid or hide his feelings anymore, because that would be unfair to both Yi Wen and him. He nodded, I do. I do. Yi Wen's lips curled up with a sweet arc. She happily grabbed Huang Tao's hand. And her heart couldn't calm down for a long time. Huang Tao whispered, thank you. Huh? Why do you say thank you? Yi Wen was puzzled. Huang Tao sighed, look at me. A widow. And a single father. Before he finished speaking, Yi Wen's hand pressed his lips. Yi Wen stared at him. With a hint of anger in her beautiful eyes, I like you. Just you. And, after a pause, she whispered, I like Xian Xian very much. Wang Tao held her hand in his and nodded. The two looked at each other. Although they didn't say anything, they already knew each other's feelings. In the small play area, there is a faint, cozy, warm and sweet atmosphere.